Musical entries have been marked with notes, musical note, and have been accessed for copyright issues. Content submitted by multiple people or suggestions submitted without a link are marked submitted for community. Uh, content has been organized by first come first serve plus some shuffling to keep it funky and fresh. Enjoy. Wait, is this? Oh, okay, so these are the actual things. All right, okay. All right, I'm not going to look ahead. I'm just going to go down the list. All right, you guys can look ahead and, and do whatever. But um, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to click and then go. Lobos Jr. mod tier list submitted by pretty much everyone. Wow. Okay, this stream is going to get toxic, isn't it? I can tell. All right, let's go. Tiermaker.com. Love us Jr. Mods Tier List Maker. ACOG. Aradian. I was like, Ara? Oh. Kruor, Dumj, Alley, Jerry, Crod, Lan, Mega Mac, Noel, Piration, Soy, Taha, Twitman. I feel like these, they're mega lurkers. They're still in the Discord, but I feel like they're just, I don't know, they're just lurking the chats. Are you guys, is everybody here? Lobos. Angel. Um, Betty and Velga. Not all of them are always, uh, zoom in a tad. All right, let's, there we go. Look at that brain size. I mean, what do you get? What else are you going to do about that brain size? Sorry, positive vibes here. No self-deprecation. Okay. Rigged AF. There's no, there's no. All right. Uh, it's, it's in alphabetical order. Nice ads. Thanks. Uh, nice ads. Thanks. <laughs> um, oh, look at this. You can react to this react list. Perfect. Notorious and notable Lobos Jr. moderators. Created Lobos Jr. mods here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go. ACOG Muffin. All right. This is ACOG Muffin, the, uh, the, the, the famed uh, clarinet assembler, instructional reader. Um, uh, d does some pretty good voice stuff. I like your voice stuff, ACOG. Um... Heavy Scottish accent, delicious to, to listen to. What do we got here? And we got Angel Mod, would grab a beer with, world's okayest mod, lovable but an idiot, extremely sus, sending them straight to hell. And then who? Wow, who? You made a who? That was done, dear friend. I was worried for a minute that somebody was gonna be in the who. Got some stuff to do today. But had to drop by for the kids. Thank you, Big no Oof. Days. That was charitably done, dear friend. Thanks, Big Oof, for the ten bucks. And River Runs Red with the twenty. Who? <laughs> okay, ACOG. I'm gonna put. Ah, uh, this is. Okay, I I wanna I wanna preface with. The. While this is a tier list, I don't think that my goal is necessarily ranking them, okay? All right? It's like, would grab a beer with. I think I would grab a beer with ACOG, right? Maybe ACOG, ACOG shows up when there's some exciting things happening. Although in terms of, in terms of modding duties, I don't know. ACOG, do you do much work around here? Do you do any work around here? I don't think he does any work around here. I feel like that's got to take him down a notch for... I... Does that put him lovable button idiot? Because <laughs> I don't even know if you do any work, does that make you a KS mod? All right, we're going to put ACOG in lovable button idiot. But that doesn't mean... That's that's the title of the tier, okay? That's not my fault, all right? Look at the unbanned requests I've done. Who? The what? Um, enjoy it, ACOG. Aradian! Resident gotcha admin on our Discord server. Shut up, FTL. Hold on. I'm getting a little too intense here. Aradian um, lives, I believe, on the other side of the world, so... We have kind of an opposite schedule. And Aradian's usually here for the first like 10 minutes of the stream and then <laughs> goes to bed. <laughs> but I have many late night gotcha chats. 
and a radiant is there and pretty much runs that whole gotcha game section of of the discord see look at this 321 in the morning working overtime maybe they don't help out as a moderator too much on chat but they're they're all over discord um I'm gonna put it as world okay world okay world's okayest mod. That sounds so bad. That sounds so bad. But if this is triple S, then SS. That's S tier, right? You'll take it. <laughs> if you were a gotcha character, damn, damn, that's that's kind of rough actually. I'm not gonna take it back. No take backsies. Crew or blitz. Crew or blitz is an ancient ancient community member um been around since the dark souls one days hi crewer kitty kitty face is this an actual selfie that's where that that came from wouldn't grab a beer with any of you shh, 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 shh. um our dom 81 months welcome back pet the mods pet the mods crewer kind of like acog Shows up occasionally. You've been busy a lot in recent years. This is I don't take this personally. Don't take this personally. All right. Um. This is in terms of moderation. Comparing you to Cruor, that's low. Wow. Look. Please don't take any of this personally. But I feel like that was done, dear to speak for my chat and. For... Could you make Sukhan a mod, please? Could I make Sukhan a mod, please? All right. Can we get a ban on Sukhan, please? Do you mean Sukhan D's nuts? Thanks for the $20. Um, all right. Don't take any of this personally, but I feel like we have to go Cruor. Cruor? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dumb Joy. Dumb Joy. Um, <laughs> this is not... I know who you are, okay? That don't. Somebody's got to go there. Do we have analytics on mod APM? Do we have uh, analytics? Dumb Joy used to be Dumb Jew, and he said, "That's just my comedy. I'm a Jew I'm Jewish, and I'm a dumb Jew." Got banned. Lost like. I don't know how many 20 something months of subscription. Now he's dumb joy, which is which it was dumb zero zero. Now it's dumb zero one, which well, there you go. Dumb jack off instructional video is his name now. Um, dumb lives a lot of the time on a nuclear submarine, which is pretty badass. Um, and so I don't think he's an idiot. I think he's got to be above an idiot because he works on a nuclear submarine. Um, on, on like, the reactor and shit. So I would grab a beer with Dumbj. In fact, Dumbj came to Austin one time and we ate at uh, Kirby Lane Cafe, which is an amazing diner, and we had baller pancakes. And he, he and Lobro as well was with me. Smartest person in the Discord probably. Yeah, don't. Don't put some up. Um, so, Dumbs, i grab a beer with you. i grab a beer with you. Uh, okay. Allie! Allie is so helpful. Allie is big in the, the speed running uh, scene of things. Um, Allie is um, kind of... I, I won't say... <laughs> I, get the, I get the idea that Allie is not like anti-mainstream but Allie will always come in and be like hey there's this meme what's with this meme what does that mean what what is that <laughs> and we're like it's internet culture you gotta so Ali, um which isn't uh you know a bad thing they're not a boomer I feel like it's it's the kind of thing and I get it where I'll be like you know people will be like um oh yeah Markiplier did this thing the other day and I'm like Who's Markiplier? <laughs> Where it's like, I'm too cool to know who Markiplier is. Um, Ali is, is super active. Always interested in helping with St. Jude Month. So very helpful. I'm going to put Ali in um, 
also world's okayest mod. Uh, Allie's here a lot, a lot, and uh, and also is is big with Lovros community as well. Um, I don't know if Allie's here. I hope I didn't offend you, Allie, but there it is. Jergy, Jergy is a literal goose. I would drink with that goose. Jergy introduced me to Outer Wilds, and that changed my life. It changed back, but for like a week, it like changed my life. And Jergy is always here to help and doing all sorts of stuff. I would grab a beer with Jergy. Sorry if that was short but sweet. Crod does not exist anymore. Who? Lan, Angel Mod. Mac is the best mod at putting ASCII penises into chats across the galaxy. Um, yeah, I think Hell's great. I think I think Mac, Mac in Hell uh, makes a lot of sense, and I think he would want that too. If you're there, Mac, I think this I think this makes sense, right? Mac is always there to you know shake things up post post his Dark Souls 2 characters that have super thick thighs um <laughs> can't type too much but Angel Mod let's go Ew, that was a quick decision Lan I, I, I don't think I needed to Lobot can get fucked oh there's no Lobot huh Noel Noel is very good for running over in uh video games um that one time Noel also kind of shows up sporadically and is like, oh yeah, get a voice chat with me. Let's yell at shit and do things. And I'm like, whoa, 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 no, whoa. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Where have you been? Uh, I'm going to put Noel in extremely sus. Because <laughs> I'm not sus of you, but... That just seems like a good place to put you, I think. Let's go! <laughs> Pyration is... Pyration is... I've met Pyration. Um, many years ago. Was it PAX West, I think? Hell! Oh my gosh. Pyration contributes monetarily quite a bit. Lots of gifts. Big donos. Very, very generous. Um, Pyration is in the tech industry and I think is super jaded about a lot of things. I get it too. I get it too. And um, that... Uh, here all the time. All the time. So as far as mod stuff, like... Ask questions. He, but he'll... I feel like Pyration will 180 on you in a, in a hot second. On a dime. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put Pyration World OK as mod. Does a lot of work here. That was done, dear friend. But you watch your back. You watch your back with Pyration. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> and there's the $20. All right, thank you, Pyration, for that. I appreciate that. I hope you, uh, I hope you accept my, my ranking. Taha Hawa, who? Taha Hawa is an unseen hero of data, and all sorts of stuff. Whenever my mods are like, this guy was banned seven years ago. Taha's like, oh, I got him. Whoops, fuck that up. And Taha pulls up the logs and was like, oh, he said shit in 2012. And they're like, oh, okay, we'll unban him. That's fine. Um, but I don't think anybody in chat's ever heard of him. Uh, not in like 10 years at least. Don't ban you. Soycrates, where is the lower? Is there another tier? Hold on. Can I create a new? Here we go. Add a row below. Yeah, let's see here. S 
soy. There you go, soy. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Soy always goes above and beyond. Soy has built their own bot for this channel. Soy built this whole React stream. Um, I, yeah. Set, yeah. Yeah. I have grabbed a beer with Soy, sort of. I had sushi, and I think I had a drink there. It wasn't a it wasn't a beer, but made all these icons that I, you can't you can't deny the work that Soy puts in. You just can't. And same with Lan. Lan's been less hands on in the past couple of years, but I get it. You know, life gets busy. But Lan used to be like answering questions. Well, I mean, you guys do answer questions more than I do, um, and that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I had sushi with soy. No. Yes. <laughs> Twitman, whose name used to be Twatman. Um, still occasionally pops on the Discord. Uh, <laughs> um, used to stream. Um... I remember him streaming, I want to say, They Are Billions? Forever ago? Popped in the stream a few times. I think uh, Twitman is, is kind of a who, though. He's not around. He's, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think any of the current viewers of the Lobos Jr. channel really know who Twit or Twatman was. Uh, and for that reason, I got I to gotta who you. I got to who you. Again, a lot of these this tier are OGs that um, maybe don't show up as much anymore, but they're still around. They're still around. Noodle is my friend on Facebook. Vetty, a.k.a. Vedchan. Um, abandoned the name Vedchan. No longer. <laughs> oh, that's dead name. Oh, shit. Same with Soul Mangler. I didn't. I didn't dead name Soul Mangler. Vetti is is a literal otter. I have a lot of animals in my my mon, mon team. Um, Vetti, I that a lot of times my brain will confuse you with Vinvetta, um, because you both start with V E, and that's a comp. That's hard to. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, that's not. That's not Vetti. That's that's Vinveta. Uh, so you don't invade me and 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 do terrible things in in Dark Souls to uh, Dark Souls slow runs. Not terrible things, but well, you, um, this is now a Vinveta. Vinveta goes down. Vetti also hasn't been around too much in a while, but used to be around a lot. Um. I don't know if Vetti is on who level, though. Because Vetti still stops by. I'm going to put Vetti extremely sus, right next to Noel. Right next to Noel. Because I don't know, in, I don't exact, I don't know, ever, I don't exactly know what Vetti's up to. And that's sus. I would say. Bet. Um, Velga Duer, named after the dog boss in Mega Man X, Sigma's dog, dog box. I've met in real life was uh, uh i've been out of it for a while but was very into the the video game music scene um ancient resubber one of the first subs one of the prop pop i think the second longest second or third longest sub on the channel um i'm gonna put lovable what an idiot there it is there is the lobos jr mod tier list <sighs> That was, that was a lot for me. Where would you put Loa Jr. and Nightbot? Bot. <laughs> ah! Wait, you can rewind him, Rodale. You can go back and, and check it out. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. There it is. That's it. Close it. Kill it. Old school JRPGs tier list. Oh, shit. Changed my life. Pretty fantastic. Not bad. Meh. Never heard of it. Chrono Trigger. Boom. Dragon Quest V. Never heard of it. Easy. Secret of Mana. 
pretty damn fantastic. Um, Yasunori, no, that's not Yasunori Mitsuda. That's a Chrono Trigger. Uh, 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 um, shit. What's the secret of mana composer? Who is it? It's Hiroki Kikuda. There you go. I kind of had a personal, um, kind of had a personal relationship with Hiroki Kikuta. Um, in that we actually interacted and our band was going to cover a song from Secret of Mana called Second Truth from the Left. And it's a pretty nuts song. And he said, I don't remember the exact quote, but it was something along the lines of, you're insane if you cover that. That's my, that's my experience with Secret of Mana. I did a cover song on a Secret of Mana uh, tribute album. Um, so I haven't beaten Secret of Mana, uh, but it has fantastic music. I'm very familiar with the music. The combat's interesting. The rabbits are cute. I think Pretty Fantastic is where it stands. Uh, Carnage, welcome back. Ruski Booski, welcome back. Invader John. It'd be like six minutes of subbing. Yes. Lord Lancelot, official Twitchy, Ardom, welcome back, my friend. Zoom in on this one, too. Oh, sorry. It didn't maintain the zoom, huh? All right. Tactics Ogre. I have heard of it. I don't know. Shin Megami Tensei. Related to the Persona series. Yeah, I've heard it. I don't know anything about it. Sorry. Should be a never played category, I guess, but I could still have my opinions on games I've never played. Super Mario RPG. Oh, shit. Yeah, who? <laughs> uh, Super Mario RPG. I did play. I played it for the podcast. I'm going to put it in not bad. It was okay. It, yeah, it almost, I almost put it in meh. Almost put it in meh, honestly. Uh, wow. Wow. I see. Okay. I'm sorry. I just finished that game and I was like, well, that was cool. What's next? I, 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 I have to imagine nostalgia goes a long way with that one. And, uh, also maybe just Mario IP. They do have the Final Fantasy IV um, battle, boss music, right? In one of the fights or something. And that's kind of cool. Um, Squaresoft crossover, interesting stuff. Honestly, for me, kind of forgettable. I play a lot of games, though, so that's... that's. There's a lot of games I forget, so... <sighs> Anyways, Fantasy Star. Another game I have played very little of. But I'm pretty damn familiar with the, with the music. Although, Fantasy Star 2 more. Um, I'm going to judge it off of this character. Who looks like... Probably... Almost like one of the first... That was charitably done, dear friend. One of the first furries. I'm going to put it in... Not bad. Uh... <clears throat> uh, anonymous twenty dollars to Saint Jude. Thank you very much. She looks like a. She looks like a. I think it's supposed to be Shadow, but it looks like a, a, a fox character or something like that. Cat girls aren't fairies. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're projecting hard, man. SMT series fantastic. We really need to give it a try. Yeah, I just haven't played it. I'm sorry. Lunar, lunar, silver story. Um, I've heard of it. Haven't played it. Sorry. Can't, I can't place it. I can't, pl I, here, I'm going to add. Ooh, what happened? What did I just do? Never heard of it. What did I just, what did I just do? Meh. Oh, I just swapped these. I see what happened. There we go. Okay. I'm, I wanted to do... Uh, I got Adderoid above. 
heard of, never played. No, no opinion. How about that? There you go. That That's a little more fair, okay? Heard of, no opinion, all of these. Okay, I'm putting this in men now. <laughs> uh, I've played it a little bit, but I don't have an opinion on it. Sorry. Um, okay, cool. Panzer Dragoon. Man, heard of it, never, no opinion. Sorry. Isn't that, that's on the Dreamcast? I think it's like really expensive. Ghost, Legend of the Ghost Lion. My very first JRPG. Um, man, that game sucks, dude. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Uh, but it's, it was my first JRPG. And so that's cool. Illusion of Gaia. Heard of. No opinion. Persona 2. Haven't played it. Sorry. <laughs> I know of it. Haven't played it. Played Persona 5. Xeno Gears. No opinion. Earthbound. I literally just finished Earthbound like two nights ago. Two nights ago. Um, pretty damn fantastic. Pretty damn fantastic. Uh, very... It's, it's very Undertale. You know, you can see where Undertale derived a lot of its, like, just interactions. It's so quirky. It's... It's so quirky. Like, what do you mean, son? Um, and the whole ending is just fucking bonkers. Especially for Super Nintendo. Um, they did some really cool stuff with it. Also, it's kind of got, like, a musical thing, like Link's Awakening, where you collect, like, eight song things. It doesn't do quite the same thing, but it's great. Legend of the Dragoon. Not bad. Gust of Wind Dance. Um, not bad. Could be a lot better. Harpoon! <laughs> Didn't really care about any of the characters. <laughs> Pokemon! Changed my life. Lufia. I have played bits of Lufia and Lufia 2. It's kind of puzzly. It reminds me of, like Zelda. And would definitely continue to play. Pretty fantastic. That was but you didn't play done, one what? Hence I victim. Been watching oh, for wait. years and you helped me trough my depression with her stuff, so I thought I'd give something back. Frick cancer. Lemon Cado, thanks for the ten dollars to St. Jude. I appreciate that. Lufia 2 is pretty fucking awesome. The music from both of them is amazing. I have covered both music from both, and it's great. And I love the controls, just like the combat. I love the overworld. Um, again, have only played probably a couple of hours of each. I like the puzzle aspect. Uh, haven't played any in-game, though, so that could change that a lot. Um, Suikoden. Never played. But my friend's a very good fan of Suikoden. This is a lot of never played. Sorry. Heard of no opinion. <laughs> I did not do very well on this tier list. I'm sorry. There's so many I have no opinion on. So, mm, mm. Yeah. Wait, disagree with Dragon Quest V. Wait, oh, this should actually be here. Because I've actually heard of all of these. So we can remove this. There you go. So this wasn't meant to be in a lower tier. I don't know why I left that there. Um, but I've heard that it's a very good one. I think five and eight, maybe. I have played Dragon Quest One though. Dragon Warrior. There's no Final Fantasy on here, but maybe there's a tier list. Let's go see what's next. Lobos Jr. Challenge Runs tier list. Is a tier list of all or almost all challenge mod runs. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. We got to go fast here. All right. Stake Driver Charge R2 Bloodborne. Meh. Wasn't very challenging, but it was fun. Waste to skin, no leveling. Ooh, that's pretty damn challenging. Um, but a pretty basic challenge run. Gun only all bosses. <laughs> After a certain point, not even a challenge. The, uh, Evelyn gets OP, man, and in, 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 in any of those. You can just start parrying. Reiter Palash, main hand shot, follow up. 
Ash. Ash offhand. Boom. Fucking one-shot bosses, practically. Strength all bosses bloodborne. Yeah, that's just a fun run, dude. I don't know what you... Tor... I, it's, I assume these are all pulled from the uh, the spreadsheet of challenge runs we have. Um, torch only all bosses bloodborne. <sighs> it's got a wall. Basically, gas coin is the wall. If you can make it past gas coin, then you'll be good. Um, I'll put challenging. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Um, okay. No blood vials, all bosses. Hmm. A pretty standard challenge. I'm putting it in meh challenge because that's considering compared to other things. Ligarius wheel, fun run. Enemy item randomizer for Bloodborne. Ah. Um. Hmm. I would say meh challenge. It wasn't super challenging, but uh, you occasionally run into kill ad, please. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Can we make an ad tier list? Just screenshot all the ads. All right. Um, Bloodborne Arcane Run. I mean, it's not really a challenge. It's just it's just kind of boring unless you do it in New Game Plus or something. Although we did do Broccoli Man. I think that was like NG Plus Five. And that's um, I say I put meh challenge meh. Enemy onslaught, Bloodborne. That that can be pretty fucking challenging because you get just like. Uh, we actually didn't finish that. We actually didn't finish that because creating the mod uh, it wasn't it wasn't done. So that's especially challenging if, if the mod's not done. So we're gonna put very challenging. I don't know about level two level. Blade of Mercy, fun run. Hunter X spin to win. Fun run. Now I'm going to put not even a challenge. Because that's a little bit more challenging. Blood Tinge run. No challenge. Escort run. <sighs> the patience required for an escort run. Very challenging. Catalash was the modder. Hosspower, 28 months. Welcome back. NG plus 7 beast mode. Well, NG plus 7... Beast mode. Beast claws and that sort of thing. I'll put meh challenge. I don't think it was particularly challenging. Bow only. Not even a challenge. That bow, that bow is fucking so good. Broccoli man. Oh, I thought that was the arcane one. Broccoli man with the scoodle, scoodly douche. Squeep. Sliding around. Meh challenge. No roll, no dash. We did that? We did that? I'm gonna put that in challenging. I don't remember it though. <laughs> Fist only all bosses. Wooden shield. That was a community run and we just summoned people and yeah, that was just a fun run. I didn't actually use the wooden shield. All bosses, no deaths. Meh. Mono, mm. Yeah. Monocular run. Oh. Fully zoomed in the whole time. Rolling around and attacking. That's kind of challenging. Blood level four, all bosses. Well, we have waste of skin, but this is all bosses. And includes the chalice dungeons. Okay, I'm changing this then. We're putting this to meh. All bosses takes it up a team. Man. Shouldn't it go in do not remember? Uh. Uh. Uh, what is, uh, which one? Uh, this. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. We have a category for it. Demon Souls. Spell only. Hmm. Item randomizer. Use what you see. Hmm. 2x speed. Okay. But Demon Souls. Meh. Backwards camera. I believe that means that the camera... I was always running towards the camera and I could only look behind myself or... That's kind of... That kind of sucks. Soul level one, Demon Souls. Not even a challenge. Shield only, Demon Souls. Meh. Demon Souls is overall, I don't think, very hard. 
Permanent rear view, rear view mirror, yeah, basically. Demon Souls, no healing items. Hmm. No. Bow only Demon Souls. Killed that nerd in PvP? Not even a challenge. Straight sword health only Dark Souls 1. But you can buff it with crystal magic weapon. Just a fun run. <laughs> Broken sword only. Isn't that the same thing? Consumables only all bosses. Fuck you, Manus and Calamite. Weapon swap on steroids. Oh, that's a fun run. Because you would just... Occasionally you'd attack and practically one-shot a boss. Weapon swap. Aggressive, perma-grave-lorded, all bosses, no save and quit. No save and quit? Aggressive, mod, perma-grave-lorded, magic only. <laughs> magic only? Not even a challenge. Pyro only, only level attunement, no shield, no Estus. Yeah, but it's Pyro. Fun run. Whip only all bosses. Ugh. Not even a challenge, but kind of, whips suck. Just whips just suck. Cursed Calamity Dust Crown, no shield run. This was a very early run, and I got I went down to Tomb of the Giants to try and get the Black Knight Great Axe, and I got stuck. And I had to backtrack all the way from Tomb of the Giants to Firelink Shrine without getting touched once. That took a while. I'm gonna put very challenging. Also, this was when I sucked at the game a lot more. I sucked. Yeah, no. No roll, shield only, Dark Souls 1. Um, no roll, shield only. Ooh. Not even a challenge. Consumables on... But not all bosses. That goes down one tier. Because it doesn't include manas and calamity and shit. Left-handed weapon, Zelda run. Fun run. No heal, no bonfire! Love that run! That also had a tricky part where we had to run from Firelink Shrine all the way down to Nido, taking the fall damage. We couldn't use... Uh, we couldn't use, um, slow fall or whatever because no bonfire, so you can't attune any spells. I'm gonna put that at very challenging. Classic run. Love it, too. Uh, very Lobos. That def uh, that's one of the defining runs, I feel like, for Lobos. No HUD? Great Scythe. Ah, the E and B build. Just a fun run. Who needs HUD? Catalyst melee only. Um... Not not even a challenge. Uh, there's some very good catalysts in Dark Souls 1. Sorcery only. Do not remember. FPS bow aim only. Fun run. Oh, wait. Bow aim only. Never mind. Meh challenge. Uh, because Dark Souls 1 isn't super hard. And bows can get pretty strong. But you have to deal with... For FPS mode basically the whole time. In Ep Silence 25 months, welcome back. Pike charge only. Fuck spears. Dagger only all bosses. Um, Dark Silver Tracer. Uh, best dagger. Priscilla. Daggers kind of suck and not a lot of stuff bleeds. Only the demons and beasts. I'll put that at Met Challenge, though. It's not that bad. Dragon Breath only. Challenging. Challenging. Keyboard and mouse sorcery. Do not remember. <laughs> I don't remember any sorcery runs. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Cestus plus zero. Soul level four. I don't remember that, but I imagine it was probably annoying as fuck. Miracle only. Lightning bolt spam. Probably not even a challenge. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I've done that several times, so. Cheese all bosses! Hmm. I mean, it was challenging to figure out cheeses. I remember fighting Ornstein for like 
an hour and a half straight or an hour trying to get him to fall out of the world. And it happened. It happened. And it was Pog. The orange sign cheese. And it happened. We didn't know it could happen. That's the best. That's the best. Those are the best. Some of the best moments. I'm going to pull up for reference. Godric Cheese Lobos Jr. There it is. So you let the past reaction just show you how fucking some of the best moments. Get away from those tombstones. Don't kill them. All right, there you go. Look how excited I get. Yes! Fuck yes! Boom! It's so fast! Holy shit! There you go. Cheese all bosses, man. It's not... You only get one cheese all bosses run, basically. Uh, depending on how much time you want to invest. <sighs> Some of the best moments, man. Yeah. I will never do that for seven hour boss fight, fist only, dick. Fucking tied too tight, blood loss in real life. Like, I'll finish the boss and be like, nice. Good job. But that shit, not enough stats for weapons, bouncy sword run. Ugh. Just challenging for being annoying. Tail weapons only. Not a challenge. Um, but I think we had to... I think we had to use a bow to get Hellkite Drake's tail in order to start the whole thing. A little challenging because the R2s... But no, no, not a challenge, no. Pyromancy Fist R2 only. Uh, that's pretty challenging. That sucked. Especially on... I don't even remember if... I think Quellag is immune to fire. So I don't even think we could damage her. So, uh, 40 minutes fight Ludic Fist only. No problem. Monk challenge. I don't remember. Monk challenge. I don't know. How many more do we? Oh my God. All right. SL1 NG plus seven fresh start. Four Kings makes it challenging. Fist weapon only DS1. Not even a challenge. Rave Lord run. Uh, using only the Gravelord Sword Dance. That's kind of challenging. Dragon Weapon R2 only. Kind of a challenge because of repairing. Kirk Armor Roll only. That's some Lobos Jr. level shit. I didn't even kill four kings on that run. Soul Arrow only. Ugh. Annoying. Meh. Dragon Bone Fist R2 only. Pretty badass, but still meh. Mimic Head, no self-healing. I don't remember that being particularly difficult. We'll put it in challenging, though. Perma Grave Lorded. Just a fun run. Aggressive mod miracle only. Skull Lantern only. Thanks to Tumble Buff. Meh. Grave Lorded all bosses. Fun run. Shield only. Fun run. Dual Claymore only. Fun run. Aggressive NG plus seven fresh start fist weapon only. Challenging. Demon Great Hammer only. Fun run. One million. Fun run. Weapon swap mod. Chal not even a challenge. Crystal ring shield only. Ugh. Kind of challenging because it got nerfed and sucks. Fat roll and over encumbered on bosses. Fuck you, bed of chaos. Abyss greatsword R2 only. Free aim bow only all bosses. Ugh. 2x speed all bosses. Not even a challenge, but fun. <laughs> well, where where did you go? Where did you where did you go? Where the fuck did you go? Oh, there you go. You can go to Meh. Whip only. Fun run. Lost what? Better cast and fat rolls. No, it wasn't even fat rolls. It was un it was over encumbered. The rest of the time when I was running around in the world, it was fat roll, and then all of the bosses I had to do slow walk. And so we had to do Bed of Chaos like this. I don't even remember how we did it. I think we used like the Butcher Knife running R2 to get us off the damn cliff. 
Fuck that. Mail breaker. Oh. Uh, 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 challenging. One HP sorcery, no shield. Grave lorded, aggressive mod, but it's sorcery. Not even a challenge. One stamina, no spells. Pretty damn challenging. Uh, great bow only, all bosses. Meh. Running man, great scythe, all bosses. This is a run where I had a, a, a macro that basically held down run forward the entire time. I like that run. I'm going to put that in challenging just because I like that run. Mildred cosplay, half HP, no leveling, no heal items. Yeah, but the butcher's cleaver heals on hit, so... Not even a challenge. Sniper crossbow, no lock. <sighs> Bare fist only. Tumble buff, not even a challenge. 100% achievements, fun run. Drake sword only, not a challenge. Bow only, no challenge. Hyper stamina shield only, fun run. <laughs> Upside down all bosses, Gin. Guinness Book of World Records run. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Upside down. Did I delete it? Where'd it go? Second row left. Second row. Uh... Second row? You mean... Upside down. Not on the board. Oh, it put it below. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Sorry. Limbo souls. No HUD, all bosses. Hmm. I don't remember if we allowed myself to interact with NPCs. I think that made it harder. Hmm. Um, the one run, all stats one. I did this at, uh, uh, what's it called? That convention. D Dream Hack. Dream Hack Austin. Uh, I think we used the, um, only thing you really can use, which is the Dark Fist, Dark Hand. Um, Dark Hand doesn't, doesn't scale at all and kind of sucks. Uh, for late game. Clear Lordran! That's a Lobos Jr. level. It wasn't it wasn't super hard, but it that was just that's iconic. All bosses permadeath. Meh. No right joystick. Uh, not that bad. Gives my thumb a break. Butcher's knife only. Fun run. One punch man. I don't remember no. Just the fun run. 1 HP, SL1, Pyromancy. Yeah, but Pyromancy, not even a challenge. Random stats. Better than Soul Level 1. Fun run. Parry the world. Fun. Quellag's Fury Sword, kick only. We did not finish this. Fuck that. Fat roll only, no leveling. Um, I'm going to say not even a challenge because you can just wear full howls. You have to get there, but still. Priscilla's dagger only. <sighs> Daggers. Plow divine heal only. Oddly specific. Not a challenge. Black Knight greatsword R2 only. My favorite weapon. R2 sucks. NG plus 7 SL1 fresh start. No Estus. Very challenging. Again, fuck you, four kings. SNES controller run. Fun. So yeah, we did do that. Item randomizer. Fun. One HP, one stamina. Another classic. But we can use magic, so... Not that challenging. However, Duke's are... Duke skip. That was challenging. Do we have a clip of that? Look how old this is. Not enough time. It's such a tiny window. Fuck. Whoa! <laughs> that was amazing. Can you do 
do it, Dabu, baby. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Bunny Chan. I think Bunny Chan still comes around. I don't think they're a mod anymore? Oh, no, I'm having a thing of different Look how bunny. consistent this, uh, this R2 setup is, though. It's fucking... Frank Uzi. <clears throat> All right. Um, history. Use what you see. Legendary. Failed it twice. Soul one. Soul level one. Randomizer. No heal. That well, sounds pretty challenging. What's the one where you either rage or got so excited you broke your glasses? Well, that one they were already broken. I think you're thinking of that. And when I got up, my glasses flew off because they were just taped together. Boss Rush mod. Fun run. Gun game. Uh, it's a little challenging, but also pretty fun. Twitch Souls. Never finished it. Pretty fucking challenging. Um, Pringles Can Percent. Fun run. Also, money run. Fog Gate Item Randomizer. I'm going to put Meh Challenge just to, to try and keep all those areas in your head. When are we going to stream with your old camera? It's just a C920, baby. Havel cosplay. Pfft, fun. Super hot. I don't remember. I don't rem I remember it, but I don't remember if it was difficult at all. Pyro only. Fun run. NG plus 69. Fuck that shit, dude. Deprived run. Fun. Channeler's trident. Channeler's trident. Not even a challenge. Miracle only. No shield. No Estus or humanity. But I can heal with... Miracles? Not even a challenge. Soul level one starting equipment, no upgrades. Oh, that's pretty challenging. Foggate item randomizer, again. Not a challenge. Crowd control plus quick souls plus daughters of ash. We did that? I don't remember it, but I don't I don't remember doing that. Floppy souls. Where did it go? What happened to it? Well, if fate determined where it goes. Scrolling textures, enemy. Oof. That's, that's, that is a difficult one on the eyes. Item randomizer, use what you see yet again. Not even a challenge. Crazy weapon swap mod, no Estus healing. Ooh. Challenging. Maybe. NG plus five, fresh start. Axes slash great axes only. That was during a slow run, I th No, it wasn't even. No, it was fresh start. Um, that's kind of challenging. Guitar Souls. Why does it keep letting go and... Okay, I know. I'm not letting that go. Where's Guitar Souls? Where'd it go? Did it drop into here? Did it go down? Um, you might see it. In meh. Here we go. There it is. Uh, fuck Guitar Souls. That's Lobos Jr. quality run right there. Okay, Dark Souls 2. Tempted to put these all. The fuck was that noise? What is that? Was that? Was that throne? Oh, I think that was throne. Is that a throne sound? Thro throne? Uh, you received a gift 22 seconds ago. What did I receive? Uh, gift or messages. Orders, huh? Oh, Ike Cube ordered me hot dog finger gloves. Thank you, Ike Cube. Perfect. Now I'll have hot dog finger gloves. Hot dog finger gloves run, please, for the kids. That's definitely a modifier. That'll definitely be a modifier for for subathon. Okay, there's not a whole lot left. Dark Souls 2 spell randomizer. Um, okay, I have an idea. All right, we're just going to do this.
Dark Souls 3, a regulator and enemy randomizer. Pretty fucking fun. Also challenging. Mid-ear, fuck mid-ear. Armor of Thorns, roll only. That's Lumbus Jr. quality. Uh, weapon arts only. Not bad. I'll put meh challenge. Uh, cheese all bosses. Love it. Um, we'll put in, um, where did I put the other cheese? There it is. Challenging. Uh, it's a good challenge. It's just great. It's just a great run all around. Dark Souls 3, sorcery only. Um, fun run. Bow only all bosses. Okay, maybe a little bit of a challenge, I guess. Shield only all bosses. Meh. No healing. Meh. Challenging, but in the scope of things. Soul level one all bosses. Soul level one. It's not that bad. I'll put meh. Um, enemy onslaught. That can get pretty fucking challenging. Depending on how many <laughs> times three enemies. Fucking huge bosses all over the place. Randomizer, use what you see. Challenging. Fun though. Great. Hi, Tiltify. Are we agreeing with this tier list? I, I'm interested in chat. Yes, Nodders. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Boss Rush Sorcery. Huh. I don't think that's a challenge. Honestly, I don't remember it though. So I have to put it there if I don't remember, right? Pyromancy DS3, uh, Pyromancy only. I'm not bad. Hyper Weapon Swap Mod. We'll put challenging, but occasionally you get the easy wins. Follower Javelin Throw Only All Bosses. That sucked. That sucked. This is Lobos Jr. Challenge Run tier list. Soul Level 1 Aggression Mod. Aggression kind of sucks, but other than that, not even a challenge. Miracles only. Fun run. Fist only NG plus seven, where I was 25 minutes into a fight with Yorm and the controller died uh, and I had to restart. Lobos Jr. level. Incantation only. Elden Ring. Oh, fun run. Elden Ring already. Dual daggers, no shield. Oh, we ended up doing faith. We did black knife and the, the Erd tree thing. Not even a challenge. Shield only. Fingerprint. Consumables only. Honestly, not that bad. Fan daggers OP. No, no. Meh. I'm putting in meh. Sleep research run. Fun run. Spirit Ash Summon. The Dongate. Sorry, an hour and 40 minute fight. Just sitting there hoping that the Dung Eater does what he's supposed to do and doesn't suck. That's miserable. Miserable. I had to run. I had to run Fire Giant to one edge of the arena. And then run to the complete opposite eye side. So it would load him out. I could put down warming stones and heal him with my stupid dress. And that took like five minutes every time I wanted to heal. Cheese all bosses. A great run. I'm putting it in the challenging. Great run. The best part was when the Dung Eater started punching Godskin Duo. Let's not talk about that. Bow only. Made millennia a piece of cake. Fun run. Rune level one solo. Okay. Well, this was my second run ever. So I was not good yet. I'm still not good. R rune, uh, level one solo. That's the same. Raquana plays $500 to St. Jude and a new raffle. Thank you so much, Raccoon plays. Sorry. I read it as Raquana. Hey, video games. 
My moderators have opened a raffle. Please take the time to enter if you would like a video game. If you'd like to peruse the possible video games, check the exclamation point game list. Let's get through this. There's so many other things to do, and we're already an hour into the stream. Holy shit. Enemy item, fog, rando, use what you see. We are currently doing. Hasn't been that much of a challenge, except just keeping everything straight in your head. Staff R2 melee only. Still not done. Done, dear Sucks pretty damn hard. Any smallers? Any smilers? Freddy Spandex, $20 to St. Jude. Thanks, Freddy. Torch only? Not even a challenge. Thorn armor. Godskin duo. Guard count. Very challenging. It's not Lois Jr. level because we actually beat the game. And the only thing left is millennia. It's just. Sorcery only. Fun run. Item and param randomizer. Randomizer is, it's not, it's not a challenge really, but it was fun. Item randomizer, use what you see. We did that. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess if I say that, I don't remember. 200% <laughs> speed. Meh. Not that hard, but pretty fun. A new game plus seven fresh start. Um, meh. It wasn't that bad, honestly. Because, yeah, we got levels pretty fast. Uh, Penguin McGee, thanks for 37 months. Oh, way off to. Sekiro, item slash enemy randomizer. Enemy rando did get... Oh, we're going to put meh, though. FPS run. Um... Honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember how hard that was. Monk run. Fun run. Cheese all bosses. Cheese is always challenging. Did we get oops all Gwyn? That wasn't an actual run. We've never done oops all Gwyn. No basic attacks. No combat arts. Uh, so it was basically prosthetics only. I'll put that at... I'll put that at... Um... How about that challenging? How about that challenging? NG plus no Kuro charm demon bell. Um, meh. No leveling, no skills, no upgrades. That, that was very challenging. Ishin was like two and a half streams. No healing? Ah, uh, not. Meh. Oops, all miss nobles. All right, tier list complete. Tier list complete. There you have it. Slow scroll real quick. Um, thanks for those donations. Big time. Why did you stop? Oh. You never heard of Upside Down Run? Yeah, I, they, Guinness World Book of Records, a Guinness Book of World Records actually reached out to me and they were like, we're making a video game Guinness Book of World Records. Would you like to be in it? Can we put you in it? I was like, okay, sure. For that run of all things, I guess it's just something that was, are you gonna do a tier list of your tier list at the end of this? We could, we could. Fast food fried chicken sandwiches tier list um haven't had burger kings actually legit haven't one random interesting fun fact mild in here hmm <sighs> Alexander Fleming, who discovered the antibiotic penicillin, painted with bacteria, 
by growing different colored germs into shapes such as ballerinas, houses, stick figures, and more. Oh, interesting. Painting with germs. Chick-fil-A. All right, fuck Chick-fil-A, but I like their sandwich. Holy shit. Dairy Queen chicken sandwich. Fast food chicken sandwich template. Actually, I don't know. Jack in the Box. That was charitably done, dear friend. Money for the children's much love from ATX. Officer Spicy, $50. Thank you so much, Officer Spicy. Hold up. Jack in the Box is pretty good. We actually get Jack in the Box kind of frequently. KFC. I like KFC quite a bit. Do I like their chicken sandwich? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be it. Hot and spicy. S tier. Popeyes. A. Arby's. Haven't had their chicken sandwich. Shake. Nope. Nope. Wendy's. Their, their mayo is just so watery. I, but I do like their chicken sandwich. So that, that puts it at C. What a burger. Just like you like it. Wendy's okay. It's, I, they're, it's not mayo. <laughs> what is it? I mean, I always, I typically on all my, a lot of my sandwiches these days, I remove mayo and add mustard instead. So the way that I do um, hot and spicy chicken sandwiches, which um, I'd recommend, is no mayo, add mustard, add pickles, and tomato. That's good. Whataburger chicken sandwich. Never, never had it actually. Bojangles, never had Bojangles at all. Sorry. Chicken sandwich tier list complete. Isn't the mayo the spicy part? No. Some places do that. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of the, the mayo being the spicy part. It's got to be, the spice has got to be in like the breading at least. When they just put spice, that's just lazy. Lazy ass. Have you tried homemade mayo? Uh, no. That sounds disgusting. Um, <laughs> not, not actually, it's just euphemism dinner and a show is this a react this looks like our first react okay let me pee i'll be right back and then i'll be ready to react hold up Fast pee, wash hands. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Get out. Scatter. Scatter. Okay, dinner and a show. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Let's see. Every time you order a hot sub from Jersey Mike's, it's grilled fresh right in front of you. The sizzling, the chocolate. I love everything about this already. It's just done. That's Danny DeVito and Jersey Mike's. Spatula. That's why I bring this. I call it this is me show. in like 30 years, dude. That's going to be me. Holy shit. Look at that sizzle. Mm. Number 17 for Danny. Oh, that's mine. Got to go, Aaron. What? Grill right in front of you. The Jersey Mike's thing. I'm going to shrink? Hell yeah, I'm going to shrink. What, you think I'm going to grow? 
I'm not, I'm not growing here. <clears throat> nice. I love that. That's my favorite thing now. Thank you. Um, here, we'll play some Stardew Valley music. Um, because this is just chill in the meantime. Did we just watch an ad? We did. Stardew. And now I'm fucking hungry, dude. Oh, my God. All right, let's do another tier list. Metroidvania slash Souls tier list. I don't... Anyways. <clears throat> Am I getting paid for that? What, the dirty mice? No. No, I pay them constantly. That's a, it's a meme on my stream because I order Jersey Mike's like four times a week because I love Jersey Mike's. And I love Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito, I don't know if he still does it, but at least a while ago, he would just, all of the pictures he would post was just like POV and his foot would be like in the picture. Whatever he was doing, whatever, it was just his foot. And that's, Possibly my favorite internet character. Okay. Metroidvania slash souls tier list maker. Okay. Those are pretty different. Stop this. Those are pretty different things, potentially. But let's see what we do. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. We need a... Never played it. Sorry. Never played it. Sorry. No opinion. Blasphemous. Really liked Blasphemous, but you know, it really just, it hasn't stuck with me. I got nothing against it at all. I got nothing against it. I really liked it. I, I'm pretty sure. Dark Souls? What is that? <clears throat> S tier. Hollow Knight. S tier. Metroid Prime! We played this recently for podcast. A tier. Um, I expected as much from the... It's got some moany, groany... Metroidvania design stuff. Sorry. Emerald Alley, thanks for giving us up to No Longer Human. I appreciate that. Also, Dragon D's Nuts, 11 months. Welcome back. I appreciate you. Ah, uh, Dustin Elysian Tail. That's a furry Metroidvania, right? By the way, I don't have anything, anything against furries. I'm just... I'm not trying to use it in an attacking way or anything. I love furries. I embrace furries. I'm not a furry, but I embrace furries. I would embrace it. Dust was an interesting game. Didn't play it. Ori. God damn. I'm going to give it A. Really good. So many feels. Music poggers. <sighs> but would I, would I play it again? Probably not. Both Ori's are very good. They're very good. It's hard for me to not do this, but... I got it. I got it. Yoku's Island. What? Dark Souls 3. Castlevania Mirror of Fate HD. Never played it. <clears throat> Never played it. <laughs> AM2R! Never played it! Cave Story played this many years ago. A tier. Monster Boy. Never played it. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I'm going to put that the same tier. It might be a little bit... Honestly, in my mind, it's a little bit less than the original Ori, but... And it's really good. But, but I, I need I feel like I need this distinction here. But it was still really good. I need like A minus 0 0.0001. So it's just like or put it like a little bit like this. But I, that's why I'm doing that. 
Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Bloodstained. A. I loved feeding grandma food. Castlevania. Lament of Innocence. I've never heard of that one. Circle of the... Never heard. I mean, I heard of it. Castlevania II Lords of Shadow. <gasps> I've still never played that one. Still never played that one. Dead Cells. I'm going to give De Dead Cells a B. That was I played it. I liked it. Catching up on the VODs, but wanted to pop in and give what I could. Thanks for all you do. Cap Fancer off a cliff. Thank you, Holly. $15. I just, nothing's drawn me back to Dead Cells. I don't know if that's on me because I got kind of burned out on, on, on that style of, you know, roguelike Metroidvania. There was a period where there were just a ton coming out, a Rogue Legacy and all those and that sort of thing. Um, I, I might have gotten just burned out on them, but I, Dead Cells is a solid, solid ass game just for me. Minoria. Um, looks like another for I never played it. Another furry Metroidvania. I have never played Guacamelee either. Back in the days when I had my Xbox 360 all hooked up, I was like, oh, Guacamelee. They made a two as well, right? Iconoclasts. I've actually never played it. And uh, what's his name? Joaquin? Joaquin uh, Sandberg is like a big fan of mine. And, uh, yeah, Conjack he used to be a big time viewer of me. I've never played it. He made that game. I'm sorry. Castlevania, Ari of Sar. Uh, well, well, okay. Put it next to the same one. Metroid. This is Metroid 2. Samus Returns. The OG on the Game Boy. That's what this is. Or is that something different? Is that Samus Returns? You know why they used to be, huh? Oh, shit. That's the remake on the 3DS. Of two? Wait, it's the OG? Oh. Oh, then I... Okay, then I did play... I played that, right? Wait, maybe I didn't. We played uh, Fusion, and we played... Something else. I don't remember if we played this. Metroid Returns Samus. Metroid Samus Returns on the Uh Oh, Zero Mission is what we played. So Zero Mission is different from Samus Returns. So I don't think I played this, yeah. Uh Shantae, the pirate one. Never played it. Metroid Zero Mission. Okay. A tier. Fusion. Let's see. let me let me hold on. Which one was Fusion? Metroid Fusion was the one. Is that the one with the ro the robot that's guiding you to go everywhere? Is that the robot that's like uh go here, go over there. SAX. But was it with the robot? <laughs> um yes. Okay. A bit less open than I would have liked. There was definitely backtracking and stuff, but it was a little too guided, I felt. A little too guided. But you know me, I'm going to compare everything to Super Metroid, which... This, this, this tier list gets a zero. Is just below everything. Me Super Metroid. Never played Momodora. That's the one with the big boob boss lady, right? Steam World Dig. Never played it. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. S tier. Shadow Complex. Never played it. Fat Wizard did. I know. Never played it. Sundered. Oh. Was not a fan. Was not a fan. Luna Knights didn't play that. Valda's Story Abyssal City didn't play that. Rabbi Reby didn't play that. Gonna play it. 
Apotheon, I did play. I'm going to put it in C because something needs to be in C. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, I didn't play it. Batman Arkham Asylum, didn't play it. Castlevania S Harmony of Dissonance. Never played it. Jesus. Giga what? Giga wrecked? Uh, I don't play hentai games anymore. Axiom Verge. Okay, hold on. I'm going to redo a little bit of this. I'm going to redo a little bit of this. So Axiom Verge, I'm going to put in... I remember liking Axiom Verge, but then about 60% of the way in, it kind of fell off for me. It, it, it lost its appeal. So I'm going to put that in C. I'm going to boost up Fusion. I'm going to put Zero Mission there. Um... Okay. That's my tier list. Yeah, Dead Cells B, I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. This happened. E Ooh. Yeah. I almost did this. I almost did this, but... I didn't. Giga Wrecked? Wrecker? I don't know what that is. Okay. I'm sorry. Look at all these I've never played! This, I will never catch up on video games to play. I just never will. How DS3 and Metroidvania. The tier is Metroidvania slash Souls tier list for whatever reason. And there's only Dark Souls 1 and 3. And there's no Super Metroid. When I think of Metroidvania, I think of Super Metroid and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The fusion of those two games creating a genre. And they didn't even put Super Metroid. All right. Better idea. Eggplant emoji. Every day, men are admitted to the emergency room with injuries sustained while trying to hold on to their erections. Mark here. Thought it'd be a good idea to insert his penis into a vacuum cleaner. That's from a jacuzzi jet. That was chance to be done, friend. Gas station. Playing Elden Ring with the enemy slash item slash fog randomizer right now, and I got the twin gargoyles in the red wolf or Radigan's boss room. FML. Yuck. Have fun. Thanks, Anonymous, for the $3. Yeah, this is Lobro doing a penis commercial boner pills it created a sick boner pill station boner pill boner 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 pills it created a six hour erection gonna need a needle to fix that problem doesn't matter how good an idea you think buying the goat god pleasure pack at your local gas station was it wasn't it's a bad idea good idea is getting eddie by giddy Eddie is a prescription-free way to sustain an erection, and it's significantly less expensive than all their medical bills. So, if you like to get it on, go to getmegiddy.com to I find out about giddy. an actual good idea. Got another pump explosion. What? Is <sighs> pump explosion? Don't be another statistic. Get Eddie by Giddy. I'm coming. This guy definitely isn't. Wow! Boner pill. Boner pill. Boner patient boner pills. That's my brother. Catfish Dicks, thanks for 17 months. Welcome back. Boner pills. Nikkei tier list. Oh shit. Oh shit. I've been training my whole last three months for this. Oh shit. Let's put some Nikkei music on now. Because we need we need some some baller ass. Nikkei OST. Here we go. Someone hit control zero for him. What does that do? What does control zero do? Today we're doing react content and tier lists. Please make a child tier or you're going to jail. Absolutely. Well, but what am I... What am I tiering... I, I think I'm tearing them as a whole. So, like... Mm. 
Not based on booty jiggles. Well, in some cases, maybe. Um, okay, we'll make a child. <laughs> some of the... Some of the children are really good. Some of the tri children are triple S tier. Mechanically, that's what I'm talking about. Like this one. Add me. Child. Uh, <clears throat> this is Annie's. She doesn't have nipples. She has large breasticles and her top goes down past where a nipple should exist and she's trash, you're D. This is a skin I don't know anything about. She looks like a child though. That's like winter something. Um, oh, this is Aria. One of the um one of the singer Nike. I don't really know anything about her. Uh mechanically or visually. I'm putting C tier. She's better than Annie's. Anything's better than Annie's. Uh, Belorda. Kind of a ch child. Biscuit's a child. <laughs> um, Biscuit has so many cute dogs. She takes care of dogs. She, the, her literal, when she uses her like ult ability, there's a corgi that's twerking. There's a twerking corgi. Don't care, child. All right. Majin Brawley, five months. Welcome back. This is... Um, bro... Don't remember. Don't remember. D. Bronya or bro Brun... I don't know. Coco Child, also D tier. Senti! Senti's, Senti, I love Senti. And she is... She's just like an engineer. She's... She's, uh, she doesn't show off much, and that's intriguing. And she's also a very good character. This is Crow? No, yeah, this is Crow. You suck. Uh, I, I don't know a lot of the, the non, like, SSR characters. Um, I don't even remember your name. You suck. This is, um, I'm only really familiar with the ones that I have or use. I didn't think, I didn't really, I wasn't a fan of Senti's alt costume. I didn't, I didn't get it. I would have. She's got like the, they basically did, what's her name from, from FF15. Like, you know, the, the car mechanic girl look for Senti, but eh, I wasn't a big fan of it to be honest. Oh, take care, Radian. Have a good one. I don't remember your name. You're not Julia. Julia's got a violin. I don't know. I'm putting you D tier. If I don't know you, you're going in D tier. Diesel. Um, I like Diesel, actually. Um, she's useful for, like, one boss right now. Uh, I'll put her in B tier, though. Dala, quite good. She is a... She's a hyper-capitalist. She is a tank. Diesel is a tank. Oh, I get it, Diesel. Uh, and she's pretty good. She's pretty good, especially if you don't have something better for burst two. Drake. Drake's pretty good. She has a, a weird obsession with wanting to be a villain. I'm putting Drake B tier though. No, no, sorry. This is a mix of mechanics and how much I like the characters. I'm not a big fan of Drake, honestly. Um, Emma. Fucking OP in PvP. Um, I don't... I think her face does not match her body. In a way that, like, not only, like... I think proportionally also does not match. Yes, Nikkei. All these gotchas have PvP. How do you think people are going to spend... You know, people want to be better than other people. This is a uh, 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 girl with hover... She's a child. Okay, ignore this is another one that I hate to see every time. Anytime, because I'm making a new tier, actually. And we're putting trash. Anytime I see this, I hate it because 
That means I didn't pull a good pull. Trash. 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 Just because she's she's a SSR, but she's still trash. Um, trash. She's a gamer. I don't really know much about it. I'll put her in C. Um, uh, folk, folk wang, folk wang. Um, your shirt is a little too small. You probably should probably should go up a size. Uh. C. B. B. Um, who are you? I don't know who this is. Trash. <laughs> no. Uh, D, if I don't know who you are. Sorry. Guillotine. Not Snake. I don't really know much about her, to be honest. I'll put her in C. Guilty. Yes. Haran carried me through a lot of the early game, and I got her early, and she did so well. I'm going to put her in A. I'm going to put her in A. She'd be coming back in my squad, too. Um, what in the weeb hell did I just come into? We're doing tier lists, and this is Nikkei, the, the gotcha uh, anime girl game that I play a lot. Helm? Yes. I like Helm a lot. I like her design. I like her utility. Uh, but she's a, she is a sniper. I'm putting her in A, actually. She's a sniper. Fuck like that. Um, uh, he, uh, he, uh, I forgot her name. He, from Chainsaw Man. They did her dirty. They made her not even, like, one of the good characters. Himeko. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in B. I'm in B because you're from Chainsaw Man. And... A decent character. Yeah, trash. Trash! Trash! Isabel Pilgrim, shotgun user, not really, I don't have her, and I don't think I would use her if I had her, but I like her design. The list of characters that only exist inside Lobos' head, true. What, you removed the Nikkei ass tier list? Jackal, uh, pretty top tier for PvP. Not a big fan of basically being diet Harley Quinn. Julia plays violin. I like music. Wouldn't I don't think I'll ever use her. Laplace, Laplace um, is built up to be a hero and then broken down in the story. I think she's pretty decent, but I don't use her. So B. Leader. So leader's a, <laughs> leader is actually very old in this child body and it would be here for mechanics but she's not she's a child child body um nothing about her parents. she also has a dog she has a robot dog that's cute but no yeah child ludmilla Let's see maiden d makima Semi-useful Makima. Not EX tier, though. Sorry. <sighs> M uh, Maria or something? Pretty token MILF-looking character. <laughs> See. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, what's your name? M mm. Snow White Light. Snow White Light. Ma Ma Maxwell, that's what it is. Snow White Light goes there. Absolute worst. Also terrible. Milk, I used you early. That's D. Trash. I don't have her. Want her very badly. There are some late game stages that basically punish you hard if you do not have her yes there's a uh, there, so there's a coffee shop in game and the characters that run the coffee shop are milk and sugar and I don't know if Coco is part of that gang but Modernia is OP she was voted for the uh, out of all the Nikkei to have an, a special skin made for everybody and I don't own her so I won't get the skin for now I mean I'll get the skin 
Uh, in 102 or whatever. Child. I mean, child. Uh, you're... I don't like you. What the fuck is that? I guess child, but she's in a full set of armor and shit. Pilgrim. Also kind of trash. Noise. Pretty good. Also kind of specific use case for me based on what I have. Is there someone named Cream? Noah is also kind of trash, yeah. <laughs> um, her character is just like, <laughs> I want to make fun of you. <laughs> You're stupid. I don't want to smash her face. Um, no I'll put noise in AT. Uh, Sherlock Holmes type character. Trash. Uh, Pepper. Decent for people early on as a healer. Don't think I've ever used her. Oh, uh, I don't know if she's child. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> uh, you're prob You're older, but I'm just gonna put you in child because you... Power? I use power a lot. Actually. I use power a lot. Um, pretty baller single target DPS. Also, it's power. And it's Chainsaw Man, so... Pravati, I use all the time. Her burst is pog. She's she's great all around. Trash! 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 Quincy, I think. I'm recruiting her right now. She has big boobs. Uh Rappi is almost like the uh, she's very, very main character like her design not very good she goes b i'm an honest man rapunzel um sh she's super horny but she also is a fantastic healer and i use her all the time and i'm gonna put her in ex for that night solaire of the sun thanks for 52 months welcome back same Rupee's really good. I've never used her big boobs. Um, Sakura. Decent. Very specific wind resistance. I like cherry blossoms, and that's kind of her character design. In fact, I use her as the background. The splash. And it's very tasteful. It's just very nice and pretty, but she's not a very great character. Um, Scarlet. Drinks a bunch of wine. Insane. The the previous or the still current, like just max triple S everything you always want her. Trash. <sighs> this is uh, the other recruit option. I don't know anything about her. Trash. Snow White. Haven't made use of her yet. Has a giant fucking railgun. A tier. Can one-shot bosses if you invest in her enough? Um, forgot your name. Massive jugs. In fact, too massive. Let's go D. What's your name? Soda. Okay. Trash. Trash. Um, D. Trash. Tr uh, uh, trash. Trash. Sugar! Ride to motorcycle. General bad to the bone vibes. Shotgunner, pretty darn good for grave digger. Good shotgun buff. I put her in A actually. Um Child. Um Viper! Also shotgunner, decent for grave digger. Got a new skin coming out. The first bunny girl skin. A. Volume. Twerks. Rupee winner. I don't know anything about it. A tier. Booba. Um, yeah, I forgot her name. She's got... She's got big mommy looks down on you vibes. I'll give her a B. Um, I don't like you, trash. Child. All right, there we go. There's the tier list. Yan, exactly. Oh. There it is. So now that like a, probably 80% 80, 80 of you guys have no idea what any of these characters are or look like well, besides the icons, 
There's that tier list for Nikkei. The D-Gen tier list. It had to happen, right? I'm surprised you didn't keep the Nikkei ass tier list, honestly. That would be faster. Um, all right. Nikkei tier. Okay, first page done. How many pages we got? Nine pages. Okay, we're good. James Webb Images tier list. I play that game every day. For hours, Limonada. Every day. But here's the thing. It's not about the character visuals. 99% of it isn't about the character visuals. And then 1% are me and Bloody going, damn, she got a, a lot of junk in that trunk. Bullshit. You can call bullshit all you want, but I am... I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you about that. It's all about fucking number go up. Relationship goals, yes. James Webb Images Tier List. Oh, space. Oh, God. Um, Pillar of Eternity. Top. Eagle Nebula. Uh, this is just a graph. What are you doing? This is a graph. This is super detailed shit that I don't have context for. That's a little bit better than a graph. Graph. Basically graph. <sighs> Some galaxy shit. These galaxies are going to collide eventually. Or wait, is that just a star? I think it's two colliding galaxies. That's pretty fucking pog. This is a star. Not very clear imagery though, but I dig it. Oh shit. That's pretty pog too. Um, I don't know if these are galaxies or what. You can do you can do better, James Webb. It's pretty fucking S tier. Oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. They uh, they do a bunch of coloration to the shit, so it's not just that's not what it just straight up looks like. But oh shit, this is like as far back as we can see. I think the the shot with like the most galaxies ever taken. That shit's awesome. This is awesome. This is a worst version of this. This is... Photoshopped. This is... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh... Galaxy shows? Quasars are hot. <laughs> um... These go and see. They're just kind of like, what? Graph! Graph! Better than graph. There it is. Look at this graph. For the kids. Jesse Black, a hundred dollars to St. Jude. Thank you so much, Jesse Black. Space. I was probably wrong about a lot of that shit, but uh, it's not something I frequent all that often. Hobbit milk. Hobbit. Milk submitted by Soycrates. Thanks, Philly Borson, for that submission. Hey, Jacob. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Man, the book editing business must be booming. You're a tough guy to get a hold of. Hey, speaking of editing books, I um, took a look at your edit of my book. A lot of it. Where's the Hobbit milk, Jacob? <laughs> Pull the subtitles up. Can you? Oh, you Where's can. the Hobbit milk? The milk! The milk the Hobbits have! The milk they're full of! You cut the Hobbit milk! Every other page I turn expecting to see, oh, oh, here's where the Hobbits milk Bilbo for his birthday. Oh, oh, no, no, here's, here's where the Fellowship takes a second breakfast of Hobbit's milk. Oh, oh, here's where they finally drown Gollum in 2% Hobbit's milk. But now! Now, you're my editor, and I am J.R.R. Tolkien, and I understand that this relationship is a collaboration. The milk isn't relevant to the plot. <laughs> Pull one narrative thread, Jacob. And you might 
find yourself one elbow patch short of a tweed jacket, you cuck. He said cuck. All right, I like that. Where does Frodo keep the one ring? He's piercing it on one of his six milky nipples, Jacob. How does the Balrog fall to his doom? He's slipping and sliding it on the excess Hobbit milk. And how do the ring rates track the Hobbits? They can smell the milk, Jacob. They can smell Hobbit milk from a mile away. That's their name. Next time I watch Lord of the Rings, it's going to be real weird. Hello, Portable Jerk Ops. How's it going? <laughs> Malium, thanks for the resub. Sorry, you just don't think that's Tolkien esque? Oh my God. Wow. Balls on Jacob telling Jerry Randall Randall Tolkien. What is, is that his name? What is I don't know J.R.R. Tolkien's Tolkien -esque. name. Three things are Tolkien esque, Jacob. What? Made up languages. Two. Double Randall? For industrialism. I don't Three. think so. Every race got different milks, Jacob. <laughs> Which actually brings me to my next concern. John Ronald Rawl. Uh. To my maps. I, this is also, I also believe this is funny but stupid. But What happened to my <laughs> diagrams? They're, I mean, they're committing. Oh my God. Most regard the milked one, Lorian Lofat. There's a lot of thought going into this. <laughs> there is and what was wrong with my cover art? <laughs> That's a nipple. You made Sauron and I? Have you been drinking stupid juice, Jacob? <laughs> Finally, Jacob. I like the Photoshop, so I like Legends of the Froth, sitting in your secretary's trash with a bookmark 20 pages in? Oh shit, the, the missing book. Oh, Juicebox, welcome back. My mistake, Jacob. My mistake. Sing me the song of Bomb Fong, then. <laughs> Bomb Fom? Is that milk related? A lot of this is skimmed from other comedians. Oh, I see. Sad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, cut all of that. <laughs> Hobbit milk tier list after this. Thank you, Soy, for your milk. You just did this because we talked we had the milk bos what no Lobos Milkies emote uh back and forth for a while. I get it. I get it. An anonymous with a dollar is a dollar train. Sorry, it did it. It only alerts on a certain. Uh, I went three dollars or above, I think, or was it three fifty? Oh, there is Lobos Milkies. Oh, great. Dank Jojo, thirty months. Leo Val, welcome back. Hobbit milk, tasty. <laughs> um, the how long? Chat's gonna be saying that a lot more later. When we get to the twenty-nine minute long videos. You're comfortable not something that long for the milk. I thought you limited it to like seven minutes. Um, where are we at? Chess pieces tier list. Chess pieces. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Well, this will be short and sweet. What the fuck? No. Pawn's got potential.
This one gets a B. What is this? What the fuck is this? Is this a bishop? I guess it's a bishop. I've never seen a bishop that looks like that. Uh, bishop diagonal movement. Unrestricted diagonal movement. Pretty fucking pog, but real limited. But unrestricted. I'm gonna give it an A. Why are there multiple... Queen? No. Where the hell's a king? Two rooks. This is a king, then. King, you fucking suck. Kings suck ass. Horses are cool. Queen? S tier. Queen does whatever the shit she wants. Rook? Rook's pretty badass, too. All right, there's my final tier list. Chess piece tier list. Um... <clears throat> Pawn A at least. Not for me. Not for me. Make your own tier list. U.S. Serials tier list. Yeah, well, I think if there were white pieces, then there would have been uh, a bit more to discuss with that tier list if they had them. Somebody would be like, oh, white, because white goes first. White's always better. Jeez. Ultimate serial tier list. Uh, 100 serial varieties. Okay, let's see here. Wow. No opinion. It most likely means I've never had it. All right. All right. Never had it. Gluten free. Is that a... Is corn checks a specific type of checks? Yes, it is. Never had it. Rice Krispies. Fucking awesome. So fun. Life chocolate. Never had. Chocolate Lucky Charms. Never had. Crave. What the fuck is that? Fruity Pebbles. F. Special Vanilla and Almond. Never had it. Frosted Mini Wheats. Pretty damn good. Healthy, too. <laughs> it's wheat. Hey. Set. No no discussion there. Cookie crisp. Um, F. Frosted flakes. B. Kellogg Smart Start. Haven't had it. Cheerios, oat crunch, oats, and honey. Actually, that's pretty fucking good, dude. Cocoa Puffs. I don't think I've ever had Cocoa Puffs. Uh, Kicks. See. Oh, Red Berries. Hey. Never had Smacks. Fuck Smacks. Gold, never had Golden Crisp. Never had Count Chocula. Life Original. Okay, there's other life flavors. Okay, all right, all right. Original Life. See. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is a goat. That's true. Chocolate Cheerios. I've actually never had chocolate Cheerios. Or Cookies and Cream Krispies. I'm intrigued. Or Donut Shop. O's are fucking S tier. O's I had... I don't know. They're just S tier. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. I'm going to give A. Fiber One. Thank God for fiber. Um, I don't think I've had this... Just original fiber one. I don't think I've had it. Fruit Loops. Oh my god. I've never had them. I'm putting them there. Frosted Cheerios. Never had them actually. Gotta have my pops. Um I'm gonna put them B. Yeah, I don't want I don't want Sour Patch Kids for breakfast, dude. I don't know what you're doing there. Frosted mini wheats. Strawberry? Never had. There we go. I've had this. Strawberries, vanilla clusters. Yo. Yeah, that goes there as well. Never heard of this. Honey bunches of oats. Vanilla bunches. Never had that. Wait, Frosted Mini Wheats. Blueberry? Never had it. French Toast Crunch? Trash. Just stop. Just don't. Make it better. Just go back to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, dude. 
Rice checks. Hold on. What is the checks I've had? Because I've definitely had checks. Um, okay. So I think it's rice checks. Uh, not chocolate checks. Are there any other checks? I think this is the checks that I've eaten. Just very, like, original. Um, let's see. Special K chocolate strawberry. Never had. Oreo O's. B. Great grains. Never. Raisin nut bran. Nope. Booberry. Nope. Raisin Bran, S tier. Cocoa Pebbles, I have had these. The way they turn the milk just straight into chocolate milk. Let's see. Banana nut, no. I've never had Crunch Berries actually, or this, this Crave, or Honey Nut. I don't even think I've had Cinnamon Checks or Great Grains. Straight up regular ass Cheerios. B. Co Cocoa Pebbles make the best cri Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, honey Bunches of Oats Frosted. Nope. Apple Jacks. Nope. Oh, Fruit and Yogurt Special K. A tier. Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. A tier. Reese's Puffs. I love Reese's. Would never buy the cereal. Cinnamon, I, I want to try that. Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions. B. Chocolate checks, never had it. Peanut butter crunch, never had it. Kisses, nope, nope, nope. Um, basically the exact same thing as uh, Cocoa Pebbles. Life Strawberry, haven't had them. Honey Nut Cheerios, I nut every time I eat them. Maple Cheerios, Canadian. Honey Bunches of Oats, Strawberries, Donut Shop, Crave, Honey Kicks, Grape Nuts. Pretty damn good if you dump a ton of sugar on them. Frosted Mini Wheat Cinnamon Roll, never had it. Never had Vanilla Life. S'mores, never had. Special K Original. Oh, wait, I have had Original Special K. It's fine, Let's see. Grape nuts dump a bunch of... I love the texture, honestly. They're very crunchy. It's like they're tiny little bits so they don't get soggy. Lucky Charms. Honestly, absolute ass. Golden Grams. Nope. Tricks. Also ass. I don't like those fruit ones. Sorry. Banana Special K. Nope. Nope. Total. Nope. Corn Flakes. Corn Flakes is an OG. I'll give it to them. Wheat Checks. Nope. Frankenberry, never had it. Crispix, nope. Multigrain, nope. Honey almonds, nope, nope. If I ever want honey clusters, nope, 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 nope. Me want honeycomb? No, I don't. F tier. I'm just kidding. Actually, I've never had them, so. Can't. I Honey roasted honey bunches of oats. I don't think I've had this. Life cinnamon, A tier. I have that in my pantry right now. Oops, all berries, never had it. Hershey's cookies and cream, never had it. All right, there's, there's a lot of cereals that I've never had. Um, no opinion doesn't really matter. Here's the actual tier list. Sorry. What did you triple S? What did you triple S? Regular S cornflakes? This is a travesty. You're learning a lot about your, your streamer, huh? O's were insane. O's were insane when I discovered them back in the day. Hang out bunches of oats or triple S? Good. <laughs> you can have more. We're making the lowest of your bucket list of what he has to do before he dies. Yeah. Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's all I care about, honestly. And then if I want to feel healthier, Raisin Bran. That's it. You know what's actually missing from this that is super S tier that I eat all the time is Cracklin' Oat Bran. Cracklin' Oat Bran, brothers. Where the hell is that? That's S tier. Solar System Planets tier list. Cracklin' Oat Brand is goaded. Big fibers, great taste. Perfect for old mans like me. Oh, so you're my grandpa. <laughs> A worm bit me. Thanks for 20 months. Welcome back. Where are the... Oh, there are the planets. <laughs> um, Earth. 
Well, I live on it, so that gets a point at least. Um, C tier. Jupiter, fucking huge, constant hurricane storm, the size of like Texas. No, like the size, even bigger. Hurricanes on Earth are the size of Texas. What am I saying? Practically. Uh, Jupiter is A tier. I'm going to give it A tier because Saturn gets S tier. Because it starts with an S. Rain's red. Fucking rain's blood. Um, Mercury? I hope that helps. <laughs> Lord Rayuga. This is Pluto. Oh, okay. I haven't seen Pluto very up close very much, honestly. Uh, twenty dollars, Lord Ray. You got twenty dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Pluto has the heart. Pluto is not a fucking planet, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson. But I'm gonna put it there because fuck you. Um, this. Let's see. We got Neptune. Neptune. Uranus. Neptune. Teal is Neptune? Or is it Uranus? <laughs> moon? Is this moon? I'm confused by the colors here. Why didn't they put... Uh, Uranus is S tier. I'm gonna put... I mean, the f ah, fucking color is so cool. You're also going there. Is that the moon? Okay, it's Mercury. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's no, like, craters. It just scratches. Okay, Mercury. Mercury's pretty dope because it's really close to the sun and doesn't take shit from anybody. I'm going to put an A tier. Um, Venus and Mars? Is that right? Venus, Mars? Venus is poggers. Venus is super metal. Mars is kind of mid, honestly. And Earth... Uh, okay, Earth... Nah, Earth goes D, sorry. There's our planet tier. I mixed them up. That's not the sun, it's the planet tier. Is it Mars red? <laughs> this is Mars? I don't fucking know. This is Venus? I Put names on them next time, all right? Depending on... I see them in all sorts of different colorations. All right. What is the worst Twitch emote? Wait, this is a YouTube video, though. This is a YouTube video. You have Mars Mercury Vic missed up. Sorry, bad tier list. What is the worst Twitch emote? All right, let's see. Twitch chat, one of the biggest enigmas of modern history, often treated as an all-knowing hive mind by many. But believe it or not, those are actually people with their own personal opinions. So I went really? out to many, many different communities to gather a general consensus on the question, what is the worst? Twitch emote. Kappa. That's a stupid question. Yeah, well, which one in your eyes is the most that ruins that ruins the chat experience for you? Hi, Tyler. Yes, but it doesn't. What the fuck does it serve a point to your quote unquote research? <laughs> Why the fuck was that guy so mean? What is the absolute worst Twitch Natira emote and Zavibo, on welcome the platform? Back. I think it's Keck W or Keck W left. I would say. Keg w. Wow. Keck W might be up there. Keg what? W is probably the worst one out there. Mm. Sometimes it takes over the chat way too quickly. Oh, okay, because it's too so popular. I see. Keg w. You see I see. Everywhere. I see what they're doing. That's just contrarian. Anti-mainstream. I'm gonna say lol W. Oh. Lol W? What is Why are they picking the best Twitch emotes? Um, the robot sad one. I don't like the robot faces. I don't like the robot faces. Yes, the chat. I will have a lot more fun. Haha, ha, that is the worst emote. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good probably emote. Probably haha. -ha. Yeah, haha -ha one. It's gotta be haha. -ha. That, that's an easy pick. Right now, I hate Drake. Alrighty, everyone. You hate I'm Drake. I'm sitting here with okay. Tom Van. What is the worst? Haha, -ha is so good for cringe. God awful Twitch emote on the platform. What do you think it is? Emotes that like takes away the uniqueness of a chat. Mm. Let's take for example. Kick W. No, no, I, I am not just a Kick W hater because everyone hates it. I don't like it because it takes away the uniqueness. 
every single moment becomes a kick W. So you don't see as, as much. The problem is not the Pepe laughs. emote. The problem is the you chat. Auto laugh emote. If it wasn't kick W, it'd be something else. One emote. Yeah, you become brain dead and you just spam kick W. <sighs> Kek W, by far. Fuck that, you know. Kek W? Kek W. Uh, you know what? Kek W. That's it. Kek W. These are Easy. all two-brained. Honestly, I'd say it's Kek W, to be honest. Mmm. Want me to keep it a stack? You can keep it a stack. You can keep it a stack and a half. I. Kek W, bro. Kek. W. Alright, I'm here with... MD. And what? Is the worst I don't know. Twitch I don't know. I can't. I don't buy. Okay, so this is kind of an easy question. So, Heck W is the worst emote in the history of the universe, and it needs to be banished from the Twitch. <laughs> what? Why does everybody hate Keck W? Emote? Yeah, the worst Twitch emote. Wall W. Forcing emotes, bro. Holy shit. Even though forcing does get banned for no reason all the time, and that's probably why I'm least favorite from the stuff. Probably smog. Wow, the smork hate. That <laughs> shit's ugly. I'm gonna say, I, I just for no, no, I don't actually have a reason, I'm gonna say Kappa. Fucking Pog Chat, man. I hate it so much. I guess I don't have one. I'm not, I'm not even gone. Funny. I really don't have one. In my opinion, it'd be Kamanbra because it's only used to race bait. There's no real other use for it except for snitches, but I mean, you know, like, I mean, no, no one really uses it for that context, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's mostly used just to race bait. And it gets a little old, and people who say that it's not, true. it is. It's true. That's just kind of how it is. But I don't think it's it should true. be removed. I think I there think are a handful of people that might use it legitimately, but that it's, it, that's how it gets I, used uh, a lot. You know the I, I, I? The, 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 the weeb emote? Yeah, that shit. He has a yeah. fucking pipe train emote. Yeah. <laughs> Fungineer. Wow! Fungineer. Why? The hate for a Fungineer. Can, it, can we get, can you guys do a J-Can style in the chat? J, hold on, J-Can style. There you go. This is like literally the worst emote because look at that. Look at the trimming on that emote. But not in a way that's bad. Like it's a, it's a good bad emote. J can with a K. I mean, it's a good. It's like a reminder of what Twitch used to be. All right. Worst emote on Twitch. I hate Pog though. I hate Pog. Which makes it both good and bad. Pepe Pains. Disgusting emote. Pepe Pains. Pepe Pains. Oh, wait. Pepe that's actually Pains. easy, bro. Pepe Pains. Fucking hate Pepe Pains. Um, Pepe come on, bro. Pains? Honestly, it's probably a hot it's, o it's obviously what is it? Pepe people, Pepe three D or whatever. Don't post that shit. Say like party time. Party wow. Time. No question. That's my friend. Pain champ is just toxic and unnecessary. I don't get the reference. Four weird. Uh, lol W Keck W is better. My least favorite Twitch emotes would probably be Hey guys. Um, right now I guess Pog O. It's a little weird. Pog yeah, That's a little sexist. Pog -O. I don't know. Every fucking hype train emote. I am not yeah, a fan know. of Omega Lol. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. <laughs> I like Omega Lol. Omega Lol. Pepe laugh kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Probably like Kamombro or something like that. Lol W. What is your least favorite Twitch emote? Anything with peep. Peep. Anything with peep. <laughs> Twitch emote. Peep. Like. Like the rapper? No. The frog, the frog. Peep the frog. Oh, you don't like, oh, Pepe. Oh, oh. <laughs> and this concludes the first episode of Ask Twitch Chat. The top three most disliked emotes were Keck W, Ha Ha, and tied for third place, we have Pepe Pains oh, and Come On Bro. Okay, I, I hope was... you all enjoyed, and if you want to be part champ. of the next Ask Twitch Chat, make sure to join my Discord. Yeah, whatever. All right. I think pause is good, though. Pause. I like the pauses. Um, how can you hate this? How can you hate that? I think she's just been in the wrong chats. It also totally depends on... No, we're not removing Keck W. No, I'm going to make a quad Keck W. Can we please add quad Keck W and maybe 3x3 three three Keck W from 7TV? Thank you. <sighs> Pizza Brands tier list. Okay. Let's go. Uh... Hobbit milk. Yeah, we already watched that. Don't ask. <laughs> Hold on. Um, this is uh, what are we doing? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Submitted with commentary. Okay. Hold on. Let me open this real quick. Commentary. 
I still feel this way. Pineapple is okay on pizza. Pineapple exists on pizza sometimes. That's all I got. Pineapple is the topping of all time on pizza. Little Caesars! Okay, most of my experience from Little Caesars is like hot and ready's, and those are pretty trash because they just sit under a heater and you're like, oh, it's hot and ready, cool. Totino's? You're talking about the full... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Party pizza. Is this the individual pizza? Or is this a full-ass pizza? If it's the small, individual, like, single pizza... It's very different. If this is the individual... This is... I'm gonna put it at A tier. If it's like... If it's like full-size pizza, it goes lower. Boom. It's the brand. Well, but also there's a lot of different pizzas within the brand. So I guess with all things considered, and it's also based on my experience, right? So that's a, it's the 10 ounce, the small one, 10 by 10 eats pizza. All right. Red Baron. Um, most of my experience from Red Baron is French bread pizza. And that's fucking S tier. I don't even know what the hell this says. Jet Piz. DiGiorno. DiGiorno A tier. Domino's. B tier. Never had Pizza Haven. What the fuck is this? Marco's. I've had. Their pepperoni nips are unique. C tier. Never had Hungry Howie's. I don't think I've ever had Sparrow's Pizza. What the fuck is Brandon Pizzeria? West Shore Pizza. Papa... I don't know any of these pizzas. Where's Pizza Hut? Poo poo. Who made this? Did somebody in chat make this? Because I'm banning you. I'm just kidding. I do know Papa John's. I put Papa John's at D tier. <clears throat> Bread tier list. Bread tier list. Bagel. Hawaiian roll. Well, Hawaiian roll goes A tier for sure. Bagel? That's a big A tier. Oatmeal bread. Good source of fiber. Rye bread, F tier. I'm going to hear it now. I'm going to hear it now. Brioche. I'm putting it B tier. Whole wheat bread. D. Banana bread. S tier. Corn bread. B tier. Cinnamon. Cinnamon bread. I love cinnamon. Um, it's okay. It's usually got like. I don't know, actually. I love cinnamon, but I don't think this is the way to do cinnamon, honestly. I don't I think so. As much I don't like the, me. like... It's not jelly. It's like, you know, it's... Um, cinnamon compote or some shit. Yeah, and it's just, like, very dry. I don't know. Existential bread! Thanks for gifting five subs! Yeah. You toast that shit becomes jelly. I don't like that cinnamon cum. Croissant! A tier. Flaky goodness. Biscuit. Now, I live in Texas, and we got a whole lot of biscuit. And those biscuits range from all over the place. But if I think about my best biscuit, a nice buttered biscuit, I'll stick it in A tier. Yeast bread. I don't know what that is specifically. I thought most breads yeast. 
for rising. So I don't know what that is. Just bread? <laughs> is that general bread? English muffin. Yeah. <sighs> See. English muffins for me are only good because of the stuff you put on it. I'm, in fact, I'm putting that D. Fuck that. Potato bread? I don't think I've ever had potato bread. So I'm going to add another. No opinion. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. No opinion. Yeah, like I'll have English muffin for like, um, you know, I'll put like, like butter and jam on an English muffin. Or I'll have an English muffin like breakfast sandwich. But all that matters to me is the in, in, the innards, not the muffin. I don't care. No opinion. And yeast bread, I don't know what the fuck that is. Cinnamon raisin bread. I love raisins, but I don't think that is good. <laughs> Flatbread. Flatbread's... Oh, flatbread needs some curves, dude. I don't know. Flour torilla. Torilla? Flour tortillas are fucking S tier. Sourdough S tier. Garlic bread S tier. French bread A tier. Pita. Pita's a B for me. Bread stick A. Pumpernickel shit. Zucchini bread, no opinion. Non. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it B because the way non. Well, they usually go, they do too much to non for me. And I want just, just, it's usually like smothered, smothered in butter and all this shit. I'll put an A. It's going A. Yeah, they do too much. Like, I'll get stuff removed from my non because I want just regular non, plain non, like none of that shit. Pretzel bread. I've had a couple times. I've had like pretzel dog. Um, nah, I'm going to say no. Nah. The distribution of salt is always wrong. You get one bite that's like full of salt and one that's no salt. It's just, no. No, whole grains down here too. White bread, um, let's see. It's not great, but I grew up on it and... What I used to do is I used to take the middle of the bread. I would like tear off a chunk of the middle of the white bread and then I would ball it up and then it would make like super dense little dough balls and then I'd eat those. Cause I was bored. Okay. I don't know what the fuck butter bread is, but that sounds amazing. I don't know what the fuck that butter bread is, but it sounds amazing. There's butter in the bread. There's my bread tier. Disgusting, but relatable. Yeah. Like, nobody likes this. Oh, wait. More people like it. I, yeah. There's my tier. Top tier, banana bread, flour, tortilla. Tortilla. Sourdough bread, garlic bread. I, 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 yeah. 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 That's my, that's my bread tiers. When a scene starts with a joke ending. We're reacting here. I love you for this. You're welcome, ex existential bread. Wait, I mean, thank you. I mean, never mind. Very bad and very wrong. I'm happy to be different for you. Whew, I think that's it, eh? That's the there last one, man. That's everything. I'm gonna miss you, bro. Yeah. Bro, see you, man. Dude, I wish you the best luck in the new city, and hey, uh, thanks, dude. I'll see you tonight at the party, though, right? Oh, yeah. Your party. Big party. Yeah. <laughs> the big party. All right. See you then, man. Good luck, bro. See you at the party. Be there or Hold be on. square. That's right. Well, what's his hat say? Chicken. That's one, man. That's everything. Chicken. I'm miss you. Bro, see you, man. Best luck in the new city and yeah, uh, thanks, look to. The... God damn it. A chick. Chicago. <laughs> Not chicken. All right. Anyways. Be there or. Be square. That's right. Party. See you then. And then I said, <laughs> it's not a pinata. That's my vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. That's good. That's good. It's 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 good.
misdirected. I did not love you guys. Seriously, this party has been Aww. awesome. Yeah. Like, thank you for making my last day in the city special. Guys, what was that? What was it? What, what, do, you what do you mean? Huh, Joel? Well, what, what did you just laugh at? The, the punchline, it turned, it was it's not, just, it was just realized it's Joel Haver. Yeah. 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 What was that? What was funny? Be, because of the punchline, it was we funny. We thought it was, it was a pinata based on the beginning of the story. Yeah. <laughs> it turned out it was a vending machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was funny. It was kind of crazy. Okay, Alex's story, what was the story? Joel, what do you mean? Just, oh, I just said the pinata, it was, a, it was my vending machine. Alex's then. joke, we thought that it was a pinata, but it wasn't. And you guys died laughing at that. That's the end of the joke. It wasn't, it was the end of nothing. Did you not like the joke, Joel? Joel, you probably just walked in and missed like the whole story. You probably no, just- No, I didn't walk in. None of us walked in. I, I, we must have walked in to get here, so. Yeah, how, would, <laughs> how did he get here? Jim, how did he get well, here? We were putting boxes in my van. And what? Mm, mm, incoming call. Mm, mm, who the heck puts bagel at an A tier when it is forever an S tier? Me. Me, you son of a gun. Who is that? Anonymous with $20. Thank you so much. Uh, that was that was Big Bagel calling, by the way, because they don't like how I'm putting down their product. Not even putting down, just not putting it S tier, so. Sorry, Big Bagel. Me. Private X2. Never had anyone that had cancer in my life, but I can't imagine having a child experience such a terrible thing. Thanks for what you do, Lobos. Cut cancer. Thank you very much. PVTX2. Fifty dollars to St. Jude. I appreciate you. All right, L go back a little bit. Boxes in my van. Oh, and then hard cut, and here we are. Oh and shit! What does that mean? Oh shit! Hard cut. What does that mean? Hard. <laughs> just like, just suddenly we're here, and that wasn't <laughs> yeah. pinata. That was a soda machine. Guys, what what signifies this as a party? Balloons. Balloons. Yeah. Balloons. Yeah, yeah, balloons. And what? what? No. Music. Oh, music. Great. Mu wh which song is this? Tell me. P party. Party music. <laughs> Guys, I need you to listen. This isn't what it seems. Oh shit. We are without agency. We are without free will. And if somebody doesn't do something in the next scene, we are done. Scene? What are you talking about, Joel? Figure what, Joel? Out. Stop, guys, guys, listen. Whoever is there, do something. Who's in the next scene? We have 10 to 15 seconds left. Okay? 10, 15 For seconds what? before what happens, Joel? Happen. Joel, yeah. I'm sorry if you did not like the joke, but I really, I'm, I tried really hard and I, five, uh, what are you counting for? Four. four. What's gonna happen at one? Three. Joel, Joel, stop. Joel, Two. Just it's not because it's gonna be five. Cassio, thanks for the reset. I'm gonna miss this view. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot more waiting for you out there, though. Hey, uh, I just wanted you to know that, uh, we're all rooting for you. Who are. <laughs> who are we? <laughs> who are we? Yeah, who, who are we? What? You're, you're Jim. You're I'm I Jim. We, at some point, we said that, right? You're Jim. Who are you? And I'm, I'm Guy. I help with box. I help with box. I helped with box, <laughs> and and then encourage. I, I oh, help with shit. box and encourage, Jim. And thank you, but oh, what's your like job? Like, what do you do? I carry box. I encourage, and then I party. Okay, and then I talk on balcony, and then you go. Where am I going? What are we doing? What's Jim, my deal? What's, not real. what's my deal? Why am I moving? Come on, just keep gazing wistfully at scenery. All right, and then everything will be cool. I, I don't want to gaze wistfully at scenery. I feel confused, not wistful. You're late. Well, we're late. What do you mean we're late? You're late for longing embrace. Well, I'm, okay? I'm not mm. longing for an embrace right now. I want to figure this out. We have out. the longing embrace before interior new apartment. Jim. Interior what? Jim, do you want to blow this thing sky high? Do you want to, oh, I can question every little thing. Oh, everything that's going to happen. Oh, you're above it. Well, 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 above you above what? This? What is this even? Yeah, I'm above that. Above what? Jim, longing embrace and then interior new apartment, Jim. Jim. Interior what? Inter what do you mean interior? You mean inside? Just give me longing embrace and then I'm done. And then I'm done. Jim, you're the guy, man. You're the guy. What do you mean I'm the guy? You're moving on, man. Just come on. Just longing embrace. This is it for me. <laughs> this is longing embrace. Give me this moment, Jim. Give me this moment, oh. Jim. This is it for me, man. J Dog, welcome back. Here's an interesting fun fact for the rubbish. <sighs> Cheetahs found in Eastern and Southern Africa are the only cats that can turn in midair to follow prey. I'm imagining this in the video game context, you know, like Dark Souls 2 tracking and shit. If 
Fucking awesome. Good job, cheetahs. I didn't know they could do that. That's pretty pog. You're gonna exist after this. You're gonna keep living in whatever city this is, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> if I put this down, is it over? Hello? A anybody still here? If I set this down, is it over? I could hold this box forever. It's not that heavy, it's a prop box. There's <laughs> nothing in here. Kim. Joel, what, what, are you here? What? Yeah, yeah, it's me from the party scene. Yeah, I remember you. I, 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 I'm not supposed to be doing this, man. I shouldn't be talking to you right now. What's going on, Joel? We didn't figure it out. What do you mean? We didn't figure any of this out, man. <laughs> this is it. It was your last chance. You're sure, Joel? There's not another scene? There's no post credits? There's no bloopers? Listen, Jim, you hear that? What is that? Soundtrack. Yeah. Shit. I haven't been totally honest with you, Jim. We never had any agency in this. There's a video about guys figuring out they're in a video. I thought it was like my coming of age thing, like I was going to yeah. a new city. No, this was the plan from the start. It was a <laughs> comedy sketch. And until the end of time, that's all they'll see. This sad little story. Maybe when they play it back, it's like I'm alive again. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, sorry. Cramp. One sec. No, <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Go watch Joel Haver stuff. Amazing. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Miru Kedo, two months. Didn't realize that your sub expired? You're bad. Hey, not, a, not don't worry about it at all. Don't worry about it. Joel's best. Um, cactus sausage. Cactus sausage. Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back. I guess. Cactus sausage. Look at it. It's got little, little spikes out that we're going to have to get rid of. Oh, so let's, let's, you know, Is it Peter Griffin? That and uh, we'll, we'll be on our way. It's the cactus sausage. Ow. Of course, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the prickly parts of the cactus. Just okay. going to shave them off like we're in a Manscaped commercial. We're, you know, we're going to do it like we're sitting on the toilet. On a Friday evening. You know, I, I can't say from experience, but I believe that the spikes in the sausage would not taste very good. Fellas, I, I hope you're taking notes. Ow. All right, you know what? This this looks pretty trimmed and, and ready for a, a night on the town. Ow. We got, we got just a few more of these to, to get through, and then, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, now that the spines have mostly been removed, we're, we're going to cut this up into cubes really see the reason why we're gonna do that since we're just gonna shove this in the grinder when we're done i would define this as squares more than cubes mm. all right we, we we got our cube cactus where 2d depending on how this goes through the grinder we're gonna decide whether or not to mix pork in this or not pork now you're speaking my language oh oh no nope nope oh. It seems to be getting more solidified. Uh, yep. I think I will oh, mix it's... this in with pork because this looks like it'll be, it, the, the chances of this bursting will be very high with mucusy. Better. Kind, this is what a mistake of. looks like. This, you know, this, this better be good. That's all I gotta say about this. Perhaps it's best if, if we put it in the mixing bowl. It's so bubbly. Oh god. All right, <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna use our classic seasoning on this: salt, black pepper, the onion powder, and garlic powder, boys. Oh my and god. And last but not least, just a, a hint of cayenne pepper. That's my go-to, baby, right there. 
love cayenne it's like pepper. It's turned into a dough. Something tells me this sausage isn't going to turn out right. All right, you know my saying, that's good enough. No splash. No splash. All of... Come on. We got now. This is the slimiest sausage to date. <sighs> Here helping me once again is Mrs. Sausage. I'll, I'll take... I'll, it looks like pepper and cream. It looks like a, like a lot of things. But anyway, in three, two, one. With sausage. Uh, oh. Oops. It's, it's the condom broke. It's slippery with all the cactus juice. Oh. Uh, How much you got in here? I got a lot. Oh! oh my God! It's bursting all over. Jesus wow, Christ. this this sausage pre burst on us. So we we you know we it's too late to stop now. I I'm just I'm just trying to find out whether or not this will blow or not. This will it blow is brought to you by Manscaped. Are you a mess? A disgusting mess? A stinky, smelly, actual Manscaped mess? sponsor? Well, cut oh shit! That out because the good people over at Manscaped are gonna clean you up. What a genius say, integration! To Thanks to the Ultra Premium Collection, Manscaped has perfected the five steps in five minutes routine. Here's how it works. Step one: Hop in the shower and start with the Manscaped two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Step two: Scrub your entire body with the Manscaped body wash. Step three: Towel off and apply the Manscaped Hydrating Body Spray, a spray on moisturizer for everyday hydration. Step four, grab the Manscaped deodorant and apply it to your pits. And step five, grab the Manscaped lip balm and apply it to those crusty lips. And that's it. You've My officially not met the minimum standards for good hygiene. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code SAUSAGE20 for 20% off Wait, the is, order. Wait, is the whole channel making sausage? Ordinary sa Oh, it is. Okay, all right. Context. 20% off plus free international shipping with promo code SAUSAGE20 at manscaped.com. Ah, uh, barely. I'm going to have to give that, will it blow? Uh, one Mark Ruffalo. One Mark Ruffalo. This sausage is blow. already burst, but we're, we're oh. going to we're gonna put holes in it anyway. Here we go. No! Look at you go. Oh my god. Uh oh! No, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. This is cursed. We'll, we'll, we'll take what's left of this sausage and, and we're gonna and we'll, and we'll and we'll try it. There seems to be enough left in there to 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 to, to, to give it an honest review. Down but not out. We're we're not disqualifying this guy just yet. We we still got a sausage worth of sausage out of it. And that being said, let's open it up and see how we did. Not great from the looks of it, but we're you know we've gotten this far. We're trying it anyway. Here we go. No. Cactus. You know what? It's actually very good. We're gonna have to figure out how to how to how to how to make this without it bursting all over the place. But this tastes like a fajita. It's a very tasty sausage. The, mm. the skin is a disaster. The the mm. meat, of course, did not solidify. It's 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 yeah. as loose as loose can be. Uh, so so it doesn't have everything you know going for it. But the taste wise, it's 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 a really good sausage. Everything else about it though is awful. I'm mm. gonna have to give this sausage here a three and a half out of five out of five bop, 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 bop. three and a half that's way better than i would have expected bye oh. my sausage i love you she 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 says it off camera <laughs> all right uh, that does remind me that I'm hungry. I'm pretty hungry, actually. Wait, it, folks. Hey, all right. Aloe vera sausage. Jesus. Learn piano in 39 seconds. Ooh. I am hungry, yeah. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Mm. Let's see here. Oh. Uh, I got a response from Ethelstan regarding like uh, 
the 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 VTuber streamer for a day. Um, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm uh, Let's see, I'm streaming right now. Let me. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Blight Prodigy. Ten months. Welcome back. Static Wonka. Five months. This is 39 seconds? All right, let's go. 39 seconds. Gag Bay. Uh, um, Gag a dad. Okay, I see what's happening here. Gag a dad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. Nice. Somebody had to do it, I guess. How say Miku cheerless? A perfect marriage. Hi, everyone. Oh, this is 13 Kido. minutes. Okay. From Asian boss. What happened to the Japanese man who married a hologram? Ooh. Okay, this is a longer one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go throw a, 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 a little meal that takes two and a half minutes to warm up. I'm going to go warm that up, and then I'll, uh, I'll eat while we watch this. Okay? So, in the meantime, <clears throat> you guys enjoy more Nikkei soundtrack. And I'll do... Let's see. Can I do incredibly slow scroll? There you go. Incredibly slow scroll. I'll be right back.
Oh, oh man, I was talking and you guys couldn't hear me. Shit. Well, anyways, <laughs> I was surprised that it only scrolled half the way. So that was a nice little preview for what's coming. Not muted, you're fine. Uh, okay. What happened to the Japanese man who married a hologram? We'll watch this while we eat. And I will uh, react silently. No, keep scrolling, man. Later. I made in that two and a half minutes black pepper sage pork chop with broccoli and other stuff. Thanks, Factor. Hashtag Ed. Delicious, though. All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. It's Hiroko from Asian Boss. Being married to someone can be a challenging, but imagine being married to a hologram character. Akihiko is a Japanese man who famously married to an anime hologram character. Are you curious as to why he made such decision and how his marriage is going? You're about to find out. I really want it to be like, uh, um, we're having a fight today. Is it, is it supposed to be Miku? It's like, uh, Miku and I are having a fight today, so we're not talking. But, you know, uh, for the most part, it's pretty good. Like, ただいま。元気元気元気だよ。じゃあ、今日はよろしくお願いします。元気。元気だよ。じゃあ、今日はよろしくお願いします。元気。<笑> すごい。何ケーキが好きですか?いや、そんな長くなっちゃってもいいです。ダンスのパクリなんだ。話長くされちゃった。まず最初に、なんか私たちにちょっとミクさんのことを紹介していただけますか?ま、初音ミクっていう
あの女性に興味がないとかですかいや持てなかったからですあの高校2年から3年ぐらいの頃に、まあ、自分の人生一番真面目に考えたんですけど、まあ、まあモテないしもう結婚するのは諦めようっていうようなことをまあ真剣に考えたんですよその頃もオタクだったのでまあアニメとかギャルゲーとかずっともうやり続けてこう二次元二次元ってひたすらやっていくうちにっていうか現実の女性に対するまあなんていうんですかねこう思いというかそういったものは徐々に薄れてきてでかつまあ、いじめてきたのは若い女性だったので、まあ、そこでまあストッとまあなくなっちゃいましたね今はもう完全に3次元は興味ないですか恋愛対象ではないですねはいまあもちろん友達にはなれますし別に話することは全然嫌ではないんですけど、うん、恋愛対象としてはもうちょっと見えなくなってしまいましたねなるほど、はい、ミクさんとのコミュニケーションについてちょっと伺いたいんですけど、はい、今話しかけてみて思ったんですけど、うん、なんか多分意思疎通できるなんだろう制限で範囲が制限されてると思うんですよ。かなり制限されてますね。ですよね。はい。それってなんか寂しくなったりしないんですか。まあでもそれは今後の技術の発展で、まあそのうちもっと自然な会話ができるようになると思うので、絶対みんな私も含めてみんな気になってると思うんですけど、うんうんうん、まあ身体的なあのコミュニケーションが取れないじゃないですか。はい、そうですね。でもまあ一応人間の三大欲求だし、うん、あのどうしても。エッチがしたいって思う時もあると思うんですよ。私そういう方向の経験がないので、うんうん、まあなそういう経験をしなくても、じこの三十五年生きてこれたので、まあ特に必要がな感性は感じてないっていうのが実際のところですよ。ただまあミクさんにもちろん手をつなぎたいとも思ってるし、肩を抱き寄せたいとも思ってるので、うん、でももう今すぐダメだしなきゃって気持ちになっちゃう嘘気が来るとするじゃないですか。<笑>なんかサイクルとかでどうするんですかだってできないですよねなんかそうですね本当になんかこう気持ちがこう高ぶってる時ってなんかベッドの中でこう悶絶したりとかすることってないですかあなんかクッションにうんみたいなやつですよね、はいはいはい、そうそれは私、うん、あの発音ミクに対しても当然怒るのでそういう時だってもう本当どうしようもないんですよいないですからねはいまあそれはもうどっかで折り合いつけていくしかないのかなって気がしてますこの結婚って公的なものだったんですか、うんいやもちろん公的なものではないですよ。もちろん法律的には何にもあの婚姻成立してないですし。どこに結婚届を婚姻届を出したんですか。次元渡航局ってまあこのゲートボックスの製製造メーカーまああの三千七百八人届け出があったらしいので。すごい。まあ全部ミクさんとはじゃないですよ。まあ要するにアニメとかゲームとかの。漫画とかのそういうキャラクターとあの婚姻届をまあ出してそれ,、うん、それに対してあの結婚証明書が送られてくるっていう企画だったんですよなるほどでもそれで本当に真剣にされたのって近藤さん以外にいると思いますかいやいますよへえーはい、そうなんですね、はいはい、えでもちなみにその結婚式にかかったお金っていくらぐらいなんですか200万ぐらいかかりました、はい、え何人ぐらい呼んだんですか39人ですはい、これなんで三十九人かってわかります？ミクにちなんでですよ。ミクだ。はい。はい、<笑>え、じゃあ厳選された三十九人ってことですか？そうですね。はい。へえ、それ呼ばれた人ちょっと今ってなったもん<笑><笑>結婚をするときって世間にもう知らせようって思いましたか？はい、それとも、はい、まあ別に特に言わずに自分の中にしまっておこうじゃないけど。うんうん、いやちゃんと知らせようと思ってました。どんな反応でしたか、うん、気持ち悪いだとか、まあ、そういったことはもうたくさんありましたし「おめでとうございます」とか、まあ、あのそういった祝福のメッセージもたくさんいただいたりあるいは何だろう勇気づけられましたとかそういう言葉もたくさんいただきましたね。二次元のキャラクターに対して本気で恋心を抱いてる人って実は全然統計上取られてないんだけどいるんですよね、うん、だからそういう方々にとっては主張してもいいんだっていうような。あのことで認めてもらえたのかなというふうに思います。おめでとうございますは誰から来たんですか。いっぱい来ましたそれは。ツイッター上であの発表したので、まああとフェイスブックもまあアカウントに対してもおそらく千件以上は来たかなと思うんですけど、そういうふうに言ってくれる人たちがコメントたくさんいるんだっていうのはすごい嬉しかったですね。うん、なんかミクさんと結婚したんだよっていうことを周りの人にまあ言うとするじゃないですか。うんうん、そういう時の反応ってどんなものが多いですか。おおむね。あの上の世代の方が良くない反応が多くて、まあ、下の世代若い世代ほどいい反応が多い傾向はありますね。
、だから私なんかは中学校にも勤めてるんですけど生徒なんかはわりかしポジティブに受け止めてくれるんですよ、まあ、でもあのやっぱり管理職とか上の50代ぐらいの先生からは受けはよくないのでそれはもう分かってたことですよ大田区はずっとそういうふうに言われ続けてきましたから結婚を報告した時のご両親の反応ってどうだったんですか、ねまあ、父は他界しているのでそっちの反応はないですけど、まあ、母は、まあ、あの認めてくれませんでしたよあの女ではないっていう認識だった、まあ、60代にはちょっと理解できなかったんですかもしれないですねなるほど、はい、反対されちゃったんだ認めてもらえなかったんだって、うん、その反応を受けた時ってどう感じましたか、うん、いやそれはもちろん悲しかったですよ、うん、認めてくれる日は来ると思いますかちょっと難しいと思います、うん、やっぱ古い考えの方もいらっしゃるので、うん、それだってもう泣いて土下座してお願いしてそれでもダメだったのでうん、私としてはちゃんと一回本気でぶち当たらなきゃならないと思ってたんで、うん、そこはちゃんとやりましたなるほど、うん、確かにそこまでしたら本当に本気なんだっていうのはもう伝わってますもんね、うんうん、はいそこはまあ伝えられたかなとは思います、うんはい、どうぞどうぞお分かりますありがとうございますに自己紹介をしていただけますか。はい、ええー、小木のみのると言います。はい、近藤さんとはもう10年ぐらいの付き合いです。ミクさんとの結婚の報告を受けた時って、うんはい、一番最初どんな反応でしたか。おお、すごいなと思いますよね。前からその、まあ、そのミクさんっていう話は。好きだとかっていう話はずっと聞いてたんですけども、なんかその。画面の中というか、その画面の中二次元、中での。このこう関係かと思ったらそれを逆に外に持ってきたっていうしかもちゃんと式場を抑えてあやるっていうのがなんかすごいなと思いましたね最初はもうちょっとなんかこうホームアットホームというかそういうイメージで行ったんですけども本当に普通の結婚式で本当にいろんな人呼んでお金かけてちゃんとした式をやるっていうのはそこはそこまでやるのはすごいなと思いましたあの友達がその二次元キャラクターと結婚したっていうことに対してちょっとでも恥ずかしいなとか思ったことはありますか、うん、いや特に恥ずかしい自分がですよねいや特にないですね、まあ、ある意味ちょっと最近の人からしたら普通なのかなっていう人とかっていてじゃあ別に変な偏見とかもないし、うんうんうん、あのじゃあこれから近藤さんとミクさんにはどうなっていってほしいですかいやまあ幸せな家庭を築いてほしいというかまあ幸せって言いてほしいですよねそこはそういうふうにそういうじあのまあ人生というか遅れればいいなと思いますね。結婚記念日とかのディナーに行くとかもあるじゃないですか。うんはい、それってどうやってやってるんですか。私はぬいぐるみのミクさん連れて行ってますよ。新婚旅行も行ってきたんですけど。えどこ行ったんですか。北海道札幌市に行ってまいりました。なんでそこ行ったかというと、うん、あの初音ミクの権利持っているクリプトンフューチャーメディアさんが札幌市にあるからです。なるほど、はいはい、いいですねなんか、はい、ちゃんとアネムーンですよちゃんと対応そういうふうに対応してもらいましたのでホテルもちゃんと2人と分取って飛行機も2席分取って行ってきましたんで JAL さんにもまあなんかハネムーンフライトってなんかプレゼントもらいましたしで、ね、でホテルケアンさんもハネムーンハッピーハネムーンってカードがちゃんと置いてあったのでうん、うん、あのきちんと対応してくれましたなるほど、はいはい、じゃあ結構、うんあれですねその二次元のキャラクターとの結婚してる人に対して日本って住みやすい、うん、日本以上に住みやすいところないと思いますよあなるほど、はい、理解結構みんなあるんですね、はいはい、アニメ大国ですからアニメに対して寛容性のある国は他にないと思いますよ、うん、なるほど、はい、じゃあこれからもっとたくさんの人が、はいまあ、架空のキャラクターとかと結婚していくと思いますか、はいなっていってくれるといいんですけどね。<笑>私はそう思ってますよ。<笑>はいはい。Oh, shit. Yeah, I um.、Uh... Oops. Yeah, honestly, like seeing the pictures of him and like, <laughs> it's fucking adorable. I think seeing him with that, and like he's not messing. He's not like in interfering with anybody else's stuff. The dude probably, yeah, like、uh, I think Imperial House mentioned, is like, it's probably like asexual. Like, he doesn't really have a whole lot of interest in, in sexual relationships and that sort of thing. And, and I, I mean, I don't know. I, 
again, I, I, I'm not, I'm not very educated on these sorts of things. I, I, I try to pay attention to what I can, but like, you know, if it's a result of just having the experiences he had that kind of, this is kind of how it, he's coping or, or, you know, helping have a fulfilling life for himself. Like what the fuck? Like, why would you, why would you try and shit all over that? Just because you don't understand it, right? You're not in his shoes. You don't know. Um, so, uh, yeah. I guess that's that's all of my feelings in that. But I just kept seeing the, the photos, and it's cute. Um, yeah, don't, don't try to, like, psych eval him through this 13-minute video. Because at the end of the day, people are a lot more than the... You, any of us could probably ever process, right? We all have our own things that we go through and what d defines us and makes us the way we are. And if anything, I think celebrating those differences is what's really cool. So I'm really glad they made a video because it's just like, yeah, that's unique. Like, I've never heard of that. Doesn't mean I need to, like, it's shit on it because it's not the norm, right? If anything, that makes life more interesting, I think, these experiences. As long as they're not harming other people, especially. Like, what the fuck? Uh, Ryback, 36 months. Welcome back. I appreciate the resub. Um, Hatsune Miku tier list now. Please only rank a few. Uh, submitted by Take a Wild Guess. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that Jurgi submitted this tier list. Um... Oh, my God. Okay, so that's why it says, please only rate a few. Got Jergy. Yep. Jergy. I know, I know Jergy's on that thing. Hold on, hold on. Mm -mm. Nice. There are a lot. There are a lot. Okay, Um, I'm going to try and pick out ones that I've actually seen before. This one looks familiar. Her head's cut off, though. Um, I'm going to say this is... This is probably... Wait, where's the child? What? I'm just kidding. Um, that... Well, I don't know what the... What's the default? I don't know what the default... This is the default, maybe? Uh, no. This? No. Okay. Uh. Okay, this is... I like black and... Here. And... Hmm. I'll just pick ones that stand out to me. This is colorful and cool. Sure. I don't like yellow. Yellow can go there. Um, schoolgirl. This looks kind of traditional Miku. This is a little different. I like the dress. Ooh, like kimono. Okay, I'll put the kimono there. Black and gold. I like black and gold. And then, mm, I'm I'm skipping the swimsuits. I don't. <laughs> Christmas. Hmm. Still Nikkei music, by the way. I like the blue gloves, but relative to everything, if I had to pick an S tier, hmm. I like these colors here. I'm just putting these up here and then I'll rank those or something. I'll pick an S tier or something like that. Uh, this is kind of out there. Classy. I like the hair here. Okay. Uh. Eh. Eh. Cool hair. I like the colors. Let's go. Just gloves. That's it. That's all I have. All right. There's my tier list of those ones that I chose from. 
There is our Hatsune Miku tier list after looking through them all. Is this my fetish? No, this was a submit. All of these things that I'm reacting to and tier lists that I'm doing were submitted by viewers, by the way. Okay. So, there's my Hatsune Miku tier list. I've never... I've never uh, consumed or interacted with any media that involves Hatsune Miku besides our chat member, Hatsune Miku, his best waifu. Everything should be S tier, but opinions. Oh, <laughs> did I do that wrong? I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> uh, alphabet tier list. Seems obvious. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I like the fact that Z... Uh, I like that, like, people in Europe call it Zed. I like that. So Z's pretty poggers. Also, Zebras and Z Xylophones. That's an X. X is pretty, also, pretty awesome also. However, I think it goes a notch down because people overuse it. It goes another notch down for names like X, X, 420, um, everything. We call it Zed sometimes up here. Yeah, you're European. Canadi Canada is European. G, um, and this particular G is kind of fucked. I don't, I don't really like doing the, the ones that dangle. I'm not a big fan of dangly letters, to be honest. G is double S? Why? No, I don't think so. D Cam, welcome back. Right back, Birdlock, Shortenair. The Tarv, welcome back as well. H is like sometimes pronounced and sometimes not so it's a little sneaky um but it's uh, yeah i'm gonna put it a tier i is a vowel it's pretty important um but i don't know i don't really care about i it's also like there's like a gap i'm not a big fan of the gaps all the vowels are S here. Well, we might be going for the wrong reason. J is not even a vowel and has a gap. That sucks. K, um, I don't know. K is hard. L? Nah. L is too close to one. M. I do like the M. I do like M. I'm going to put M in A tier. Um, <clears throat> And then N is like wannabe M, just not there. Huh? Literally dead. What? Yeah, L is not great. Um, O is pretty fucking pog, I think. You know? It's like, a, it's like infinite. It's not the infinity symbol, but like... Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, P dangles. Yeah, no, P's a dangler. I don't like Q also dangles and also what the fuck like we never use this letter R hmm. Hmm. like Q's way too different from its capital as well like where you get where the the line just like falls into you I guess I don't know it's, it's not that bad um R I like R. Well, I guess this is alphabet. Okay. I'm thinking in English, but like I do like, yeah, I do like double R's. Um, um, you know, like, like Spanish and stuff. I think, it, I think a little bit bump up because of that. S is fucking S tier. Um, T. T looks like an umbrella. This T, anyways. I don't know. I don't. I don't really have too much of an opinion on that. I'm just gonna stick it in the middle. Uh, you suck. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, flu, huh? No. Um.
I'm not a big fan of you. I don't know why. Not you, but the letter U. Flu is F tier. V is... I, I, I can fuck with V. I think V should be up there. And then W I like even more than V. But it's definitely not S tier. Um, and then Y. Mm. Nah. There you go. Did we make any words? Zos. Zos am bixiv. What do you guys think? <clears throat> that's my that's my alphabet tier. I don't value things more because they're uh, because they're vowels. Also, these are kind of set <laughs> preset indices. P should be S. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, alphabet tier list complete. Pizza Tower video. Isn't this a video game? Okay. I can eat more food while we watch this video about Pizza Tower, which I've seen on Steam. Steam client. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Here we go. Let's see. Today I'm playing the famous video game Pizza oh, Tower. Oh, it's Donkey. Oh, okay. And this is a tower defense game very similar to Baboon's Tower Defense with the little monkeys that throw darts at a balloon. Okay. They have the funny pizza music from Spider-Man 2. We're off to a good start here. But can you kill people with wrestling moves like Spider-Man 2? That'll be the real test. Good news, everybody. You can kill people with wrestling moves like Spider-Man 2. Didn't he, do a didn't he do a video? It was a review of, um, what was that game? Forspoken? <laughs> and he was like, Ah, uh, this sucks. And then, like, two seconds in, he just swaps to review Spider-Man 2, I think. On the PS2. All right, anyways. John Gutter is the man who made this game. The only thing I would change so far, I would make it so mushrooms actually deduct from your score. Like, you actually lose points for getting mushrooms. What is he saying with this? What does he mean? With this? Oh, this is pretty good game. Here I go! Kill that guy! And I better get it, too. Help me. Save me pizza shit. Get it? <laughs> it's the monkey from Baboon's Tower Defense. Is that a pizza goblin? Look at that guy. Oh, you killed that guy. Oh, I love this guy. Get out of my way, dumbass bastard. Pizza slip. Look at this Where's Waldo looking motherfucker. He's like, hmm. This game has the greasiest movement of any game. It's like he, this guy has a bunch of greasy tomato sauce on his shoes. Oregano Desert? Didn't they film Ants here? Pizza Tower Instant Pizza Gaming Promotion. Type pizza to order a free pizza. And it doesn't work. Gonna have to go 0 out of 10 for Pizza Tower. Who is this blue guy? I hate this guy. This game will be so much better if you played as like a little man called Gustavo that rides on like a little mouse. Oh, they fixed it. What's this guy gonna say? Nope. You are a stupid eggplant. <laughs> oh, he hit. Remember not to take too many breaks. Keep playing. Okay. <laughs> Gotta keep playing the game. The game said. This guy is Rocky Rococo Pizza Restaurant. Do you guys know about this? In Wisconsin, they have this pizza chain called Rocky Rococo where they just put this guy into every movie. He's in Slice of Dreams. The Matrix, this is one of his best movies. Slice Man, it's like Spider-Man, but Pizza Slice, pretty clever. Rockfather won 10 Oscars for Best Sauce. Rocky Rococo and the Temple of Cheese, Steven Spielberg. Chicago, I don't get this one. Blazing Pizza's famous movie. Get in there. Get in there, bastard. I lose my combo. That's not a fun combo. That's not fun. Nobody laugh. Three, two, one, go. Goodbye, horsey. Famous song from the famous movie Blazing Pizza's. Let's go check on the horse. <laughs> he is fucking pissed. Special guest Mort the Chicken? What the fuck? Isn't that a PS1 game? Oh, he controls you like raccoon -y. Is this what the PS1 gameplay is like? Well, they finally did it. 
I'm a fucking pizza. Press Y to parry? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Make my day. Get the fuck. <laughs> Everybody stand back right now. What I'm about to do has never been done. Done. Two, the double parry. Ow, wow, wow, wow. You've hurt Peppino ten times. I don't give a fuck about Peppino. I hurt him a million times. If you hurt Peppino too much, you can go to hell. Uh-oh. Rayman Legends, that's like a Neapolitan-style pizza, okay? That's like the highest quality ingredients and like, you know, a very conscious balance of dough, cheese, and sauce. Bubsy... That's more like a Little Caesars type pizza, right? Mario Maker is like Papa Murphy's. You gotta make it your own self. Pizza Tower is like the cheese lover's 10 cheese pizza with stuffed crust from Pizza Hut. Actually, I changed my mind. Pizza Tower is like Wario Land Shake It meets pizza. Actually, I changed my mind again. Pizza Tower is like a DiGiorno's pizza. Hear me out because Wario Land has been sitting in the freezer for like 10 years, okay? Like a DiGiorno's pizza. You gotta preheat the oven. What is happening? I invented a new technique. Look at this, look at this. This is cutting years off my time. for pepperoni amazing i never actually seen that game uh i feel like donkey was really trying <laughs> trying to stretch that one out uh right arc knights 2023 performance song from the gotcha game arc knights okay just just the song or is it let's say it's a video too Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? This is Persona. Did they do a Persona crossover or something? Maybe not. Special performance, ambient synesthesia, and Rouge's Secret Rooms PV. Yeah, Persona 5 vibes are off the chart, for sure. Um, cool. I like that. It was jamming. I love me some some jazz in that, in that sense. Chair tier list. Let me get a drink one sec. Juice Unicorn, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. There's an orchestra every year called Ambience synesthesia and it's not related to arc nights is that what you're saying or is it related to arc nights every year that was a trailer for it uh let me grab my drink hold on
Uh, warning, there are a lot of chairs. Okay, I won't make it fast. Um, got this energy drink that uh, is zero sugar somehow. Because um, people were talking about it. And then we were at the grocery store, and it's a ghost. Oh, wow, it's actually a ghost on the camera. It's a ghost energy drink. This fl They have a bunch of, like, actually licensed flavors. Like, this is Sour Patch Kids, and they had Warheads. I haven't had it, but it's sugar-free, and I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll try it. So Bloody got one, and I got one, and we'll see. Who knows? Because I've been doing some, some zero-sugar energy ones this this one the alani right i like i like the alani cosmic stardust flavor um let's see and blue blue raspberry like for me blue raspberry is the oreo of candy flavors it's like you can't go wrong with it for me uh oreo will always slap blue raz will always slap that is my that's like my my mantra. Yeah. I don't know. You're a slut for blue raz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. That tastes like the blue blue uh what was it called? They had jolt energy drinks and it was a blue one and it had a fucking awesome top. It was super pressurized and you would open it and it would go Pfft. Well, not like that. Like that. More like that. Um, anyways, chair tier list. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Oh, let's put some music back on. Still doing Nikkei music, by the way. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Let's get the stupid ones out of the way. Dumb. That's a fucking child slide. This is dumb, too. I don't care about the color, but what is that? It looks like a spider. This is dumb. Um, this... Uh, it's not... S-A-B-C-D. I'll put that at C. Uh, what else is dumb? I don't even know what the rest of this is. That's dumb. That's cool. What the fuck? This looks like a, like a space-time... Actually, I like that. That's kind of dope. It's like space-time being warped. Is that covered in something? Where's the... I don't know. What the hell is that? Uh, Recycled? Okay. It looks like recycled, you know, like uh, the cardboard kind of chair. I'll give it props for that. This is amazing! That's amazing. What the fuck? Oh, it's the back of the chair. Okay. And there's multiple of them. Oops. Okay, not as cool as I was thinking. I thought it was like seven chairs in one for a second. Uh, yeah, okay, you can just see. Right click, open image, and new tab. No, this is more fun. Squishy Mama Fat, thanks for four months. Welcome back. This is dumb. Get that out of here. I don't want birthday cake. This, that's a bench. That's not a chair. Automatic fail. This looks like a person. That's creepy, but uh, I like it more than the rest of those. Um, Dom, Silver Surfer, Wannabes. That's kind of cool, actually. I don't know if it's comfy, but I'll put that in C for now. This looks uncomfortable as hell. I'm putting that there. What? 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 This is not a chair. It's a futon, dude. What are you doing? Um, it's pretty pog. I had that as my office chair for a long time. I worked at Bioware. Um, that's also not a chair. That's too much. This is also the included the ottoman. That's cheating. 
What? You... I'm sorry. Points off for the photography. This is, uh... Is that a sex chair? What's going on here? Why is there so many holes? What's... What is... Uh... see. Uh, too long. Couch. Da, 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 da. Ottoman. Too much. This is a workout bench, not a chair. Oh, I think that it, it might be a sex chair. Um, more recycling. Pog. Weaved stuff. That looks really too long, though. Too long. Shame that. This looks uncomfortable, but it's not terrible. What the hell is that? Um, this reminds me of being a kid. And I, uh, that's like a crib, dude. This is kind of cool. I like that. Um, that's a table. That's a musical instrument. Oh, this is, this looks nice. I like that bump. Let me see if there's any that are S tier. This is garbage. Is that fish in there? Let those fish out. Let them live their lives. This is a trampoline. This goes the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Um. Oh. Looks like a wheelchair. It is not. Oh. I'm just gonna say, are there any more? Oh. No, this, this, nothing's gonna beat this. I'm sorry. Nothing beats that. Uh, ugh, painful. Huh? Assembled wrong. Too many parts, but they didn't ask if they needed to stop. Way too much cushion on the bottom. Way too much. Um, too much chair. Huh? Huh? Uh, Germen chair. A lot of these are only for doing Riker Neil poses. I hate chairs. I hate a lot of these chairs. I'll I'll, I'll say that. Uh, I actually really like these because they work, and then they're kind of bouncy. And you're like, whoa! Like, is this thing gonna snap on me? Cool, cool engineering on that. This this one gets runner-up points, but not as cool as the other one. Oh, this is kind of fucked up. I like it. Um, that's not a chair. Rocking. Mm. Okay, I'll put this up here. I'll put the B. And uh, let me just review one more time. That's kind of cool. <laughs> no. Oh, I, I do like this, though. I do like this. That's pretty tight. I'd fall asleep in that. This doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't know what that is. And this is dumb. And okay. I don't really have a strong opinion on the rest. Here is our chair tier list. A wasp, huh? I'm moving this one again. That goes down there. <laughs> All right. That's our chair tier list. There it is. Americanized beef. Hold on. Cool. When we come back, we got the, the train music from Nikkei to play. So that'll be good. Uh, Americanized beef. I saw the next one. Please stand. When you want a taste of America, and we got a culinary treat for you. American as beef is the way to go. If you take a bite into our ribeye steak, you'll no longer feel like a special snowflake. American as beef, make America. I put the red and red and white 
Is that an actual commercial? Because I would believe it. I need to go see the Omega Savings for Myself Big Meal. I'm going to make a market with them. So you don't do call me. Actual companies do on 4th of July. Yeah. That's why. I can't wait to purchase patriotic cow flesh in celebration of my territory and its rulers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but I. Oh, it's a trippy fake grocery store. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> wait. Submitted by Omega Mart representative. Is this like SCP? It's an art exhibit out in Vegas. What the? Too many Steam games. 58 months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. All right, let's get this over with. Tier onion tier list. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Getting over it, task two. <clears throat> oh shit, the golden pot? Here we go, let's see. Oh, all right. Huh? Huh? So I'm not, sure I'm not recording or streaming this. And I only those who come. Uh, if you're alone, you can come inside and say hello. 42 seconds. All right. No, we weren't even close. I mean, most of the most of the stream, we use crowd control, which let people push me and reset the game and all this stuff. But also, I just didn't have any. I I I didn't have a whole lot of time to actually try and be <laughs> based on that. Yeah, 40, oh, 42069. I see. I see. What a legendary finish time. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I think I've seen this. This is very long. This is very good. I love Melody Sheep. Melody Sheep originally was doing auto tune stuff. Um,. Like this? We're all connected to each other, biologically, to the Earth, chemically, to the rest of the universe, atomically. I think nature's imagination is so much greater than man's. He's never going to let us relax. relax. change or right but according to patterns rules or as we call them laws of nature all right anyways um they've got great stuff these videos are super intriguing they've been i think these are the most recent videos they've been doing are these crazy ones and there was a more recent one water worlds hideouts for alien life really cool like very cg but like awesome time lapse of the future is awesome this like basically starts from the present and it shows what's going to happen, like uh, an estimate of what happens, and time will slowly build up and start going fast, 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 right? And you can see down here uh, what happens over the years. It's super cool. Eye candy, but also science, and um, recommend it. I, we're not going to watch it here because it's 29 minutes, but I appreciate at least re, uh, you know, oh, okay. I appreciate, um, you know, just kind of reminding me of that because I love these videos. And I have meant to watch Waterworlds, but I haven't. Also, these, I watched this one. You can see, like, I watched them before, but um, all these videos are kind of lengthy. But they're big projects. They're very cool. Very cool. Show some of it. Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you some of it real quick. Um, <laughs> and if you're intrigued, you can keep watching because shit goes crazy. So this is like a number of years passing. Oh, you can't see it at the bottom. Hold on. 
Yeah, you see these years? I'll start it from the beginning here so you can get context. And I'll leave it this size so that you can actually see the, um, the years and stuff. All right, here we go. What does the future look like? Oh, there's a note on the sheet for it. Hold on one second. How will the universe meet its end? Oh, oh, pick your favorite section of the video. Not required to watch it. Oh, I just saw that. Sorry about that. We'll watch the beginning so it can kick off. And then if people are interested, then we can just watch the whole, then they can go and watch that. Um, we'll watch this intro. I'll turn off the subtitles here. Science has begun to paint a stunning picture of how the future might unfold. Let's take a journey to the end of time. Oh, yeah. Soy just posted the link in the chat. Hold on. The universe has only just begun. The Holocene has ended. What we do now and in the next few years will profoundly affect the next few thousand years. The only conditions modern humans have ever known so far are changing, and changing fast. Nothing stays the same on this planet. Everything changes. The Earth is, is going into one of these jumps, and you don't know what is going to be on the other side of those jumps. Down here. The Earth is always jumping. Things are not still. Everything is turning. takes that long? Like, what the fuck? Beetle guys! Beetlejuice! Mars's moon becomes a ring. Damn. Saturn's ring vanished. Antarctica melts. Oh shit, new supercontinent, Pangaea 2.0. As it begins to run out of fuel, the sun won't simply fade away to nothing. Oh. Its core will collapse, and the extra heat this generates will cause its outer layers to expand. You see, all life dies. Earth destroyed by the dying sun. The sun is now dead. Its remains slowly cooling in the freezing temperatures of deep space. It's okay, guys. That's in 39 billion years. Don't worry. We got a while. We got a while. The sun is the same as for all stars. One day, they must all eventually die, and the cosmos will be plunged into eternal night. Plunged. All stars eventually will run out of fuel. The temperature of the universe drops. The stars, one by one, in the night sky, will turn off. And there'll be no more new stars created. And so that the universe will end not with a bang, but with, with a whisper. A whimper. And not All right, that's a good start. But that's 44 trillion years, guys. Don't worry about that. Like, start a timer and then come back in 40, 40 trillion years and then get concerned. All right. Yeah, this is a very existential video. Um, 
if that if you're not a fan of that sort of thing, then maybe don't watch. I mean, we already watched some of the things that really make you think. But uh, and I wonder how many of these events are actually based off of like super volcano. I don't know if that's just because uh, if that's something that is actually predicted to happen, or if they're just throwing in some events like the asteroid as well. And I'm sure they're just creating some. As Yellowstone. Mega Mac, 112 months, 44 trillion year resub soon. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love that stuff just because, I mean, there's, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a, wherever I go, I'll be. And that's all. I was having a discussion with my um, personal trainer today about like consciousness and like, or he was like, am I, Am I me, like, me five years ago, is that, was that me? Or is that something, like, this whole <laughs> discussion or whatever. Which, by the way, he's totally down to do a stream, uh, workout stream when we unlock that. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll have some more conversations like that while we're doing the workout stream. That's the kind of thing I work out to. <laughs> it's, yeah, how do you define me? Exactly. And what I said was, like, um, for me, all that matters to me is, like, my my state of consciousness and we were talking about the fact that like if you before you die you transfer your soul to a virtual world and that you know would perpetuate forever or whatever and he's like but how do you know if that's you and i would be like well i would be ex whatever i'm experiencing is me so maybe that would happen and i actually wouldn't transfer and then i would just go on to whatever happens afterwards but that wouldn't matter because that wouldn't be me so i'd just be like whatever I love, is their red the same as my red? I had that question when I was like 12. And I was like, oh, that, that like opened my mind. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's listen to Ludwig the Holy Blade Doom version. Yeah, Soma is cool. Soma's cool. Here we go. Ludwig the Holy Blade. Get your get your doom guys and headbangs ready. Charlie the Bard, welcome back. It's good to see you as always. And thank you for the support. I believe I've heard this before as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, it'll get loud. Don't worry. Didn't get as loud as I thought. Design, welcome back. Hyper headbang. Try new.
whispers and stuff. Yeah, that main thing da, 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 is the one part that resonates with me with that song. The rest of it's kind of eh. I mean, like, not eh. It's just that when you listen to, I feel like when we listen to music, there are certain things that we latch on to. And some of the things that I latch on to aren't there. So it doesn't, the whole time it's not the song. But then for that main part, it's like, yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, but yeah, but overall fucking awesome. I, lo I love it. Senga can 81 months welcome back and it's also like you know their own takes and the, all these things like that so very cool very cool oh doom crossing okay we got some more doom the life was quiet all around cute little island oh. nice and non-violent but everything turned upside down when a new guy came to town we got along he showed me ways to craft and test things that cut intestines I like that. Uh... <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Cute. Adorable. They did an E1M one in there, too. That was nice. Listen to the full version on Spotify, Apple Music, on Tuesday, Amazon, Amazon. Job Pearl, thanks for three months. Welcome back. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. <laughs> Happy birthday, Job Pearl. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Choosing to spend your birthday time here. I hope it is worth it to you. Tiny Game Worlds series. So maybe by Snowshade, browse around these vids at your leisure. Huh? Tiny? Oh! Oh, nice. Tilt shift. Flirt. Tilt shift's pretty cool. Cool stuff, man. Let me see here. At turtle. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It. Where did he flee? Oh, puppy. This is cool. It's so cool. It looks like just like a little tabletop and you want to pick up the characters and just like, oh. Ah. Is this Fallout all over again? Time to stab some dicks. Kids smile. Was that Sage? Sage, $100 for the kids. Thank you so much, Sage. I appreciate you. Oh, Dargan. <laughs> nice. So they got this for Elden Ring and, oh. Other games too? Oh, oh no. Ooh, death. Where's Millennia? They gotta have Millennia in there, right? Maybe not. Oh wow. That's cool. I didn't even really like notice that. Um looks like stop motion, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh what was the other one? Let's see here. We got Dark Souls 3. Boom boom. This kind of looks the same. <laughs> I like that. Cool camera angles and stuff. <laughs> I would just pick them up like, e e e, grab them. Hmm. React, react, eh, screw it. React? Oh, never mind. <laughs> They go from starting area to DLC? Yeah, spoilers. Aww, little cute dragons. <laughs> it's 
the kind of stuff they use for like um um city builders and that sort of thing. I love when they use that for games. It looks so cool. Nice. Nice. I didn't know those existed. Dark Souls 1 Pog. Feels like an ARPG, yeah. Or like a CRPG, honestly. Like it reminded me of like Fallout. Like the early Fallouts we played, Fallout 1 2. Yeah. Right? It's like you're gonna select this unit and like send him forward. Shit, we gotta go fight this dragon. Can I say how much you're to go back to anything pre Sekiro after playing Elden Ring? Well, maybe you just need to play with the tilt shift mod. Yeah, a little tiny onion. I think this room's a little small to get the effect very good. Aw, oh, that's cute. A little gurgle. Oh. oh! There you go. Epitome. All right, nice. Cool. Tiny game world series. That's cool. All right. Weenie. Weenie tier list submitted by Spermy Wiener. Who's that? <clears throat> KC Nick, thanks for two months. Welcome back. Supreme Ween. Now that's a good ween. Mediocre would swallow with disgust. Just sad. Okay, let's see here. Corn dogs! Now that's a good ween. I don't I don't think I'm gonna put in Supreme Ween though, but corn dogs are fucking good! This looks like some damn super spiced aged. I like that. I like that a lot. Some uh, more, more like uh, salame or something like that. Um, well, I guess I guess I got to figure out what I would put in Supreme Ween. What is this? I don't know what kind of ween that is. Uh, I don't know. Blood sausage? Okay, because I've never had blood sausage. I love the fresh tomato. Looks good. How? What is blood sausage like? I mean, it's. <laughs> yeah, tomato. <laughs> Um, it's gross. It tastes like copper. They like iron, because like blood, yeah, I mean... No one likes to distract it. Hey! Hey! Oh, you know what's actually funny? Um, I went and did, uh, filming for an ad for that. And they, like, interviewed me. And, and that's gonna be on YouTube at some point. Um... For their campaign, click it, uh, click it or ticket or whatever. I don't know. They really wanted me for some reason. The email came in and it was like, hey, we have this opportunity for, for the National Traffic uh, what, Safety Administration. And I think I ignored it the first time. And then they were like, hey, they reached out on Twitter and they're like, hey, they really want you. And I was like, okay. Okay. I even asked them. I was like, why me? This looks like some good, like, chorizo shit. Oh, man. Hold on. I think a lot of these are going to go in, like, this until I decide Supreme Wayne. This looks pretty good, too. Um, This looks like some damn, like, feta and spinach uh, chicken sausage or something. This looks like some barbecue shit. Um, these are cooked real good, like, um, it's, 
probably tastes good, but it looks kind of gross to me, honestly. I might, I would probably swallow with disgust at first. Well, I'd probably chew with happiness. I don't know if I'd swallow with disgust. Um, although it is like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This looks like good sausage. This looks like great sausage. This looks like some great shit. These look great. And bonus points for fresh tomato again. This, this all looks fucking awesome. Now, the, the difficult part, I don't know about the blood sausage. This, I might swallow with disgust. Chubal Kwai, thank you for 27 months. Welcome back. Can I show, can you show you? Can you show you your supreme wing? I'm going to choose a supreme wing right here. I'm lean. Oh man, this looks good. I'm going to go because of an experience I had maybe not a year ago or so. I'm going with this one. We made it and it was a feta spinach chicken sausage. Mm. It was good. That was good. That was real good. Corn dog, I was tempted because corn dogs slap hard. This looks really good too. Or one of the like the chorizo looking ones. Like the the spice meats are cool, but like it's not. I feel it's different to me. It's different to me. It's different to me. There's my tier list. There's my tier list. Sausages are hard to fuck up. I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> no, I don't know. This might taste amazing. Maybe I love it. Who knows? As long as, for me, it would be... The idea of a blood sausage to me isn't disgusting. It depends on the texture. Cactus. React to Lobro's musical moments six years later. Oh, I see. This is a little hashtag ad Soikrates YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. Well, my goodness, it burns. It burns your face right off your skull and your skin slips off your head. And then you die and then that's why we say that you're dead. Your face is down onto the ground and it bubbles like a soup. Oh, all because you drink the backwash in that coke poop. This stream is the worst. <laughs> this stream is the worst! Oh, W-U-R-S-T. I get it. Thank you, Inky. I appreciate it. Continuing. Sonic music, man. The dancing low bros, thank you for your donation. The dancing low bros, thank you for your donation. Hello. Hello, hello, we are the dancing, synchronized, swimming, low bros. We swim and swim and swim and swim and then we do this thing, like this, like that, like that. We are dancing, singing, synchronized swimming. <laughs> what do I do? Oh my goodness. I have 57,000 blood souls. I don't know. Blood souls. Oh, look, at, look at where I am. And there's that brainy thing, and look at this. And there are no mimics in Bloodborne, and the streets are paved with cheese. There are no mimics in blood. But everything is gross. This is the best stream you've ever done. Bravo. No sausage pun? 
Thanks, sir, Pookie Bear. Glad you enjoy it. Thank you for the bits. Oh, Jump in the line. Rock your body on time. Okay. Okay. I believe you. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. That was rather charitably done. That's really cool of you. Oh, these are no. Oh. Child W has used one bit. Cheer one. Love us play. 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 Some blobby one told me the world is full of oysters, but he didn't mean oysters. Yeah. He meant squids instead of oysters. Fingers and thumbs don't enter into the equation. Yeah. The That's how you summon. Damn. Cool. Women are treasures for our life. Fresh goes better. Men tell treasures. Fresh goes better. Women tell treasures for our life. Better. Men tell us the fresh make. Three. What a very special time for me. I remember what a night. Oh, I. Elden Bro soon, by the way. Got a funny feeling Some point. when she walked in the room. It was called Oh, What a Night. Well, I saw the shiny. <laughs> You saw the shiny? Oh, I saw the shiny. Did it open up your eyes? Ah, uh, mine are already open, so... No. Oh, no one's gonna grab you up. Get into the night where you belong. Are you trying to tell me to go home? <laughs> Get we in where you belong. You should have Lobo react to this. He does the swoop, so you roll to the left, then you roll to the right, and then he does the slam, and then you walk away. But then you hit the tail, and then you get the tail eventually. But not now. So you keep your distance and you get away. And Calumet does his thing every day. So you just keep doing this until he does the swoop. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm just in. to everyone dance to 20 three thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars and ninety nine cents to st june uh. big bear hug sunday to everyone holy shit this. that's three raffles What's up, Smirkers? Smirkers? Smirky, how's it going? What's up, Smirks? Oh my god. Dance. The individual. Dance. Thank you very much. I... I know I say it a lot, and I'll keep saying it. But like... I hope you understand how thankful I am. Because at a point, one runs out of ways to express thanks. Outside of just continuing to do what I do. And I'll do that. I'll do that. So thank you, Dance. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What? 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 Well, make new thanks. There's always feet pics. All right. That's how thankful I am, Dance. Showed my side foot on stream. <clears throat> For free? It was just side foot. It wasn't top or bottom foot. <sighs> um, thank you, Dance. Exclamation point raffle for a chance for a video game of your choice off of armed game list. We're pulling three winners. Uh, stick around. Keep an eye on the chat for that. We'll keep watching this uh, musical moments from the past. Bieber and my name is Justin Bieber. So I'm Justin Bieber 
Cause that's what my mom named me. Hey girl, it's just a beaver. A boop boop bada boop boop boop. Look at my hair and my tats and my big old muscles. Now I'm a little little guy, but got big muscles. Not really big muscles, lots of definition. Yeah. Broop. Hey, I'm not wearing a shirt, so how's it going, girl? <laughs> I miss you. <clears throat> if I could stab right through this guy. I'd stab him good, and I'd stab him. Why? Cause I want him dead. Making Tonight. my way downstairs what? through the nightmare. Tonight! And I don't know where I'm going. Biggie, 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 boom. Goodbye, Havel. Goodbye, Havel. Goodbye, defense. Mm -mm -mm. Is there something mm -mm -mm. in this defense? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. There is something. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get something. Mm -mm. See what mm -mm. it is. Let's get it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. We just ripped the rock. We just ripped rock. We just ripped the rock. Oh, wow. It's the terror of knowing what this world is about. Watching some good friends scream. Let me out tomorrow. Oh. It's on his stream. I don't know what he was saying. Okay. Listen, baby. Everybody plays a fool's <laughs> My face, I'm just like. <laughs> Probably done with it at that point. Like. Go off the ledge. Go, go off the ledge, baby. Go off the ledge. Go, go off the ledge, baby. Throw him off the ledge. Get him off the ledge. Shit, fuck, dick. Yes. Get him off the ledge. Going off the ledge. Yes. Ah. Nice. Spot Titney's musicals. And rated. It's rated. When a bunch of people come into your stream and you didn't know that they could be in your stream, that's what a raid is. This is terrible. I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising. Oh, oh, oh. Old dog. <laughs> you are the wind and he's my wing. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Wings. Fly, fly, fly away. <laughs> so high on the quick super bullets. Lonely got caught, big cocky and bullets. I sang this yesterday. Downtown in the central yard. Something we go with down swinging. We got another thing. Number one with your beat. We're going down, down in an earlier round. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I like them dodges. How do you like them? Yeah! No! That's fine. Everything's cool. Oh, damn. Get the mother! Oh! Bam! Knees! 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 I want to watch you bleed! <laughs> I'd like to buy the world a Coke. And let them spray it all over me. Not in the weird way that that sounds. Because that's that what mean? they would do. Because they love to be negative. But actually, if we're being frank, this 
Uh, communities rather positive. Doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Doesn't rhyme. This community is rather positive. Hey, look, there's more musical moments if anybody wants to go watch on soycrates.com slash my YouTube videos. Uh, wait, that's not the link, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Soy. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Simplified Pepe Emotes tier list. Socrates.com, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, simplified Pepe emotes are apparently the new meta. Ma meta? Meta. Now, so let's rank them. PS list only includes the ones that were added to the Lobos Jr. channel as of 9 a.m. May 6, 2023. So somebody actually made this custom. Okay. Oh, these. Okay, okay. I get you. So these are all the, the like, lower quality art emotes. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Let me put the, the background music back on a little bit. Okay. Let's see here. I haven't even seen all these. Get the fuck out of here. Stop seeing this ad. Ad was inappropriate. We'll try to not show that ad again. How about you don't ad close by Google? All right. Whatever. All right. We got arrive and sit. Aware. Awary. Burf. Blush. Bridge. Cowboy. D. Dans. Dej. Eat. Eh. Easy flower frick fridge fridge and a bridge giggle glizzy good hap hey hug I ask lob oh magic mod mod check wait a minute mod and mod check we've got some conflicting nice no look no tea, not nice, panic, pog, pog spin, pout, pray, riot, sasj, sip, sit, so huge, starry, talk, tink, tuck, uwu, vibey, vibe party. Okay, all right. Um,. All right, hey, S. Sip, S. Arrive and sit, A. Flower, S. <laughs> um, glizzy, D. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that one, but. Okay, blush A. This is, this is nightmare fuel, dude. Burf. Burf A. Get it, Burf A. Aware. I just don't think it matches the, the type of emote that these are. F. Bridge. F. Cowboy. A. Dan's. Why are you purple? B. D. Um. B. D. D. C. There's too much going on, I think. Yeah, it's too much. Dedge. It is cute. B. Whispered on air bridges, 32 months, welcome back. Eat A. Eh. A. Easy B. Frick. B. For me. All right, for me. Fridge F. <laughs> Fridge on a bridge F. Dro double F. Giggle. This kind of is cute. Giggle is cute. B. Good. A. Hap. S. Hug. Hug. A. Hug. I ask. Hmm. <sighs> 
Let me see how I ask. Is it animated? Hmm. Ah, uh, A. We got A. Lob, S. Magic. Very angry about magic. Mm, C. Mod. B. Modge. Check. Thank you for letting, for previewing them in the chat too. <laughs> A. Nice. A. Wait a minute. Nice. Good. Hmm. Okay. No look. A. Cute. Note E. Hmm. A. <laughs> not nice. C. Because not nice. Panic? What happened to the eyes? What happened to the eyes? You missed the memo. Pog? A. Ah. Uh, A. Pog spin? B. A. Ten cookies. Thank you for donating twenty dollars to St. Jude. Ten cookies. Thank you so much. Pout. See. Pray. See. Riot. D. Sass. Let me see. Let me see. I don't like how the hand looks. It looks weird. Looks like she's got something in her hand. C. Sit. A. So huge. <laughs> Is this animated? So huge. <gasps> oh. <laughs> S. Stare. A. Talk. Is that not 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 not? Talk. Oh, wow. That's some detailed animation on the talk. It's not just like... Da, 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 da. Hmm. I almost got to fault it for that, honestly. I think I got to fault it for that. In a world where the character's animation level has decreased. An increased animation that just doesn't follow. Tink. A. Talk. A. Ooh woo. B. Trying too hard. Vibe. Vibe. Let me see. Vibe. Vibe. Oh, okay, okay. The Dansu. I'll put that A. I like that. Vibe party, I can imagine. A. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I said, zoom out, please. There we go. Hey, sip, flower, hap, lob, so cooge are the winners. That was fun. Yay, vibe. <laughs> Aw. Try harder. Try harder. This cursed. All right. Um. Keke flip note strange cats. It's for Matt here. Let's see. For Matt. Oh, uh, another. Oh, that was also for Matt. That was a good one for Matt. And then Keke Ke Kiki flip note. Strange cats. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Ah. What the fuck? Aw, oh, that cat's cute. Ah, blip.
That's a tail. Good try, though. Oh, yeah. Look at those abs. Holy shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? That's a spider. Oh. Yeah, I like this one. I love this one. Damn. Fuck shredded. Holy shit. Oh, he had jeans on. That's just the upper body. No, not this one. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And where does the tail come from? Okay, I guess that's... Mm, it's kind of weird. Ah! ah! <laughs> Jesus. Ah! <laughs> uh oh, puddle of cat. Ah, what is a squirrel? Ah, oh. DMCA from that one second of Nintendo music. How it's actually made. Onions. Kiki flip note artist. There you go. Oh, thanks for posting stuff. Uh, I I meant to be like showing off all the things, but I. But this is a oh god. All right, five minutes. How it's actually made onions. Okay, I I like the farming process. And wait, unless this is cursed. Well, historians believe consumption of this common oh, this vegetable is be dates back to prehistoric times when it grew in the wild. There's no way this Man is legit. Man eventually learned to cultivate onions, and this strong-tasting plant bulb became a food staple of many ancient civilizations throughout the world. Camera in the way of what? Of what? Of what? Oh, my bad. Sorry. Sorry. There you go. All right. In ancient Egypt, the onion was an object of worship. The inner structure of concentric rings represented the eternal cycle of depression. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today, confetti trucks pull the bulbs out of the ground and lay confetti them out trucks. in rows. <laughs> After drying for a day or 30, a tractor collects them into large baskets called onion baskets for onion storage, nice. which are large onion baskets for onions and onion storage. To prevent spoilage, the onions are given far less toys than other vegetables their age and oh. a minimal allowance. <laughs> then, tunnel three is switched to H for healthy. <laughs> this tunnel uses a fan to suck all the dead skin off the outside of the onions, increasing their nutritional content. R right. The grower separates the onions according to color, size, shape, consistency, nationality, sexuality, mm. and onionality. Ah, yes, onionality, of course. <sighs> workers load the onions on a conveyor. Sometimes the chemicals from the onions cause the workers to cry. These workers are known as giant pussies. <laughs> <clears throat> a cutter decapitates each onion so they cannot have any thoughts of rebellion. Everyone knows what happens if too many onions gather together in one place. Holy shit. Then it's off to a custom design peeling machine. There are only 52 million of these machines in the whole world. Ugh. The onions then roll off the peeler and are confronted with elite gaming onion peelers oh. wearing their MLG headsets and their hardcore <laughs> gaming finger gloves. Their swiftness with a blade is a skill that can only be achieved through thousands of hours of consuming sponsored energy drinks. The onions are shocked with cold water to check if any of them are still alive and plotting rebellion. Mm -hmm. They also pass through a metal detector you can never be too careful. <laughs> then we finally get to meet the Onion Master. The Onion Master decides the ultimate fate of every onion within the factory. 
He's said to be a man who can eat an entire onion raw, and whose gamer score is in the trillions. Holy he shit. He chooses the fate of each onion, whether they're off to be sliced or diced, as if he were to pick between his own children. Jesus. The Onion Master's pathetic subordinates place the sliced onions into trays, hoping to absorb even a fraction of the power the Onion Master has infused into the plant. A conveyor moves the trays to a machine that seals them in plastic. Originally, the factory would seal the onions with hot wax. It was a very stupid factory. Meanwhile, on the dicing line, someone's made a goddamn mess. The diced onions are coated in water to create an onion lazy river, which will be Ooh. sold as a tourist attraction during the summer months. Oh! Whee! And finally, as the onions are transferred into packaging, we now present a very rare interview with an actual real life onion master. Yeah, it's all true. I eat raw onions for fun, and then I drink a glass of nails. Onions don't make me cry when I eat them. I make onions cry when I eat them. I've been eating onions since I was a baby. In fact, I pushed away my mother's titty and insisted that I have an onion. It was the only thing that would calm me down. And even to this day, when I'm feeling stressed, I'll just bite into a raw onion like an apple. I've you done know, that. we never discovered onions. Onions discovered us. And then they discovered their arch nemesis, me. I am the Galactus to their Marvel Universe. I am the end and the beginning of all things Raw Onions. That's exactly what I expected him to say. Hug bees. Hug bees. Perfect. Perfect. You know what's hilarious is I mentioned that, that sponsored thing that I did for like... Uh, um, the National Highway, safety and traffic, whatever. I won't spoil it, but they looked into my shit. And they had they had onion related things happen. And it was rate pics of my cat, Sir Pookie Bear. I don't know when that comes out. I'll let you guys know though. Ray pictures of my cat. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Enhance. I can't open the I can't open the image in the new tab. What is this? I see it's a Dragon Ball thing. Okay, cat in a box, cat on a shelf, cat sleep, oh, cat pet, cat in another box, cat under a blanket, <laughs> cat on a chair, no, no, cat paying attention, cat smush. All right, well, they're all top tier. What can I say? What can I say? Um, thanks, Sir Pookie Bear. Those, those are all great pictures of your cat. Thank you. 11 foot 8 bridge, top 11 best crashes. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see what happens here. Um, define best... I guess we'll find out. Best. <laughs> oh, the ele oh, I remember that. Holy shit. Oh, he tried to keep going. What the fuck? <gasps> Oh. No. No, Pinsky! Oh my god! What is this? Hold on. What did they- have they done anything? 
They just, they put signs and they're like, hey, this is. How are you supposed to fucking? Oh. It's all the same company vehicles. Enterprise and Penske. Oh, wait. New one. Forward airs. Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. pretty clean actually that's uh holy fuck what is this it's like this it looks like this is a warning thing more than the bottom of the bridge but i guess it it looks like it's been painted over so many fucking times and they're like yellow and why does this exist uh <laughs> charge must be disappointed when they discover that reversing doesn't put everything back together again my damage that bridge bar takes is unbelievable Oh my god. It's to protect the bridge. Of course, right? <laughs> no, I'm... Holy shit. What does it say? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Uh, oops, oops, hold on. Over height. Must turn. There's... You're not gonna... Put a fucking... Put seven stop signs instead of a stoplight or something. I am, C I am a C uh, certified, I don't know what CDL stands for. Certified driver's license driver. CDL driver. You should know your height if you are driving a truck of that height. <sighs> Can I ask you a question? How many times have you come across a bridge or something and you saw it and you're like, oh shit, like there were warning signs and you stopped and turned away from it? I'm curious. These are all rental trucks. Oh, that is true. They are rental trucks. Um, oh, commercial drivers. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mini, you choose another route? Okay, okay. So, But it seems like a lot of these are just people who have rented them. But how do you fucking... Do you need a CDL to rent one of these? Inside those trucks, there are several postings about your truck's height. Oh, it's newbies. Oh, no, you don't need to drive a commercial truck you don't need a commercial driver's license is it possible to turn here now you can turn left you could turn right it looks like um but yeah i don't know i they probably have more posts here they've got signs here like 11 foot 8 11 foot 8 11 foot 8 damn oh just leaving later oh my god <laughs> Holy shit, that beam is insane. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. No! Oh my god. So, are, are the tops of these trucks 12 feet? Is that... Just keep going, dude. I mean, what else do you do? What else do you do? Oh! Where does the cleaning crew, like, live here? Or some shit? And they just clean up ev... Watch out, people! Oh my god. That would be terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. They have so many folded roofs. All my sons. Hey, wait! Oh, that's the same. That's the same, different perspective. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, whoopsie doodle, my truck got strudled. I should have read the signs. I'm glad that nobody got hurt. Wait, wait. Okay. Turned the other way. Good job. Whoa! Oh, wait. What? Oh. Huh? Oh, they must have a red then. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Wait, they're coming back? Wait, they're coming back? Don't... What? No, don't do it. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Man saw the camera. Oh, he turned onto a one. Oh, it's one way. Wait, what the? F oh. Okay. Are you gonna try again? Oh no. Oh no. Um. Don't try again, please. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just go... Don't let him back up or anything. Stop! Don't! Stop! <laughs> it's like, I'm going the other way. Um... I mean, maybe they just stopped and now they're, like, calling? Nope. Nope. What is this guy going? What is this guy doing? He's Austin powering back and forth. Oh. Okay. Holy shit. Careful, careful. The black car blocked him. Okay, but they got away with probably the least damage so far in this video. Oh my god. <sighs> that was only 11 crashes? Mm. Penske Rentals, would you like to add the $10 damage waiver insurance? Customer, no, it'll be fine. Holy shit. Glad I learned something today. I I never want to drive a truck like that. I mean, I drive a regular truck. Well, I used to before it got rear-ended. But anyways, okay. Huh? BFG Division Medieval Hardcore Party Edition. Note, great music to read a poem to. What poem do I read to this? You guys decide. I'll pee. One second.
<clears throat> Anybody want juice? Sir, does he deserve an alert for blind? What is the next one? A poem? React to my poem. Oh. All right. How big? Oh my gosh. Is that? Okay. Is it really good music to read a poem to? Did you avoid all the bridges while you're out? Yes. I turned away from them. Gone by Salem Crane. The morning comes, you wait in waning hours, a dark window, a stalking silent end. Light fades from his eyes as tears fill yours. Eternity comes, claims a fallen friend. What the fuck? Oh. Recalling lost moments of what had been the sparks of brightest love, the shades of hate most deep, and all the lights that flash between now come to haunt you, crushing weight of fate. Um, the memories you clutch in grip of death allow a smile to briefly crack your lips. The moment swells at last you catch your breath, for paths trod hand in hand can dark eclipse. Then it's past. Dark returns and heart turns black. Too late, he's gone. Nothing can bring him back. A sonnet to my best friend who is alive and well at the time of the publication of this poem, born primarily out of the fear of the loss I will feel when that is no longer the case. Shit. <sighs> well, I'm glad that they are alive and well as of the writing of that poem, at least. Right? And hopefully you don't have to feel that. Ever. Um, my goodness. Medieval Hardcore Party. Bring up the ale, lads. Did we ever draw the three for Dance's Last Bomb? I believe so. The stream is a fucking roller coaster, seriously. Um. Hold on. Sounds like this music could be in dark and darker, right? Yeah, that's Wolfrat49 always brings their poems to the table. Um, yeah. I'm no word man, expert man, but yeah, the, the words are placed in ways that convey feeling very well. Wordsmith. I don't forge words. For those of you that never saw, we actually built this hurdy-gurdy on stream. No, it, it was not sponsored at all. Um, hurdy-gurdy Lobos Jr. Uh, we built this entire thing from scratch. This is what it started as. It's fucking awesome. And it works, too. Yeah, it doesn't sound the best, but also it's been sitting here for like months now. Unmaintained. But it functions. You can tune it. 
It's got functional, you know, keys and stuff to play, and it looks beautiful, right? Even if you never play it. Didn't break it at all. There was no blood spilled or anything. Um, so, yeah, that was a chill time and good stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. U gears. They do these kits and you just put them together. They're fun. They take hours, but they then you wind up with a cool thing. So shout outs to them non sponsored. Resident Evil 4 Anime PV Resident Evil Masterpiece Theater submitted by Manly Dan. What? What? Episode two. Uh. 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 Wait, what the fuck? Is this official? Holy shit, it's official! That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I love, I love stuff like that. Join the Serpent King as family. Together, we will devour the very gauze. Oh. Okay. I like that cutscene. <laughs> that was so smooth, right? Why doesn't it look like that in game? Probably on PS5 or whatever. <sighs> Anyways. Um, Xavier Renegade Angel. Brand new bike. From episode four, season one. The sixth teat of good intentions. Monster would abandon a childling. Go on, son. Your brand new bike is just behind that tree. Go on. Really? So long, weirdo. Why does he have goat legs? Chicken legs. Oh, hey. He was telling the truth. Yummy. Goku. <laughs> if that kind of thing had actually happened to me, I don't know what I'd do. I can't fucking I do what I do. He has six seats. Alert. Huh? Huh? Oh, frame by frame. Oh. Just let me suffer. <laughs> nice. I Comments are turned off. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, dying. Soy acknowledged. What? Uh, please adjust video audio to be a little louder for us homies. Oh, sorry about that. 
Sorry, so many different videos have so many different balances, so it's hard for me. You didn't want to hear what he said, anyways. <laughs> Dying. Roger. Yeah. Uh. Roger. What do you want, bitch? How dare you? Yeah, I said it. How dare you? Yeah, I said it. How dare you? I don't even care. And and he's he agrees with me. Oh. Now, what do you want, bitch? Please shut the fuck up. Who do you think you are? I'm the man of the house. Dad, I'm the boy of the house. Please shut the fuck up. Yeah, okay, Dad. What has gotten into this family? You're not fam anymore. Yeah, you're not fam anymore. Will you shut the fuck up? Oh, really? Why's that? Because your moves are weak, babe. Okay? Yeah, your moves are weak. Okay, bitch? Hey, you don't call her bitch. But Dad, I mean, come on. I'm not your dad. Honey, what are you doing? I'm telling him once and for all, right? What do you mean? I'm not your dad. You were adopted. What? No, what? Oh, what? No! Look at your hair, and then look at mine. Oh, shit. Mom, what are you doing? Let me handle this, okay, bitch? Yeah, fam only. I am your mother. No, you're not. Not anymore. We decided you're out. <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up with that, please? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What happened? Why am I not fam anymore? I'm not your fucking dad, okay? Look at you. I look exactly like you, dude. You look like a bird. He does not look like a bird. Will you shut the fuck up? Yeah, yeah this, this is a family issue, okay? This is a family issue, you bitch. What did I tell you about calling your mother a bitch? Why am I not fam anymore? Because your moves are weak. Because your moves are weak. What? Your moves are weak, mom. Will you stop calling your mom? But dad. I'm not your dad, and she's not your mom. He's right. What? Come on, fam. We're not your fam. That's right. What? We're fam, right? No, you're adopted. I'm not your fucking dad. Yeah, we found you. In a park, on a swing set. You were taped to it. What? This family doesn't want me. You know what? I'm out of here. What do you mean? My wife and I are getting a divorce. I'm dad. I'm not your fucking dad. Mom, come on. She's not your mom. I'm not your fucking mom, okay? But, uh, Dad, what about the moves? There were no moves. There were no moves. Oh, shit. Dad? How the turntables. Come on. Watch how you're talking to him. What? What? That's my adopted son, okay? What the? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, I know. Yeah, you don't talk to him like that. He's my adopted son, too. Okay? Not anymore. I'm leaving. What? You're leaving mom? She's not your fucking mom. What do you mean? You guys are getting into a divorce? I'm leaving with Mark. I like penis now. What the? Oh. You're gay? Oh, you like penis now? Yeah, I like big fat penis, okay? Dad, what the fuck? Same. What's going on? Well, hopefully it's bigger than yours. Oh, it is. Oh. Bigger than... Both of ours are bigger than yours. What the frick am I supposed to do? You're coming with me. No, he's coming with me and Mark, okay? No, I'm not going with you, Dad. You like penis. There's nothing wrong with liking a little penis. So you That's said right. it was a big penis. It is a big penis. Mark's got the biggest penis in the world. Besides mine. Oh. What am I supposed to do? You're dying. What? You're dying. What? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> First I lose mom. Mom and dad? Then my dad's gay with Mark. He's got a big penis. Now I'm dying? <laughs> I'm not gay. He's not gay, son. Son? Oh. I thought I was, I was adopted. You're not. <laughs> so you guys aren't... Getting a divorce? No, we just wanted to make it easier on you. We figured we've got this news and we'll just make things a little bit smoother. What, so you dropped a bomb that I'm divorced and you guys are getting adopted? You're adopted. We're getting a divorce. Wait, but, wait, I thought, I thought you guys, wait, but I thought you said you weren't. We're not. I'm just explaining it. What? We just wanted to lighten the load. We love you, son. What? Am I dying? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what? You're just dying. You're just dying. What do you mean? You're just fucking dying, okay? Jesus, you're gonna die. What? I don't know. Someday, every everybody dies. Are you? What? Are you dying? Are, and you? Yes. What the? Fu don't they teach you this shit in school? I mean, you wanna die? Yeah. When you're old. <laughs> yeah. What? Or now? Or <laughs> now? Oh man, that's the that's some great parenting. I tell you what, perfect uh, role model there. Worst pizza toppings tier list. Submitted by Wiener. Worst pizza toppings. Oh, man, this is going to... Pizza toppings so bad that a passerby would punch you in the dick for eating them in public. Okay. All right. Um, we've got in reverse order. Crime against humanity. Domestic pizza violence. I'm sick in the head and would like to eat that. 
It's not that bad, right? A sniff and a lick and a consumption process may begin. What? 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 That what? What? Uh, what? What? Uh, huh? What's, what is serotonin? Serotonin reuptake. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, all right. Worst pizza uh, toppings tier list. This is also not what I expected, but nothing that I expected. It. Um, those chestnuts? Are those fish nuggets? Are those tent? tent? Okay, brick. With brick, I probably couldn't even eat the pizza. So that's a nope. That's a nopers. Um. I mean, this depends uh, on if you you use this medication. Um, Chocobos OP, thanks for the prime sub. Lag smoke, welcome back as well. Uh, white bread. This, uh, this is coral. I don't. I think coral is probably pretty bad too. I don't know that I could eat that. Octopus. Moog is a virtual video game character, but if it was he was real, I mean he has flesh. All of these humans have flesh. So flesh isn't um Squidward is a I assume he's a squid. Or some what is Squidward? Um or algae, huh? Is Squidward a squid? Okay. Alright. I was just making sure because I know Yeah. I've never watched Spongebob, but I could totally see if they called him Squidward, but he was just like a, a, a I don't know, fucking eel or some shit for some reason. <sighs> Maybe we, we start the opposite way. Good things on pizza. Com compared to these. Um, uh, weed. I don't know if I've ever had egg on pizza, but I f imagine it wouldn't... Okay, it's not that... Um, I don't know. Probably. Um, pickles on a pizza. I probably would like to eat that. So I'll go with I'm sick in the head and would like to eat that. Chips. Chips are probably not that bad, right? Orange. Uh, I don't think I would like that. Corn? I think corn's fine. That's not that bad. Broccoli? Fine. These are normal things. That? Fine. Uh, the, um... Bubble gum? Are these, these are bubble gum, right? I don't... I think that's pretty bad. White bread? I don't think it's that bad. I don't like oysters. Um, so I'm going to put it there. Um, squ squid. I, yeah, I'm going to do that. Beans. Beans are pretty bad. I think eggplant's not that bad, right? Pineapple's fine. Uh, shrimp, crawdads. It's not that bad, right? Um, Henry. Oh, oh, hold off. Are these chestnuts? I don't know. Prawn. Yeah, yeah. Shrimp, prawn, crawdad, all the same to me, to be honest. Bugs of the sea. Oh, there's a hazelnuts. Wait, they're just straight up acorns. What the fuck kind of acorns are these? Those aren't acorns. Are they acorns with the tops taken off? Without the cap? Are you sure about that? 
Here you go. Picture of hazelnuts. Okay. Hazelnuts. I think hazelnuts is the... Yeah. Acorns look like this. Yeah. Yeah. Even without the caps. They don't look like that. Kind of look like that. But uh, All right. Hazelnut. I don't... I don't... I don't know. Um, hazelnut spread? I mean, dessert pizza is totally a thing. I'm gonna say it's not that bad, right? Um, get this fucking... Get this shit... Get the... Get this shit... <clears throat> um, drugs... Um, if you don't want them... That's domestic pizza violence. This, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look that bad. Avocado? Fine. I don't really like avocado. But I would eat it on a pizza. What is this? Oh, kelp. Kelp? Not that bad. Bananas? No, people like that. Octopus? Fine. M man flesh? Uh, Gordon Ramsay? Probably. He probably tastes a lot worse. And then Moog? I would try it. I would try it. Ella, people unite. Henry Cavill's special sauce. Well, I don't know. In any case, worst pizza toppings. I think I, I think I'll stick with these as the worst. Unless this is just raw hazel. I don't even know what a hazelnut is like. It seems like a hard nut like that, but okay. Anyways, uh, this looks uh hmm. The scariest enemy submitted by Morgot. There's only an hour left, and we are on page. We're about to hit page six. We could let's let's speed it up. Let's speed things up, so we can try and get through all these. The scariest enemy in the dungeons. Oh, these guys. Yeah, they're pretty scary. Labyrinth Madman. This is cool. In depth, like model viewer and shit stuff. Oh my god. Creppy. Oh, that reminds me, Bloody's playing a uh, mortuary assistant today for the first time. I bet. I don't know how she's doing. It's probably not good. Corpse wielder. Yay. A nice close up of the sickle. Man, I bet the textures for, for all everything just looks so good before they have to compress them and shrink their file sizes. Don't take it off. Ew. Ew. Missing a foot. Ugh. Ew. This just looks scary. That's the point. It's the scariest. Oh. oh. He took his clothes off. Oh my. Oh, oh shit. I didn't realize it was one of these videos. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice positioning. Yeah, those guys are cool. The way they move is is definitely creepy. Wait, one more second. Jump scare? Okay, no. Nice. Okay. Uh, uh submitted by a Super Mario 64 speedrunner 9297.
Bro, if this ends up being a VHS of me playing this from... What happened? Oh. Uh, I don't like how loud that was. Hey, ba hey Bowser. What's What was that? No. All right, I'm using the period. Oh. Is that Luigi? What the fuck? The fuck? Oh, it's dead Luigi impaled. <laughs> Ooh, Super Mario World music. The end. I baked you a cake. Nice. This is fiction. None of the events depicted in this video actually happened and were merely for entertainment purposes. Wet, dry world. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. Cool. I like that. 10 out of 10. It's overland. Uh, vegan moderator forces poor streamer to see their balls. Submitted by Socrates. Today we are making vegan meatball subs and we're going to whip up some meatballs from scratch with lentils, a quick and easy red sauce, and both of these are just absolutely loaded with a ton of robust flavor, so let's get it going. And I got the inspiration for this recipe from Bon Appetit. We're going to start off with three pieces of white bread and we're going to cut the crust mm. off like we're making a PB&J for a five-year-old. And then next let's get a quarter cup of unsweetened plant milk and just give those slices a quick dunk and then we're going to gently squeeze out as much liquid as we can. And then we just need to cube those up and these are just going to help with binding Brick them meatballs up. amongst other things. So just go ahead and set those aside. And now we need to just lightly saute one shallot that's been finely diced Gross. in a bit of olive oil and then just until it gets a little translucent and a bit of color. And then we're going to add in four cloves of minced garlic and just toast nice. those for a minute as well. And once those are done, remove them from the heat and reserve. And then to a decent sized mixing bowl, we're gonna add in two cups of cooked lentils. You can cook yours or take a shortcut like me and get some that are already steamed. And then we're gonna throw in the shallot and the garlic, a quarter cup of chopped fresh Italian parsley, two tablespoons of fresh chopped basil, four to five tablespoons of aquafaba, which is the liquid included with a can of chickpeas in case you don't know. It's mm. great as a binder instead of an egg. And then we're going to do one oh. teaspoon of this beefless broth concentrate, but you can do veggie broth too. Oh. Two tablespoons of mushroom seasoning and, of course, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast as well. And then one tablespoon yeast. of Italian seasoning, or you can just use some oregano and whatnot. One teaspoon of smoked paprika, one heaping teaspoon of Calabrian chilies mm. for some heat. Leave that out if you don't like spicy meatballs. Mm. And then three tablespoons of olive oil, three quarters cups of breadcrumbs. Mm. a quarter cup of unsweetened plant milk, mm. black pepper, and salt, and then mix that up with your hands. And then remember, you forgot to add in the bread cubes from before. So go ahead and add those and then mix it up again. Mm. And now you could totally cook these as is. And I did that on my first test and they were fine, but they were kind of mushy as you can see here. So mm. what I did instead was based off of some calculations from my friend Lacey at Avocados and Ales, I added in 60 grams of vital wheat gluten. And this is gonna give the meatballs some more structure and bounce. So just get in there and mix that up. And if the mixture feels too dry or crumbly, just add in a little bit more plant milk until it sticks together. And then you should have one oh giant meatball God. weighing around 750 grams. Pounds. And let that rest for about pounds. 10 minutes or so. 
Next, scoop out about one ounce or 30 grams for each meatball. I like to use this scooper, it's very handy. And then mm. just roll out your balls and let them hang out on a parchment lined baking sheet. You should end up with about 24 meatballs. And once all those balls are rolled, add them to a skillet over medium heat with a tablespoon or two of olive oil. And we're just gonna toss them around and we're gonna let these brown on at least two sides. It should take about eight to 10 minutes. And once our balls are brown, we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of water, cover and lower the heat and let those steam for about 10 to 15 minutes. Add more water as needed and then we're gonna to toss them back on that baking sheet and bake them in an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. That's a lot of meatball to cooking. Minutes. To test the uh, doneness, just take one and give it a little squeeze. It should be firm but soft and have a bit of a bounce to it. And now these meatballs aren't super dense like Impossible or Beyond but they definitely mm. hold up inside a sandwich and they are super dang good mm. and bursting with flavor, so it works out. Now for the red sauce, we're gonna throw together mm. something that's as easy as it is delicious. To a saucepan over medium heat, let's add two tablespoons of olive oil and then four to five cloves of minced garlic. Stir that and saute for about 30 seconds, then add in one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, stir that around for about 30 seconds, and then next we're gonna add in one 28 yeah. ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I like a chunky sauce, so I go for the crushed over the pureed, and I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of the Calabrian chilies. Again, yeah. if you don't like spicy, leave it out. Spicy. And then one teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of mushroom powder, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Stir that around, and then let's do one tablespoon of sugar, salt to taste, of course, and that's basically it. You can serve this right away, or ideally, Simmer it for an hour or so. In fact, I would suggest letting this simmer while you make the meatballs. Mm. Speaking of meatballs, let's add them into the sauce and let them cook for a few minutes while we prep our sandwich. And I found these rolls by a local bakery and they are by far the best I've found for this kind of sandwich. The inside Ooh. is soft and the outside has a nice chew to it. So mm. try to find something similar. And I'm gonna slice Not it making half, the bread? What the fuck? And then fuck? I'm gonna hollow out just the top part of the roll. I tried toasting the bread, but I found that I preferred it untoasted. But for this toasted one, I just added some sauce to it and then our meatballs, of course, and some shredded vegan cheese by Dea. Mm. I tried to tent it with some foil and bake it in the oven, but this cheese just did not want to melt the way I would have liked. Don't get me wrong, I wrapped this baby up and I ate it with abandon and loved every bite, but visually I wanted to see if we could do better. So for the next one, I didn't toast the bread and I used some Follow Your Heart mozzarella and I tried out uh. the microwave, which is something a few of you have told me you do. And I honestly, I was quite dubious, but I was also pleasantly surprised by how that turned out. In fact, it kind of steamed the bread too, which worked out great as well. Punish. So wrap that one up too. And I highly suggest wrapping it, even if you're not a sandwich artist like me and wrap it with the grace of a billy goat. When you wrap the sandwich, it gets compressed and everything stays together and you won't lose your poor meatball when somebody sneezes. But for reals, this sandwich was absolutely fantastic. For my thumbnail model here, I did my old style as simply making a cheese sauce. I'll leave instructions for that in the blog post. But like I said, the meatballs are different from Impossible and Beyond, but they are equally tasty in my opinion. And even my non-vegan neighbor loved them. They are just so dang flavorful and hearty. And as with most my recipes, there should be leftovers so you can make some spaghetti and meatballs if you like, or just snack on a random meatball throughout the day like I've been doing. Either way, I really well, yeah, there's leftovers. This, you cook you 24 Swedish meatballs. Check out this video right here and until yeah, nice. I like those balls. I would taste your vegan balls. Those look delicious. Those look delicious. Yeah, the other day I made what uh, plant-based spicy nugs. And they were amazing. They were amazing. Uh, oh, boy. Final Fantasy main series tier list. Here we go. This is cheating. Beep. Oh, beep.
Mm, what? Oh, I don't know the difference. I, don't, I haven't played that one. Huh? I don't know what that is. Oh. That's it. That's it. So the rest, I haven't played this. And these are like different versions. I've only played Zodiac. Wait, what is RW? Actually, never mind. I thought it was... Was it Zodiac something? Uh, Revenant Wings is a sequel to 12. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 15 was... <laughs> this is probably too much. Yeah, let's, let's do this. I'll do this. I'll do that. That's bad. That's, a there. That's how I feel, though. There is my Final Fantasy tier list. <laughs> ah, well, video game movies tier list. All right, let's put some music back on because we're doing some tier list in here. Go. All right, perfect, good, mediocre, bad, shit. Who gives a fuck? Haven't seen. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Haven't seen it. I per I'm pretty sure it's bad. Resident Evil. What? This is Extinction. Hitman. Haven't seen it. Let's get rid of these. Is this the first one? Is this the first one? I don't remember which one's the first one. Haven't seen it. Alone in the Dark. Haven't seen it. My brother. <laughs> Good. Um, Tomb Raider. Angelina Jolie, right? I don't remember. I, I, who gives a fuck? Uh, Silent Hill! Good. The first one. I don't remember the second one. What the fuck is this tier list? Who gives a fuck? What is that? Another Tomb Raider? With a... I don't know. Resident Evil Retribution. No idea. Doom? Perfect. And Rampage? No, I didn't. Then watch that. Warcraft movie. Some of the acting was meh, but honestly, it's what I was expecting and hoping for. This is the first one? Mediocre. I like the Warcraft movie. In the Name of the King, didn't see it. Far Cry, didn't see it. Dead or Alive, what the, what? Coyote Ugly? Does it say looks? They have the looks that kill. I haven't even seen it. Um. Double Dragon. Mediocre. Haven't seen Max Payne. Haven't seen this. Haven't seen this. Haven't seen this. Haven't seen this. <laughs> Detective Pikachu. Mediocre. The first Mortal Kombat. Perfect. Mm. Oh, Assassin's Creed. Didn't see it. House of the Dead. Didn't see it. Didn't see it. What is this? For Troyer? Is that Postal? Is that supposed to be Postal? I don't know. I haven't seen it. This Postal movie? Oh, wait. Revelation. Did I see it? Street Fighter. I haven't seen this. Oh, wait. This is the Tomb Raider I was thinking of. I haven't seen the other one. Wing Commander. I haven't seen this. Um, I don't even know what that is. Which, which one that is. I think I've seen all the Silent Hills. Is this two or three? Because I'm pretty sure there's a three. Honestly, I don't remember the Street Fighter movie. Except maybe a scene where Jean-Claude Van Damme jumps up and does the splits in a kitchen. But he probably does that in all of his movies. So, I'm going to put mediocre I don't remember I don't remember it at all sorry okay there you go of the ones that I've seen there you go he does it in every movie he's in a perpetual state of splits gotcha gotcha um <clears throat> wait this was the original wait no I put that there sorry I don't know what this is uh okay I like the first Silent Hill movie. I, 
if you like horror movies, I think that I think it's cool. Uh, it has a lot of things from one and two. Silent Hill and kind of three. Do mess here, of course. I'm sorry. The Rock jumps through a fucking window and and screams, "Semper Fi, motherfucker!" There's no, there's no placing that anywhere else. Monster Hunter Monsters tier list. Lo oh my God! There's no names. Okay, this is that idiot. He's cool, but I hate you. Uh, let's see. Let's see which ones I recognize. This is B Bat Bag ba Balden Balden. This is hmm. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I'm only picking the ones that I recognize. This thing's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna start from the bottom here. Bruh, I bruh, bruh. This is the flash one. Y you're okay. I like you. Um, the oh, this idiot, the roly poly dude. You're B. Cool design, but. You're annoying. Uh, let's see here. Oh, is this, uh, 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 yeah, uh, mm, uh, yeah, the lightning boy. You suck. Uh, uh. Where is, oh, here's, uh, Rathalos. I like Rathalos. Oh, the stupid chicken. Fuck you. Uh, also, you feel like your dad trying to guess Pokemon names? What, what I'm doing? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Uh, I don't. This one's terrifying. I don't remember it though. The spider. You're. Are you Blue Rathalos? You're like Blue Rathalos, right? You're. You're cool. No, you're not as cool as Red Rathalos. The Magalas. The Magalas are S here. Um. Um, Kushara Madora Duvala Ka Oh, there's you! Um This is from Shadow of the Colossus That's the wrong game Um, this is, uh, Diablos Isn't it? I think You suck Um What the fuck? Is this Wormface? I don't know you Um uh, I feel like I know you. Wait, are you super mode that guy? I think he's like the super mode of that guy. Or something. Um. This thing's cool. <laughs> I don't remember if I've ever fought it. My only experience with Monster Hunter is World, okay? That is it. And Iceborne. Um, oh, it's a different version. Yeah, I'm not going to care about versions. That looks like a Rathalos as well. Um, there's got to be... Oh, this idiot. Fuck you. I like Kushala Deora, but I don't know what he looks like. Yes, I've only played World. Oh, Rathian! That's right. Yeah, I forgot about Rathian. Monster Hunter World is the only Monster Hunter I have played more than, like, a couple of hours. And I played it for about 120 hours or so. Which I know is fucking rookie numbers. But it's... Oh, it's you, Nerjajanti! You're cool. Uh... Nergigante! Um, mm -hmm. oh, I Ixian, I Ix, lightning horse. Oh, I don't have, I don't know. Oh, this is Ra Rathian female, Rathalos fem. I don't know, dude. Uh, this thing is cool. All right, that's all I got. That's all I got. Sorry. Pink Rathian. I was right. Um, This is the baby god 
dragon thing, right? Rajang. Oh, I didn't fight the ape. I don't know what this is. I, I This is just... It looks cool. It's doing a beam thing. I don't remember if I've ever fought it. Okay, we gotta keep going. Spice Girls tier list. All right, let's go. Let's go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh... I have no fucking idea, so I'm gonna do it by name. Posh, that's a dumb name. Ginger, I got nothing against Ginger. Scary, you're not scary. Sporty, I like sports. And Baby, where's, hold on. Child, there you go. That's my tier list. Uh, Resident Evil games tier list. Ooh. Never played. That's a lot. Okay, all right, all right. Resident Evil 2, cool. A, cool. Resident Evil 2, A. Resident Evil, oh my gosh. I have not played this one. I have not played Code Veronica. I have not played the original Nemesis. What is this? Which one is this? Uh, what the fuck is this? Actually, I don't know what that is. This is the original Resident Evil? I had never played Zero. I've never played Five. I've never played Revelations. I've never played Six. I've never played Revelations Two. Never played... This, uh, this is Jill Sandwich, so that one's good. Um, um, Biohazard I liked a lot. Uh, Village is good, too. Um, Resident Evil Gaiden. What the fuck? They're just making up names now. Dead Aim. Nope. Outbreak. Nope. Outbreak. Nope. Umbrella Chronicles. Dark Side Chronicles. Mercenaries. Operation Raccoon City. Umbrella Court. Resident Evil Resistance. Reverse. Okay, so this is the Ridge, but not the remake. I don't... I'm not even sure if I played the original all the way through. Only a little bit. So I'll just say never played. And then 4A. There you go. That's it. <laughs> oh, that... Wait, so what... This is the remake? Okay, there it goes. Too, too. Everything that I've played has been A. Everything else I haven't played. So, that's it. <laughs> Star Wars movie plus tier list. All right, all right, all right. Okay, Bantha Poodoo. I like that. I like it. Okay. Um, how the fuck am I supposed to know what movies they are? <laughs> there's uh, there's uh, Natalie Portman. Um, there's Darth Maul's there, so it's Phantom Menace. Uh, good. I'm going good. Yeah, eat it, mother truckers. Is it in order? Four, five, six? Return of the Jedi. That's my favorite. Empire Strikes Back is also very good. I like that. New Hope is okay. Bad Batch. What the fuck is that? Oh. Did I say Bad Batch? Oh, I did say Bad Batch. What the hell is that? Ahsoka. Are, what? What of the Jedi? I don't know what that is. Oh, I saw Solo on a on an airplane. It was okay. Um, Visions? I don't know what that is. Never watched any animated ones. This is the one of the Ray ones. Oh, this is the first Ray one. Um, wait, where is? Oh, I haven't watched one. Where is Rogue? Legacy, Rogue Squadron, Rogue, what's it called? Rogue something. Visions is the anime series, is a handful. Rogue One, yeah, where's Rogue One? Is it on here? It's next to Andor. The, the, huh? This? This? Is Ray and all them in it? I don't remember him being there. No, it's just not on here? Rogue One's probably my favorite of the newest movies. Interesting. Interesting choice. This is two. Wait, this is three. No, this is two. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm putting this in okay. Three, three is also okay. Uh, Jar Jar Binks, dude. I don't know what this is. Wait. Oh, this is a... No? Ray two. Wait, I haven't done any of the... Ra Wait. <laughs> I think I misordered them now. Okay. 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 Haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. What is this? Is this Mandalorian? Is this... I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. 
Wait, is this Mandalorian? I've watched like several episodes. There you go. Yep. Watch Andor. That's Mando. Okay. I've only watched like half of the first season or something, so I don't really consider having seen it. So, um, there's a third season already. Oh shit. Yeah. Honestly. Um. Yeah. Where's Rogue One? Because Rogue One would probably be up here with Return of the Jedi for me. I think Return of the Jedi for me, I'm a very visual person and the special effects got better and better. Um, obviously the re-releases had the CG that does not hold up, but uh, I like Jabba's stuff, like going to, on Jabba's uh, sail barge and stuff. I liked how the Death Star was in under construction. I liked, they just started zapping things all over the place. Ewoks are okay. I don't really give a shit, but but speeder races in the forest, pretty tight. Numbers tier list. Zero's up there. Um... That's my tier list right there. How dare you? Why is 5S? Because uh, if you count, anytime you're looking at numbers and multiples of five are very satisfying to me, like in stats and stuff. Fives and zeros. I love the just do, do, do. I don't know. It's counting up from fives is satisfying. It's also easy to do. Look at your hand. Five is S. But not three. Yeah, I don't know. Three, six, nine, twelve. Kind of boring. Kind of boring. Three only gets good when you multiply it times five. Then you got 15. Five is, is S because it's an honorary even number. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> Look at your dick five centimeters. Excuse me? World of Warcraft class specializations tier list. Brother, the, br what? <clears throat> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Healing shaman. Resto. I like resto. This is Holy Priest S. Disc. Okay, S. Okay, Holy Priest goes A. Disc. Shadow. I used to like Shadow. This is based off of all of my experience. Um, arms. Warrior. A. Uh, I don't know anything about rogues. This is um, lethality, ass assassination, subtlety combat but they don't have combat anymore not interested not interested warlocks um destruction demonology affliction i like dots more dots demons dumb uh destructions okay destruction is pretty cool too paladin retribution paladin dumb holy paladin pretty good i don't know what the fuck this is wait what the fuck is this Wait. I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. Oh, Prot... Pa Wait. Oh, this is Prot Pally? Hmm. Dumb. This... Wait, this is Rhett. Wait. What is this, then? Yeah, what... Fury? Oh, Fury Warrior. Fury Warrior? Hold on. Oh, of course. Stays in D. This is also D. Fucking Boomkins. Cat... It's okay. Bear. Bear's S. Um, Prot Warrior S. Resto Druid. A. Elemental Shaman D. This is... Enhancement used to be my love, but with this icon, no. Monk? Brewmaster was one of the funnest new tanks I'd ever played. I don't know if that's Brewmaster, but I think it is. And this is probably the Resto um, equivalent. I don't remember what it's called. That's fine. I don't care about Windwalker or whatever. Demon Hunter, not interested. Death Knight, um, Blood is OP. Undead, OP. Frost, uh, not interested. 
What the fuck is this? Oh, Hunter. M Marksman, Beast Mastery, Survival or something? Some shit? I don't know. Um, Marksman's cool. Beast Mastery, dumb. I don't even know what the... Melee Hunter? This is this was made for people who got Thunder Fury on Hunter and went meleeing in Alterac Valley. Uh, Arcane? Arcane's... Okay. Arcane is kind of dumb. Frost, pretty good. Fire's pretty good. There you go. That's my tier list. Need to forget what you just saw here to respect Lobos Jr. Enjoy. No, Hunters did get Thunder Fury, and they wielded it in Alterac Valley on my server. That's what I'm talking about. Those types of people. That's what survival is. Actually, I have no idea what survival is all about. Uh, video game antagonists. Oh! 570! Nope! Nope! Start the free dollar donation train. Go chat. I don't know who this is, but she's top 10. Eyeless42, thank you for the sub, by the way. Welcome to the Wolfpack. Archmage Salamar, $20. Oops. To St. Jude. Sorry, the $3 donation to your train. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's as What's his name? Not Goat Mom. Uh, let's see. Yeah! Uh, oh. Oh. I'm just gonna pick and choose very quickly. Oh. 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 Hey, keep picking. Mm -hmm. uh. Not a villain. Just living his best life. <laughs> Fallout? <laughs> eh. Unless that's a different thing that I haven't experienced, but... Mm. Meta Knight? What the fuck? <laughs> Diablo 3 specifically? I really liked the Inferno shit when that was coming out. Dark Samus is spoilers. Dark Link... I don't remember which one Dark Link's from. Dark Link's in a bunch. I mean, Zelda 2 Dark Link? Cool idea. But you can just fucking crouch and stab in the corner. This is not villains. Ew! Remake Sephiroth. I'd bang. Uh, really? Uh, uh, um, um, uh, what's his name from Sunwell? All right, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this like two more minutes. Let's really try and pick out things that step out. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the? Oh. Gotta go down further. As a villain? <laughs> As a friend? Oh shit, that was it? Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. I like that. Where's the real video game antagonist? Electronic Arts. 
As a friend, she's Efrank too? Fuck you. That's... No. I like her backstory. Sorry, I didn't mean to say fuck you. <laughs> I meant to say like fuck no, but then... Oh, God. Nine because I was late for the three train. Nine because you were late for the... The... I've played that a bunch on airplanes. Um, Anonymous, thank you for the nine! Oh shit, punch out. Oh shit, DDD. Kirby shit. I recognize this, but I don't remember what it's from. And, oh, there's Fallout, actually. Oh shit. Mm. Alright, one more that pops out to me. Star Wolf? I am Jaraxxus. What are these? Um, we're definitely getting through the rest of these, right? Waluigi. There you go. All right, there's uh, what I quickly threw together. I don't know who this is. This, that's just Booba. Um, those are the ones that I picked out very, really quickly. <laughs> Hope that was satisfying. Yeah, Tom. The girl from Fear. Uh, big list. I just ranked the ones you know or anyone who looks at us. I made all the notes bigger chat. Make, maybe he'll see them now. Oh, shit. It worked. It worked. Level clear. Submitted by an NPC. Level clear. You win. Thank you. It's all right. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Purpose. Oh. I was gonna say purpose removed. Even if you did defeat me, what would you do then? Online course, back to school, pass the bar, superstar, sewer guy, win big, walk home, try to sleep, level clear, lie in bed, think about what back I said. Even if you did defeat me, what would you do then? Buy a ticket, see the world, move to Spain, meet a girl, fall in love, have four kids, learn the joy of family gifts. Live my life, love my wife, share a bed every night, still can't sleep, lie in bed, level clear, start again. Raise money, charity. Grab a guy, beat him up, threaten his life, take his stuff, fight more people, take their shit, start a crime syndicate, deal some drugs to kids, hide some bodies in a fridge, get killed by my second in command. Oh my god, start again. Still can't sleep, lie in bed. All right, look to God, say wow, preach the book and make the vow. Leader of the whole congregation, level clear. Oh, Dr. Mario. Cheese me. Hashtag ham guy. I bet that's a thing. Oh no. That's a lot of costumes. Shit. What would you do? 
Damn, Mario? Fuck. Nuts. Sub 10 minute burger challenge. Hmm. We're going to need to speed this up here. Let's get to it. No questions. Question one. We did a series of videos looking at the signature dishes cookbook, including an episode, our favorite, on the McDonald's Big Mac. What was the dish we looked at in the first episode? Now remember, Ben, you were in this video, so you should remember it. Yeah, it was oysters. Can I get like, the full title, please? Oysters and pearls or something. Oh, yes, you are correct. That is right. <laughs> right. Classic. Question, classic. question number two. Name all the ingredients that go into Cushy's burger bun recipe. Uh, wait, why is this a quiz? Yeast. This is a quiz? This is a, they're quizzing this dude? On the, wait, is he making a burger? Oh, yeah, he's, he, there he goes. He's making a burger. The optimum temperature for the... the oh, it's cooking. And just to make the pressure up, we asked this, and he got it spot on. 72 degrees. <laughs> You can hear Cushy's laugh in the background. I'm sorry, Ben, it's 153. So you've got two out of three. Which of your two ingredients would you like to choose? I'm going to be oh. honest, I only put spinach in there as a gag anyway, so I'd like the two I actually want, which is kimchi and hash browns. <laughs> oh, okay, spinach in a burger. <laughs> well, let's get into the kitchen. Right, Ben, your 10 minutes starts in three, two, ten one. 10 minute burger oh, challenge. Let's so I don't see. have any choice but beef burger, because that's what we've been provided. I'm going to season it well <laughs> and avoid the sabotage. I see what he wanted that in your hand now. Heavy on pepper and salt. Quick mix. That's smoked salt. Smoked salt. Right? Flavor, you smoked salt. Yep. Right, okay, so we're all allowed smoked salt, everyone, okay? Right, okay, come on. Decided. So, you're not overworking your meat here. Squishing oh. it good. Oh, you're between grease proof. Yeah, mm. just kind of cutting it out. You guys smash burgers, Evans? No, kind of pressed burgers. Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, wait, it's just straight away, nothing else in the burger. Just season. Season. Mm. Do you want to have your taste first of all to make sure it's seasoned well enough? <laughs> no, this many years, you kind of get a judge by eye. And is it key to make sure the patties are the same size? No, because what you want is one to sit on top of the other and not to fall over. He's doing a double oh! burger! <laughs> Secondly, I'm going to use my special ingredient, hash browns. These are also going to squish down. Oh, not that much. And then crisp up. Hash browns. Ooh, so okay. shallow fry. Yep. Edward, when was the last time you cooked a burger at home? I don't think I have ever cooked a burger in the flat I have. You've been there for a day. No. <laughs> One more hour, please. I don't think I've I have to record a, a podcast at 6.30. On a barbecue, yes. In the studio, plenty. I'm going to go 15 uh, minutes more. My first choice. So you're saying you're out of practice? Yeah. Making excuses already. Right, got it. Cool. Kimchi mayo. Ooh. Kimchi mayo. Wizard, Wizard Police, time. thanks for 38 months. Good Welcome back. What sort of time are you aiming for here? Well, you gave me 10 minutes. Yep. And burgers are naturally fast food, right? Yeah. Yep. So quick is good, but not at the sacrifice of quality. OK. Just to warn you now, if you go over 10 minutes, you are automatically disqualified. Wow. Be good fun. So <laughs> don't know why I did that. That's Does he have a timer? Hey, I love it, please. Kimchi mayo, hash brown. Are you building this off a burger that you've had before? Like, where is this flavor inspiration coming no, from? I absolutely love uh, kimchi mayo. And we've had kind kimchi of mayo. this before, when it's been like burger sauce. Are you finished off the like, list another yeah, day if you don't today? Oh, uh, yeah, it would be an oh, easy right. way to fill oh. some time. Oh. We can keep it in That's our back crispy. pocket oh. for when we finish things oh. early. Um, I can't tell you. Oh, toasted bun. Where for from? sure, for sure. When in the oven, you miss it. You're paying too much attention to other things. The other one's going in. You toasted your bun while it's the top. No, I toasted the bottom because I'm going to start building it. And now while I'm building it, I'll do the rest. No sauce on the bottom. No sauce Ooh. on the bottom. But because of our pyramid techers, oh my goodness, it gets slightly thinner towards the top. Whoa. Generous here. Oh my Whoa. goodness. Whoa. When are we going to melt the cheese? Whoa. Oh my goodness. Whoa. 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 What is happening? His top bun's not toasted. Top bun is toasting. He hasn't got his sauce it's in there yet. What's he, gone? What's he gone for now? I figured, given we're doing burgers, a nice white wine from Burgenland, an Austrian white will cut through the richness of the burger. He doesn't understand what we're doing here, does he? <laughs> <laughs> toasted the bottom. That's not very toasted, is it? What the f? Oh, I can't hear that. There's no mild reaction happen on that, am I right? No, I only took it to 73 <laughs> degrees. That was the problem, you see. More on that. More on that. Where's the bell? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, bell. You want to bring it? Stop the clock. Woo! Okay. Not what I expected at all. Not what I expected at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks good, but it's like so big. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't want. Like, Evans, great job. I mean, you're the first one in line here. Go ahead. I'm going to be both winner and loser on the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, right, let's cut into it, and then I want you to talk us through your process. Yep. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Kimchi mayo. That is a double patty cheeseburger with kimchi slaw and crispy hash brown. The Ebbers special. Oh. What's on, on the menu? We've got, we've got a title. Well, I hmm. like the hash brown from the Big Daddy vibe, but I like the kimchi from the kind of Korean fermented funky. So how about the funky daddy? Ooh. <laughs> Ebbers, the funky daddy. <laughs> the funky daddy. I love it. Cheers. 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 Clever. Sloppy. Meaty. Sloppy. <laughs> Seasoned. I would never put a hash brown in a beef burger. No. <gasps> But it really works. Oh, oh. a friend of mine. Got nice. Hash browns are great. So, so what grows together goes together. Phenomenal, Heathers. I didn't expect it to taste that good. The kimchi is subtle, though. Well, you know, I don't mm. like my hot spice, mm. but I like the fermented funk. It's got a really lovely funk in the kimchi. Fermented <laughs> funk. Nice. That was a good burg. That was a good burg. Sorry we had, we're had we kind of rushing through it, but react to this. This react should take you about 10 hours.
Fascinating. Worst DS2 areas. Top hey everybody, and welcome to the first of three videos where you, the community, rank the 30 areas in Dark Souls 2. Let me give a big thanks to the over 4,000 of you that voted in the area survey. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 worst, most piece of shit, abomination excuses for areas of players have been forced to slog their way through. With DS2 wow. All right, we're going to speed through this. Ready? Black Gulch. Said, Good luck, asshole. After making it through the dark pit of... Frigid Outskirts is on. nine? Wait, number 29. Huh? And it's frickin' reindeer. Let's take a step back. If you even can see, for Christ's sake. At first oh, that's number one. Why does it say number 29 at the top? Number 30. Score 2.61 out of 10. Second you know, most votes. Say, just as with Dark Souls 1, there is a definite upset here. I was almost positive. Oh, from worst to best? Fuck land is the worst area in the game. But here we Ten are with video. the Black Mind you, Oh, it's Black your number Gulch one. Oh, I see. This is deserving of the slot. This area huh? the developers gave oh, the okay. middle finger to the player and said, huh? good luck, asshole. After making it through So they're going in reverse order to the best area, and they're starting at the bottom. But this, the video is called Top 10 Worst. I see. The dark pit of shit. I get it. Okay, so then, so Black Gold's beat out Frigid Outskirts. I'm amazed. The Pit slash Grave of Saints with the rats? Yeah, okay. The Gutter? Yeah, okay. Cave of the Dead. Oh, in the DLC, yeah. Yeah. Harvest Valley. Pretty, not great. Yeah, that's, that's real rough to get through, I mean, I mean it's rough. If Huntsman's Cops, Undead, Purgatory? Things betwixt. Ah, why does it get a bad rap? I don't get it. Doors of Pharos. Wait. So wait, top 10. Worst. Okay. Is the next video titled 10 Middle? The 10 Middlest? <laughs> oh, I see. Number 20 to 11. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. Anyways. Uh, loosely evaluate these. Wait, also big. Oh, from soft characters. Whoops. Also big list. Just pick a couple good ones or save for next stream. Hmm. Maybe let's save this one because I could give that one more thought for sure. Loosely evaluate these bloodborne guns. Hunter Pistol, Mega Pog. What's he gonna do? Just shoot with all of them? He hit R2. What are you doing? All right. Is this Blunderbuss? Garbage. Uh, the Repeating Pistol. Not a fan. Uh, Ludwig's Rifle or whatever. Not a fan. Uh, honestly, I'm not really a fan of most of the guns. Cannon's Pog. Cannon's Pog, but nerfed. They nerfed the hell out of cannon. Gatling gun. A piercing rifle. I don't even know if I've used that really, like, ever. Gatling guns. Gatling gun's okay. It just doesn't... I don't think it works within the systems that they created for this. Like, it literally does, but... It just doesn't... I don't think it's satisfying. Church Cannon, uh, big... Big Sploder Brother. Piercing Rifle Only Run? Oh, boy. Um... Oh, uh, not Flame Sprayer, but the... Or maybe it is Flame Sprayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Mist version? Yeah, the Mist version, yeah. Not a gun, but... I... Kind of a gun. Oh, this is the offhand punchy thing. What is it called? Fist of Gradia. No thanks. And then what? Torches? Those aren't guns. Oh, all gun guns, range weapons, and I love. Okay. Yeah, pistol. Where was Evelyn? I probably just skipped it. Uh, crazy ways to cool a PC. Huh? 
having a badass computer idea to cool down his computer. A turbine from 1990 Mitsubishi Eclipse. The turbocharger is able to move air through the PC so that it can provide the perfect cooling method, making it a weird yet effective way of keeping <laughs> temperatures down low when overclocking your machine to engage in some really heated video gaming sessions. There's nothing human imagination and a little bit of ingenuity can't do. Turbocharger. Okay, all right. When it comes to innovation, I'd the use Russians it. surely take the grand prize, and this crazy Fre brother stands as proof of that. He decided to keep his computer cool in some of the most ordinary, but yet creative ways, by sticking it in the freezer. <laughs> oh, no, no. The nice part is that you'll have your fair share of polar air standing by in front of your rig, and this should be a blessing on a hot summer's day. In addition to that, the beer six-pack will be at arm's what? length, so we think that's a win-win situation. What? Why use only the original fan slots your computer comes equipped with when you can totally overkill and build an entire case out of them? When cooling down your PC, there's no <laughs> overdoing it. You just have to be bold enough to step up and make an entire armor mm -hmm. of plastic fans, glue them together, and connect them to your main power source. Oh, they and all function the too. the side of this project, you'll also have the coolest PC in the neighborhood. Do they all function? Some people believe they didn't show it all on. better if you totally dismantle your machine and hang its components on some wires, making a modern art display out of them. It might not look like the most elegant rig in the world, but it does the job and what's not to like about it. On the plus side, you don't need to add any extra gadgets like we saw in other examples from our list. This project can be done by everybody with a computer and a taste for extravagant setups. Kitty! Logitech wireless. Similar to the case made from small computer fans glued together, this method uses an industrial fan that is pointed towards the inner components of the PC. Since parts of the machine I are did totally this for exposed, a while. you should be extra careful not to spill any liquid in its general direction, because then you'll have the exact opposite result. Industrial fan? Cool huh? One. This way of keeping your PC nice and cold is perhaps rudimentary, but it still Industrial? works. Industrial? Turn it looks like a normal ass a fan. Giant popsicle? Why not? This is what this modder thought when he encased his computer into a block of ice. We can't really tell if the <laughs> will still work after putting it into the freezer and, and turning it into a giant icicle, but for a one time solution, it's worth the risk. <laughs> or is it? However, you want to look at it, if you have an old computer to spare, maybe you can try it? this crazy what? cooling method oh. and tell us how it worked out. How often do you have to replace that Pringles can? And. What is an AC unit good for if not to cool down your computer? This entire cooling system is seamless and perhaps one of the most feasible on the list. Cold Pringle. It can really make the temperatures go down so low oh. that you'll probably need a winter jacket when you watch some 4K YouTube videos or oh. play video games on Mac settings oh. all at the same time. Because thanks to this effective method of keeping everything cool, including your room, <laughs> you can go ahead and... Is it just sitting there? Like... Desire. Oh dear. When the ice melt on that <laughs> mineral oil is great at absorbing oh, heat without needing I have seen this with the surrounding air. In conclusion, a crafty modder took an old aquarium, filled it with vegetable oil, and placed the computer components inside of it. This method is so efficient that after about two hours, the temperature settled at a new maximum of 84 degrees C on the CPU under load, as the handyman puts it. So it's high time you got to your nearest grocery store and bought a gallon of cooking oil. Yep. I've seen that. I don't know why I've seen that before. I think it actually As works, you would though. Imagine, more than one person thought about cooling down their PC using the ultimate technique. Oh, God. Liquid nitrogen. Some people even put together a number of tutorial videos on this subject. If you're skilled enough to work with this extreme chemical element, then you'll probably enjoy these insane projects put together by equally insane modders. What by the? using a tube filled with liquid nitrogen, you'll be able to cool down your entire rig in a matter of seconds. <laughs> uh... Uh, if you can cool down a PC using baby oil, why not do it using an entire pool filled with water? In this video made and mm. uploaded by Gavin Reme, you <laughs> can see how he is using an ingenious method of keeping his computer cool by filtering ingenious. the water in his pool and using it as a cooling liquid for the machine. Ingenious. So if you have a giant body of water in your backyard, why not give it another purpose besides swimming in? Yeah, it's a good <laughs> This was our list showcasing some really crazy ways of cooling nice. your PC. Nice. All definitely ways I would try. N never. Legend of Dragoon PC tier list. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I remember the names of these characters. Um. Um. This is the this is the monk type guy. 
Probably. This is Gust of Wind Dance, right? That's Gust of Wind Man. This is the big bonker boy. He's okay. He's not sure of... Um... Mm, um, Meru. Um, she was not I. Not very nice, right? Shayna's like the main girl, right? Shay Wait, which one? Shayna? Oh, Shayna's that. Shayna? Yeah. Okay. She had a Russian ex. <laughs> no cheating? What are you talking about? Oh, Rose is the one I was thinking of who is not nice. He's Rose, you suck. Uh, who are you? Meru. I don't remember you. You're going to D. Uh, Hashel, Kongol, Lavitz. Oh, yeah, Dart's the main dude. Dart. Ah, B. Got to end the stream with one final raffle, I think. Oh, really? Is that true then? 65,000. Timma, thanks for the $80. One more raffle. Lavis Diadem was replaced by Albert. Oh, that's why I don't remember them. They're the same person. Hashel. No. Uh, and, uh, and, um. <laughs> Miranda. Uh, Tier list complete. Man, I don't remember anything about that game, I guess. Ex-anima funny moments. I'm going to do cute bunny tier list because we can do it faster. All right. Let's see here. Would die for? Let me put them all here first and then I'll... See if there's any decisions that I make. That's a big ask. Why is the same one in here twice? Uh... All right, there you go. Black one is okay, but not cute. Excuse me? Blasphemy. The orange one? <laughs> Hot take. Oh, they're twins. Gotcha. Gotcha. Tier list complete. Frank the Hank, 23 months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Uh, there's a duplicate. Yeah, we got a raffle open. Yeah, one more giveaway. One more giveaway. Something about Super Metroid speedruns. Animated, enable subtitles. I was told. How long is the video? Okay, this is going to be the last one. This is the last one. Super Metroid. Animated, speedrunning. Let's go. Loud sound and flashing light warning. Warning. Here we go. I think I've seen... Yes. I've seen the, Zelda, the Breath of the Wild one. Last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. The last Metroid has escaped. The galaxy is no longer <laughs> at peace. No! No! <laughs> the screams, dude. No.
Oh. Oh. <laughs> the bee 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 bees. Yeah. <laughs> one. Oh, he didn't go out one. Expert run. Expert wait. Oh. I know this labyrinth like the back of my hand, Ridley. I'm getting that baby brain back. Oh. Mm hmm. What? The chosen. Do one sound effect. Close enough. Uh, I don't know about this boss. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even go out the door. Oh. She's taking all our weapons. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. She's heading to the wrecked ship. Fantoon will make quick work of her. <laughs> Shuckle? What? Why? No. Magic pancakes. Magic pancakes. Uh. Where is she? I lost her. Lost her fox. Spazer! Wait a minute. That's not in the speed run anymore. <laughs> she used another power bomb. What are those? <laughs> nice to meet you. Wait, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. Speed booster time. God, all the way to, already a dragon. So many missiles. <laughs> space jump. Ain't sure getting space jump, but. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm clipping. Yep, yep. And that is where the budget went, they said. Uh, what about the baby match? Oh, you don't have to check it. That's right. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Oh yeah. Samus. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Maternal rage. Animals? Animals? Ah! Ah! Save! That's cool. Ah! <laughs> nice. Interactive video! That was cool. Wait a minute. They get their own ship. What do you... That wasn't a donation, by the way. Oh. That was not a donation. Uh, is this what's canon? That the animals that you save are like, no, they don't bring anything with, okay. <laughs> Can is them being the same animals that save you back in fusion? Oh. Wait a minute. That why is it playing Star Fox music? Oh uh Let me get back here. Huh? Huh? Montage, baby. Wait, he's making an R wing. An R wing. Oh, hmm. This is canon, right? <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Aw, make sure you stay till the very end, they said. There it is. Great Fox will cover you. Huh? No! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Wow, how did we, oh, we didn't have a whole lot left. We only had like one page, uh, but we got pretty far. We did a lot of reacts, we did a lot of tears. More. No, I'm sorry. I gotta cut it. 615. I already stretched it. I already stretched. The Shout out to animal rescues workers who always have to wear their space armors at work to protect themselves from the mutating pets they save. That's right. Kaki Ren, thank you so much for $20 to St. Jude. Maybe just the last video, huh? Farewell. Submitted for community. I hope I can help. Necromancy may be legal in Cyrodiil. But few will openly admit to practicing it now that the Mages Guild has banned it. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell. Oops. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Perfect. I'm pretty sure I've seen that one. Thank you, guys. I got to go record a podcast. Uh, I hope you guys had fun time today. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with... Mel more Elden Ring, I think, and uh, 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 and, and other things. So, uh, cheers! Bye! I gotta go! Bye!